Why, hello. What is this? Xerxes. With a hundred gifted memberships on YouTube. My god, dude. That is outrageously nice of you. Every day. You literal mad lad. Every day. Holy bajolies, dude. It's my first stream. I love your content. Thank you. It's very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. Did you get gnomed yesterday? No. Shay voted that it was not a gnome because it wasn't using the original, like, art. But it is a very valid attempt. Incredibly so. Yeah. Yeah, really good attempt, dude. Close. Close and terrifying. Too close. Too close, chat. The ad machine is now running. Ah, oh, what is this? What is this? Dude, that, that tournament yesterday was fun. I really enjoyed that. Runs midnight to noon normally, that is correct. Stream goes from midnight to noon PST.
EST or Pacific time. I guess, I don't know, West Coast US time, whatever it is, because we have the bullshit, you know? You're watching Dan Clancy tour in Japan? Dude, Dan Clancy is so freaking cool. I'm going to be super honest with you. I had huge doubts about that dude when he first became the CEO of Twitch. I was like, oh, oh I don't know about this guy. And then he just immediately, immediately turned it around. And uh, I, I'm really happy with him. Yeah, good figurehead. He's like, everyone's streaming granddad now, you know? He's grandpa Twitch, dude. <laughs> Stream grandpa. <yeah. laughs> He's the best, actually. Dude doesn't suck. I got to talk to him a little bit at uh, Streamer Awards. He's very driven. Gives a lot of a shit, you know? Is that the guy who invented Rainbow Six? Definitely. You know he used to work for NASA? Isn't that crazy? Where do we submit, submit questions? Here, let me, let me get the TTS thing set up. Just remember... If you... T the TTS is already at 26. It's gonna... It goes fast. There's a lot of TTS. There's a, there's a lot. I'm gonna pin all this. There we go. I usually pin it for like the first hour, and then there's just too many. Did you figure out a solution to cat-proof the router after? Yeah. The current cat proof is that Meatball is monitored when he's outside of the bathroom for today. And then the second solution is to get Museum Putty and glue it to the wall. Which we have to wait for. Beans is not locked up. No, he's in there with Kahlua. He's quite happy. He's a little man. What are we playing today? Well, first we're working. Then we're adding a million new emotes. And then we're playing. There's a whole lot of stuff today. Hmm. And we think today we're going to work on a website. So that will be neato. Soon. Web Dev Day? Potentially. I kind of just want to add some stuff for... Uh, I kind of want to add some stuff for our uh, Ferret website. Finally, like, work out. I want to design that. I just don't know yet. Six G router. To be honest with you, Wi Fi six is insane. Wi Fi six is at like I currently have nine hundred up, nine hundred down over Wi Fi six. I stream on Wi Fi. Yeah. Yes. It's insane. I stream every day because of this. Those are wired numbers? Yeah, but it's all over Wi-Fi 6. Yeah, beam forming is insane. Also, the router is 40 feet away through a bathroom, a water heater tank, and two walls. So yeah, it's kind of beast. Is that Royce? Royce Remix. We're putting your emotes up today. I, th I showed the chat a preview the other day. So you're putting all those up today. You gonna play Noita today? I will be later, yes.
Dude, wait a minute, Fiber. Hold up. Is that an eagle with guns, dude? That's the most America moment I've ever seen. I love birds with arms. Birds with arms is one of my favorite memes. Oh. Post that emote again. No Helldivers lately? No, it's not really in a com like, compelling spot right now for me. I gotta wait. I'm waiting for it to turn interesting again. Did we... Did we not take Martel? What happened to the Martel Gambit? We... We took Martel and Helldivers. What do you mean it failed? It was at 96%. Uh. Yeah, dude, this is the worst part about this. We have three days and 12 hours left on this major, like, objective. There's nine planets left. It's just going to be three and a half days of losing. Like, what? What? Like, this is why I don't want to play it right now. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, not even going to bother with it. Exactly. It's a forced failure action. Yeah. It feels like a scripted loss. And it makes it, like, way less compelling for me. I know. I got to do the big goal today. We're going to do Noited later. Yes, we will. We will. I'd say treason if I didn't agree. Oh, no. Growing resentment. We could have won, but there's no focus. Do you know why there was no focus? Because it was hushed whispers in back rooms instead of actually displayed in the video game. Why do you think? <laughs> yeah. It's almost like if you want to show players there's an objective, you need to put it in the game. That... Right? Just, uh, just a tad. Monster Hunter World ain't bad, Blushy. I actually played the shit out of it before. TTSQ is not empty. It has 37 in it. It is not empty, although I've continued my... my quest of making it less shitty. Slowly over time. It is working. Yeah, it's not answered yet. Yeah, it was displayed conveniently in the basement of a nearby library behind a locked door that said, Beware of the Leopard. Yeah, that's... That's where the Martel Gambit was. And if you didn't know about it, that's your... That's your fault. Yeah. Yeah, damn right, fellow hitchhiker. Always got my towel, dude. Oh, I forgot to announce the stream. Oh wait, no I didn't. That would be wrong. Oh, come on. Discord load. I definitely didn't forget to announce the stream. Aha. Uh -huh. Nope. Couldn't be. There we go. I like how there's a bot that just instantly put a bread emote on that. Because within, like, a billionth of a second, there was a bread emote on it. Got all got me hooked on Fruit Mountain? Dude, it's fun.
It's not a bot. It's me. I am speed. I don't think so. I think you're a bot. But right now, I'll let you live. You know why? Because we have a scripted loss, and I don't want to play Helldivers. <laughs> Do an unanswered TTS from last stream get answered? No. So if you look at the um, pinned comment, if I don't get to your question by the end, the, that money goes to charity. We put it all into the debt channel on Discord. All of that is transparent and shown. I don't answer your question, I don't keep the money. But I have no way of refunding it, so. Best thing I can do. What in the name of science? Thank you for $4.20 to the moderators. Which charity? We've given over $30,000, well, about $30,000 to a number of charities. Ferret Dreams Rescue and Adoption in Colorado, Able Gamers, the Immunodeficiency Foundation, and then Godot Foundation. So quite a lot. There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm starting to lose tra track. There's too many of them. Where's your face? Uh, currently, I have not installed it. How did you fix the internet at Ferret Software? We turned it off and then back on again. While screaming. Yeah. Is your face only visible to subs? Yes. It all makes sense now. You figured it out. Yeah, you can only see my face if you own the demo for Heartbound. Or coupon discount for the demo anyway. The demo is free, you goblin. Your DNS was banned? Unfortunate. Mojang strikes again. 
Dude, my fingernails are too freaking long. I literally have to cut my nails before we do the stream because my fingernails are hitting my keyboard keys in a way that is deeply annoying. Yeah. I don't know how the human body can produce so much nail in one night. Turned. It's all done. Holy shit, thank you for the hundred dollars to the moderators. Mika. That is insanely nice of you. Feeding the mods. Hundred dollars to the mods, dude. I need to I need to fix that alert to not look so shitty. It looks so bad. Mods are getting extra crust. Wait, ho ho. Hold on now. Mods are getting Wagyu steak? No. That's a, that's a... I might give them a... A glimpse of a picture of Wagyu. I don't know about giving them a steak. That's... That's a bit much. Here's... Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll play the sound of a sizzling Wagyu steak. Just the sound of one. Alright, a whole sound for them for about one second in the middle of the night at random. Once. How about that? Sound good? Okay, that sounds good. Just for one second. That way they don't even know if it was real or not. Right? You know, it could be a hallucination. It's fine. Just pipe it into the mod basement. Oh, God. My glasses have face grease on them. Get a little hammy GPU, that's gonna happen, actually. So one of the things that I'm trying to do is I'm gonna be buying from Starforge, our sponsor. I'm gonna be buying a bunch of computers to the moderators, is the idea. I'm trying to find a way to swing that in the tax liability sense. Cause there's taxes involved with all of that shit. Uh, what is this? What goes behind there? Okay, nothing. We good? We good? Is everything good? I think everything's good. We good? <laughs> Hello. It's me. I exist. Yeah, corporate shit. Corpo shit. Thankfully, it's almost done. Soon. Soon it will be finished. Yeah, face. I have one. Another $20 to the moderators from Conundrum. Thank you very much. That is incredibly nice of you. I love that in the very beginning of the stream, you guys pile into the TTSQ and it just gets overwhelmed as shit. It's insane, actually. Oh, is that is that Henry doing stuff? Let me look at him. Oh, man. Oh, 
Oh man, look, even Bezos is excited. Nyrum. Nyrum. Henry, 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 Henry. He loves to run, dude. He just loves to run. Nyum. See how he's doing that hopping run? That's new behavior. He's starting to be able to do that correctly. And that's really good. Because normally he'd just run faster with his feet, but now he's doing the hops. The hops is a good thing. It's more correct, like, ferret movement. He was playing with Jinx. Was he actually playing, or was he, uh... Was he imploding, like he normally does? Yeah, a little bounding behavior, exactly. It's good. It's good to see. Do they try to eat the air purifier cord? No. No, they don't. Which is good. Look at that. Look at that. So that one there is Henry. You can see he's got the little wiggle head going on. He's going in his circle. Yeah. He does. He eats on his own. He doesn't eat very well. But he does eat on his own. What air purifier is that? I'd have to I'd have to go home and figure it out. I don't know which one it is. It's like a big industrial air purifier, basically. What browser is that? It's actually OBS. It's an open window at OBS. How tall are those ceilings? Quite tall. Yeah. So there's Henry. Look at him run. Little Henry. Look at him go. And there's Shay, the tallest of ferrets. And there's Henry. Seeing him evolve is great. He's doing really good. Oh. He almost got water. Is that beans? That might be beans. I think that's beans. Yeah, that's beans. Beans is trying to get Shay's feet. No, that's not Mocha. That's definitely beans. You can tell because beans is trying to eat Shay's ankle. And also his belly is still shaved. It looks like it's beans in the oldies out right now. Yeah. Do they ever get tangled? No. There's nothing like that. So no, they don't get tangled or anything like that. They they don't really have any problems with stuff. They just, you know, they run around and they have a good time with this. And this camera is live right now. This is over on ferrets.live or twitch.tv slash ferret software. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, wiggling. Ridiculous animal. I think that's beef. Beef's tail is so bald, it's hard to tell if that's beef or if that's peep. No, it's not peep. Tail's too long. I think it's beef. Oh my god. Destroy the blanket. Yeah, I think it's beef. It's hard to tell who they are from up this high up. In person, it's easy. Yeah, his tail is really... So... Basically, what we're doing for Beef's tail is he's he's got adrenal tail, which is basically they go bald, right? And what you do is you you do like a skin cleanse across the entire tail, and it gets all these blackheads out, and then all their hair grows back in because it's just basically just jammed. It's weird. It's like really weird. So we'll we'll get that down for him, and it'll be fine. We did it for Grandpa too.
How often do you need to clean the ferret house? Oh, it's a constant. Constantly cleaning it. Every day, all day. Yeah. Yeah, the TTSQ has exploded, so let's get into it. Let's see if we can go grab this and start doing it. Do 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 do. Answer TTS. Here we go. Kaffa Papu has obtained the cursed quest. Oh! Kaffa Papu. Are you ready? Are you ready, Kaffa Papu? Are you ready? Are you ready? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Do you want art, cooking, or... Secret third thing? Now you have to choose. Gonna at me with it so I can see it. Gonna at me with it. Gonna choose. Kaffee Papu. What's it going to be? What's it gonna be? Oh no, it's a loot box? It might be. It could be anything. It could even be a loot box. You're choosing the secret third thing? Oh. 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 Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's it oh, it's interpretive dance. Oh, it's it's interpretive. Oh man. That's unfortunate. That's what that is. That's. It could have been anything, but it. It turned out to be this. Yeah, that's. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what you need to do. You need to go to our YouTube, and you need to choose the Heartbound OST playlist, where there are over a hundred songs now. You need to choose any song that you want, and you have to record yourself dancing for it. That's what you have to do. You have to record yourself dancing to that music. However, thankfully for you, we want to keep your identity a secret. So, in order to do this without revealing your true identity, as you are clearly a superhero or villain, I don't know, whatever it's going to be, right? You need to print out a copy of my face and then wear it as a mask while you're doing this dance. That's right. No one will ever know it's you. They'll think it's me, clearly. It's very convincing, printing out my face. So what's it gonna be? Do you accept? Do you accept? Cafe Papu? No one has a printer nowadays? Silence. How dare you? Go to a FedEx. I accept, of course. The contract is sealed. Well done. Well done. What about the major order? Sorry, I... I can't hear any messages from Super Earth because we have a scripted loss. Yeah, unfortunately the transmission is just not coming through. All I hear every time they try to give me a major order right now is... is what is that? What is, here, wait, wait. I, I'm starting... Let me... Okay, yeah, no, it just sounds like that. Yeah, that's... I guess the major order right now is Noita? Odd. Odd. Yeah, really odd. Odd. Odd that. Yeah. Strange. It's not treason. It's not treason. Also, that Mario is amazing. The bots hijacked the transition from Super Earth. It's not treason. It's not treason. It's not treason. It's not. It's it's a bad connection, chat. It's a it's a bad it's a bad connection. What's Noita? A video game. <laughs> it's phenomenal. You can't spell automation without Noita. Watch me. 
Watch me. You know what? If you don't like automation that bad, uninstall Factorio right now. I'll wait. Yeah. Yeah. Now what are you gonna do? Now what are you gonna do? Is it actually a scripted loss? We have three and a half days to defend nine planets. We've had one and a half days and we managed to do one of the ten planets. Yeah. We just have three and a half days of losing is what's going on there. It's, no one is compelled to play the game. Yeah, liberation doesn't work correctly. It's a scripted death. It sucks, dude. I don't know what that means. It basically means that the game is currently unwinnable and everyone is demoralized. To an extent that a lot of us are just giving it a miss. Yeah. Where am I based? Washington State. Where it rains 75% of the year. Yeah, new major order. Play something else for a little bit. Which is fine. Yeah. Which, I'm going to be real with you, playing other things is fine. You can give a game a break for a little while. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, there's, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that at all, frankly. Maybe I'll go back to Helldivers in a little bit and it'll be fun. If no play game every day, how you know if good? Y you give it a couple weeks and then you play it. Yeah. You made two PB and J's? Give me one. Immediately. How dare you make two PB and J's and you don't even share. Outrageous. Okay, I have almost everybody's stuff done. Ah. Uh. It's a mess. Everything is a mess. Everything is a mess, chat. What is my calendar today? Wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? What day is it today? Today is Sunday? I don't have any meetings. That's not good, right? Maybe I have to make my own meeting now. That's what you do, right? When you don't have any meetings, you have to make... I'm not allowed to not have meetings, right? That feels unnatural. Oh wait, no, no, I do I do have to do something. No, no. I have to get a tax code ID from two more states. Yeah, I have to do that. No, there's a meeting for me. Yeah. Yeah. I have to call two different I have to call the Department of Revenue for two different states to get tax IDs. That's what I have to do. What do you mean Beans is banning chat? What did he do? The little man. Beans is attacking the phone. That's funny. Wait, did Beans actually ban somebody? Look at this. Watch this. Watch this right here. Look at him. Wham! He's like stealing the phone and doing something. It was one press off of banning someone? That's really funny. Meeting today is the current board meeting, but I'm the board. Means is great at banning stuff. It's true. Alright, so, we have some new emotes from Royce Remix. 
A resident emote animator. Let me see if we can find these. I know I have them on my computer. Nope, that's the wrong folder. What is this? Deleting that. Oh. You know what's the worst thing? You know what's the worst thing that I found? Everybody does things over DocuSign and all that shit. And then anytime you want to do anything of value, there's like all this new stuff now where you have to do all this like stupid, weird bullshit. And um, I have to print out documents, sign them manually, scan them back in, and then send them in for like the healthcare stuff for the corporation. <sighs> Uh, I just want to click it. I just want to click it. I want to do things with my hands. I just want to click it. You can use your special pen. True. The ferret chat wants to give beans a, a button to temporarily ban someone in chat. Okay, hold up. I'm an engineer. I can build that. I can give the ferrets a very big button that when they press it, and I can make it very easy to press, when they press that, it will ban a random person in chat. For like 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. I could do that. Easy. We could set that shit up to a Raspberry Pi running streamer bot. Done. Easy done. That would be so funny. Please tell me you get a moderator whitelist. Oh no, little ham. I'm giving it moderator priority. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be good. Mods can't be banned. Want to bet? You know what happens when you ban a mod? They lose their sword. <laughs> hey look! New emotes. Look at this one. These are great, by the way. We've got new emotes to add. New emotes! New emotes. Look at this one. Yarwai is going to change into this. Yarwai is changing. Or Yar Sus. It's going to change into this Yar Sus. Extra Sus. Look at this one. The scam is upgrading, Chet. Look at how upgraded that scam is. It's a pretty good scam. I think. Yeah, new T3 emote. Another new T3 emote. Look at that. Now it stinks. Even more. Look at that. I like to call this one economy. It's really good. I like to call this one housing prices. Also good. Also also good. Yeah. It's actually stonks and stinks. But now there's got a whole bunch of them now. It's actually good. It's good shit. The blah is the best. Blah. Blah. We're going to have a good time with these. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. What file manager is that? This is called Windows. That's what that... Yeah. Yeah, new folder too. What, are you upset? Here, let me, let me fix that for you. Is that better? Is that gonna is that good for you? Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Final for real. 
I tried to save the clip. Apparently, moderators is inappropriate language, according to Twitch. What? 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 Who makes those emotes? So, Shays makes the baseline emotes, and then Royce Remix, who's in chat right now, actually animates them. So, Royce actually just gets Shays emote, and then we animate from there, and that's it. And they're really well animated. They actually, they look great. So basically what Royce has to do is cut all of these out and then find a way to make them work correctly. Prime said game dev isn't real dev. Oh, did you get baited by Prime? Tell Primogen that he's a Rust developer and his opinion doesn't matter. Oh! <laughs> uh... That's how it works. Damn, dude. Yeah. Need a mind emote? Oh, that's true. Prime and I have the best friendly rivalry on Twitch right now. I am very happy with it. It's going well. Someone commissioned a custom emote for me? Where did you put this? I don't know where that is. Yeah, no, Jake, that's definitely a good exploit. It's a really good exploit, actually. So, you know how we implemented back damage the other day? Back, back step damage and block him? The way that it works is it checks the player's facing versus the enemy's facing. So if the enemy's facing is within 30 degrees this direction or 30 degrees this direction, if it's anywhere within this space, it does bonus percentage damage based on your back step damage percent. And it is a multiplicative, like damage modifier the funny thing is this works for range damage this works for spells this works for anything right players figured out that if you shoot a spell at an opponent and then quickly turn to face the direction of that let's say that you shoot over this way right and then it hits somehow if you shoot it and then you turn to face the player it will then land because it it checks to see the facing to do the percentage at the time that the projectile hits, not at the time that you shoot the projectile. Now, part of this is fine because in order to hit them in the first place, you still have to be facing them, right? That arrow, you can't direct the arrow. So I think that's fine. Yeah, it's a skill shot. I don't think that's a bug at that point. It's definitely possible. Don't spells bounce? Some spells do. But those ones bounce, it's a ray trace. So there's no there's no point to that. Doesn't matter. Yeah. If you stand in front of them, then quickly 180 degree. So you have to stand in front of the player. So if you're if you're like this, facing this direction, and they're standing here. Right? You said if you quickly face the the opposite direction. Okay, okay. So if you're if they're like this, and you're there, and you shoot an arrow at them and quickly turn 180 before the arrow lands, you get bonus percent damage? <sighs> That's funny. That's really, really funny. That is definitely a bug. What we need to do is we need to capture the facing direction of the arrow in that case. However, I don't think we can get the facing direction of a spell correctly. Right? So what would be better is we need to capture the facing direction of the player at the time that the arrow is released. Which means it'd have to be stored in memory. 
Hmm. I don't like that. To be real with you, I'm kind of fine with this for now. The reason why is it's not going to give you a significant advantage. And if you're shooting a dude and then turning backwards, you're showing your back to your the, the opponent when you could be doing extra damage. You're getting a you're getting a, a back shot for now. But you're also doing a major disadvantage to yourself. So I don't think that's a good idea. Currently. I don't think it's optimal. It's a back shot. You hit him in the back. Can you check the vector? We'd have to store it. It's not, but it's really funny. Oh, it's deeply hilarious. I totally understand how this is happening. And yes, I can, I can absolutely see that that is a, a true... I don't even have to like go and test it in game. I know exactly why this is happening. I'll show you why. Let me go into... Where is it? Development, and then GitHub, Block Game, Core. And actually, no, it's going to be in Lib. Yeah, it's, it's an update that I did for Lib. And it, it totally makes sense. It absolutely makes sense why this would happen. No, don't say don't say that. What's the matter with you? You're all goblins. Is it trigger type? Man, it'd be really cool if this would load. Jesus Christ, what is happening? Stop it. Get out of that. Get out of this. There's too many of these. It's attack effects. Yeah. Okay, so under attack effects, what I did was I said apply backstab damage if the target is facing within 60 degrees, 30 on each side. Right? So with this, it gets the eye direction, gets the eye location and the, and the direction of the attacker, in this case, and then also gets the eye location and the direction of the target at the time the damage is done, not at the time you fire the ranged attack. So we do have checks in here for weapon, projectile, magic, and thaumaturgy. So what I could do is we could change this. Yeah, we could change this around to make this work for weapon, projectile, and magic, and make it so backstab damage doesn't do anything for thaumaturgy. Maybe we can add thaumaturgy in that. No, hitscan works. It works for that. Hitscan works. Because it pulls the, the caster, right? Also, there's an extra space there for some reason. Wouldn't the bigger issue be not applying backstab if you look away before it hits? Yes, both of those are an issue. Are the servers up? The servers are always up, yes. There's 48 people on them right now. Yeah. So to be real with you, I think I think the major issue here is we're going to have to cache that location at the time that we do this. Yeah, the backstab damage is going to have to be cached. Or we can pull the player's location at time of cast. Hmm. Yeah, projectile velocity could give you the launch factor. That's true. But again, I don't know if we can pull projectile velocity inside of this because we have a vent. Let me see if we can pull a vent for this. Let's see. Maybe we can get the attack from this point. I don't know what variables we actually get out of get attack. Returns the attack. Oh, very cool. Hmm. I don't actually know what that returns. What do we get out of that? What is that? Gets the damage. Can we get the direction of this? It's got to be a good direction. Won't work for bouncy projectiles? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, we can get the facing direction of the arrow. The, the problem is, is I don't know if arrows... Like, so arrows change their facing to make the arrow actually physically look like it's going in that direction. Spells are a particle effect, and I don't know if the dummy object that's running the spell actually does change its facing. For beam-type spells, I know we can get that based on the direction of the beam, which is fine, but that's going to be its own caveat for that. It's like its own thing. So this is going to be a little bit more of a complicated check. The backstab damage we will likely put inside of each one of these. So instead of putting it out here as a global, I'm going to put it inside of each weapon and have specific functionality for it. It doesn't, we need to use its movement data. Movement data makes the most sense. Yeah, we can do that. Let me see where we can pull that, because we're going to have to pull the movement data from the event, right? God, what would it be? Because get damage isn't going to do it. Hmm. 
No. We get the movement data for this. It's... Let me think about this. Because get damage... Dot... Has type would be the damage type. Add, get damage, has type. Multiplicative modifier, add, additive modifier, clone. Elect types. That gives the type of damage. Get the package, that's not going to do anything. No. Get attack, dot, get. No. No. Hmm. Because we have to get the velocity of the ability somehow, and I don't know if we can. Because I don't think the... I don't think the entity of this makes sense. Because if we do event.get entity, that's the entity of the target. That's the enemy unit, right? Yeah, we'd have to pull the projectile hit event. Hmm. Because we'd have to get entity, but it'd have to be the entity of the actual attack. Which is not correct. Get arrows in. What if, and this is stupid, what if we determined the direction of it by detecting the arrows in the body? Because wouldn't the arrow be in the body before we apply, we could get, get arrows in body. And then we know which direction it was going based on where the arrow stuck. In the, because it's get arrows in body, right? You know? Because... That returns a number, though? Aw, oh, damn. I was hoping you would give the data about the arrow. <laughs> That'd be so funny. What do you mean, Thor? No. Thor, yes. Clever solution. Yeah, we can't do that. Get get vector, in this case, is not going to give us what we want. It gives you the vector of the actual enemy. The unit that's being hit. Which is not correct. I don't know if we have a solution, like a, a clean solution for this. Yeah, we know where the arrow is because we know where the arrow isn't. I agree. Because we do events... And then dot, we've got get damage, which is not correct. Get attack. Dot. That's MMO player data, that's not helpful. Let me see what we can do going down through these. We may have to add extra data, metadata to this. You know, I might actually do that. Have an ability that consumes all the arrows in the enemy. And then does extra damage. Consumes all the arrows in the target, dealing extra damage to them. I could do that. Which would be really cool. Yeah. We could we could add an extra ability to rangers called like punish opponent or some shit. Pin cushion, something like that. Yeah. Because we can detect how many arrows are in the target and then delete the number of arrows in the target and then make them shoot out blood or something. Yeah, like Callista in League of Legends. Yep. Same. Voodoo doll, whatever you want to call it. Don't arrows despawn on a timer? Yeah, but I can delete them. Welcome to whatever we want. Yeah, I love combo abilities. I like that. I really, really like that. So trying to get the direction of the arrow, I don't know if there's a good way to do this, man. Because MMO player data is not going to give us what we want. No, that's not correct. That's the skills. Maybe the event is not what we need. The 
because if we do get entity from the event, this is not going to function. This gets the living entity of the opponent. This gets the damage type and the damage. That gives a handler list. Checks to see if it's cancelled. If we get to the date of the actual event itself, that's not going to give anything either. We can get the player from this. Which doesn't make any sense. Damn. The direction of the spell is something we keep track of, but it's never passed to the damage event. So I'll probably need to write new code for this. Damn. Here's the th If we pass that to the damage event, the direction of the spell, if we pass that to the damage event, can we do that for projectiles as well, Jake? Because we can do that in the damage event if we do it. If we do it in, in get damage, then instead of doing event.get entity, get eye location, get direction, we can do event.get damage, get direction, right? And then at that point, I can apply this version to weapon damage. And I can apply the projectile version to projectiles and magic to magic and thaumaturgy to thaumaturgy because these guys are never going to have a melee attack because that's the type of damage that they deal. Like arrows are a projectile, magic is a magic, thaumaturgy is a thaumaturgy, and weapons are a weapon. So we can apply this, we can take this and give custom variants of this to each one of these, like here, if that makes sense. And that would be really, really easy to do. And then we won't have that problem. For now, I don't think this is really exploitive. It is definitely a bug, and we do have to fix it. But it's not as scary as you would think, right? How is magic different than thaumaturgy? So thaumaturgy is light and shadow magic. It's healing and damage, right? That's the whole point. And then the magic damage is like spellcaster magic. So this one scales with your magic power. This one scales with your thaumaturgy power. They're different statistics. Yeah, holy dark versus elemental. Bingo. So this is your healers and your shadow damage. This is your, I shoot you with lightning and fire, right? And then this one is, I shoot you with arrows or thrown weapons, physical objects. And then this one is, I hit you with a stick, right? Because I'm a warrior. Yeah. That's the whole idea. That is, that is the whole idea with it. Use knockback direction? There's no knockback on this. So we intentionally remove knockback from the grand majority of spells because I'm going to be honest with you, nothing is less fun than getting knocked back in Minecraft. In Minecraft PvP, there's so many damage sources that you're just like, burr, 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 and your camera's like freaking out. Like, no one likes that shit. That shit's so annoying, dude. It's... That shit is obnoxious. I've never wanted to vomit more in my life than in Minecraft PvP. That shit blows. What do you think about Hypixel Skyblock? I think it's cool. Yeah, so we're, what we're going to do is Jake is going to update the damage event. Because get damage right now is just the damage event. It just does the amount of damage. Attack that get damage, right? And if we do something like event dot get attack dot get and see how it has get data, right? In this case, we can do event dot get damage or event dot get attack dot get damage. And instead of event dot get attack get damage, we can get event dot get attack dot get direction. So instead of doing it in the damage event, doing it in the attack itself would probably be the good idea, Jake. Does that make sense? I don't know if we can modify get attack. We should be able to. Yeah, doing this in get attack is better. Yeah, I think get attack should have the data about any arrows or spells involved. I agree. Do we want to do that with all attacks though? Because then it's just cleaner, right? Because then we don't have to do a custom solution for each one of these, which is better. If we do this, can we can we pass that for weapon attacks? Yeah, I think that would be a better option. Because then what we could do is we could do get attack dot get direction, and use that for this right here. So instead of doing the player's eye location get direction, we do the attacks get direction versus the opponent's facing. So that way, the opponent's facing is the definitive factor of if you are hitting them in the back or not. And the player's direction is now irrelevant, which is correct. So we'd have to be able to do event.getattack.getdirection.angle, which is the going to be the correct path for this. And we will apply get direction as a modifier to get attack. Now it makes sense. Yeah, we'll do that. I think it's the best way to handle that. Yeah, player direction is the way this works. 
Player direction is how it works right now, which is not correct. Welcome to Operational Bugs. Okay, I'll work on that today. Awesome, dude. Very cool. I think what I'm going to do today for block game stuff is I want to start working on Neath. Or hard mode stuff for Sunken Cells. One of the two. Because I want to I want to work on Neath with you, but we just have so much stuff on the side that I can't even work on it. By the way, I've installed Minecraft onto the other house laptop, so I've just I wanted I want to sit on block game and just build when I'm off stream, and I may just build the hard mode for sunken cells at the other house, which would be great. Meant to get kicked? No, no chance. I'm not updating the game right now. I accidentally discovered sunken cells. Yeah, dungeons are meant to be for multiple players. Also, Jake, one of the things that I want to do, and this is not going to be popular with players at first, but I think it's going to give make the system better overall. I would like to make it so that when you open a chest, you get EXP on your first opening of it. So when loot is generated, because we're already doing that, right? When we do loot gen, which means you haven't generated loot before, you get bonus EXP. You get your 1,000 EXP. And I want to do that in a config for the plunder system, the pirate booty system. The reason why is I, I want to deprecate EXP books. Because I realized a bad player behavior based on my design. The issue that we're having right now is when you open a chest, it gives you a book. And that book can be consumed for 1,000 EXP. I wanted to incentivize exploration. The problem with this is players are stockpiling these and they hand them to a new player and that new player basically gets a, a character boost which is not good we don't want this to be a stockpiled resource this is not a this is not a good thing at all so by changing this into a automatic applied to the person who opens the chest it's a good thing can add some api hooks to pb so cork and exp chest for the first time good I'm going to work today on removing EXP books from chess. So when you get that done, please let me know, because I think that's the big thing. Can't you soulbind it? No, soulbinding is not like a, a thing really in Minecraft, not in an effective way. It You can soulbind in certain ways, but it's not, it's not good. Yeah. So I'm going to work on removing those today, because it's. I think it's a really important thing. I don't want to create an environment where you're... Basically, it's creating an environment for RMT. And I know this already happening, and we just don't know about it, where people can use real money to level their character in block game. We've already seen players actually use real money to make an alt account to gain significant advantage, and we've shut down methods for doing that. So by removing this, we will have less of a problem. Like, I don't, I don't want that to be a thing. I don't want someone to pay real money to level their character in block game. It's already a thing. That's already a thing. I know it's scummy, but like, welcome to, welcome to games, right? Yeah, so we by by creating this system, it is still incentivizing exploration, but it's stopping the stockpiling of those benefits. And that's the whole idea there. So applying EXP bonus is something that we already do in a lot of different ways, using scripted methods for like um, EXP for monsters and things like that. So this is a change that will likely be unpleasant for people right now because it is, it is a new direction, but I think it makes the game healthier overall in the long run, and I think that's the right choice, if that makes sense. So anyway, the game, welcome to modern game player bases. Yeah, yeah, it's normal. Can the books be traded to our alts? Yeah, already. Yeah, you don't even... People don't even have alts. <laughs> if you have an alt, that's crazy. Yeah. Just make the EXP value minus... Go minus if traded? No, because then you have to explain that to a player, right? Like, that doesn't make any sense. That's weird. That's a weird experience for people. Yeah. Don't people alt for the daily token? Some of them do. And that's also, like, a problem, right? But I don't want to get rid of the daily token. I'm, I'm happy with where that is. I have no idea if it makes sense, but good job. Yeah, it's it's avoiding a specific problem that we didn't see before. Yeah, the M of a core soulbinding sucks. It just does damage to the player. They just end up eating the book and then healing and then eating the book and then healing. Like, it doesn't... It's not good. Do you do voice acting? No. I stream. That's what I do. Auto use the EXP book? No. That's even weirder. The, the correct solution is making it so that you get XP when you generate loot on the new chest. Yeah. Which will likely turn into an exploit of some kind that we'll have to fix. Are you a white hat? In the hacking community, we don't use that term. 
nobody says white hat, black hat, gray hat, any of that stuff. That's that's usually for people on the outside of the community. Um, we're, we're just hackers, man. We find interesting solutions to difficult problems. That's how we've always been. Why did a bed just blow, blow me up in Murkheim? Because you're not allowed to sleep in it. Because players were using them to teleport in Murkheim. By taking off all of their gear, and then intentionally dying to teleport back to the bed. No bed for you. I love making things violently explode. Does it even do damage to them, Jake? Do you agree with this year's Game Awards nominations? Let's go see. Game Awards 2024. What are they this year? Man, where are the nominations? Yeah, I definitely agree with them because there aren't any yet. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing to argue with. I mean, winners? We don't even have winners yet, dude. It's April. Have you seen the Instagram account of the hiking ferret? No. It's terrifying to me. Yeah, actually terrifying. Okay, so I'm going to start working on that. We're going to get that done. And I will be putting those emotes up soon. Plugins. Let's see. We actually need to go into Agartha. Data packs. Pirate SMP. Data. Chests. Uh, that's going to suck. Oh, um... That's the other thing, Jake. We may need to do this. Hmm. Some chests were giving bonus XP, but I can move those over to the boss. I don't I don't think we should have boss boss chests do more XP than other chests. I think that'll be fine. Do you stream games? Sometimes, yeah. Usually every day, at the end of the day. Cause I was just remembering like Krognar's secret chest was like five thousand XP. I don't think we need to do that though. I think that'll be fine without that. Yeah. I think that'll be fine. We don't need that. So if I can just have... Basically, if you can just give me a config that allows me to say the total XP that is, is given per chest, and then I can do that on a config, then we're great. Then we're not having a problem. And it will only do it on first loot, not on each loot. And if it's a chest that regenerated, it'll have to be on when their loot table is generated, which you already have a hook for that, so. Any chance of you streaming Ar uh, American Arcadia? 100%. 100% chance. I cannot wait to stream that. The game looks cool as shit. Okay, I'm gonna put in my work for this. Work... Grab this whole thing, dump it in there. Why did that just disappear? Come back. Is it already out? Yeah, but I have limited time and lots to do. Lots to do. Should this be for preset chest too? No, it should not be for preset chest. So if a chest, if a chest is a non-regenerating chest, a chest that never regenerates. Actually, no. Okay, so it should be for every chest in Murkheim. And it should be for... Not... Basically, any chest that is not specifically placed. If that makes sense. Ones where I didn't generate the loot... Like, manually? Does that make sense? I think we have a flag for that. I don't remember what the flag is. I can check the database. Let me check the database. Yeah, we've got a we've got a, a database flag for this, and I just can't remember what the hell it is. 
Where are you, database? Top five favorite open world games? Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to be real with you. Hmm. I think Enshrouded is way up there. I actually really, really like Enshrouded. Really do. I also like Division 2. A shitload. Division 2 is super fun for me. Crazy, crazy fun. I love that shit. I'm trying to think of other ones. Warframe is not an open world game. Warframe is a level based game. Yeah. Valheim is amazing as well. Valheim was, or Shredder was not very difficult. It doesn't need to be difficult to be fun. BG3? I guess you can call that open world. Nightingale, I don't like very much. Yeah, I think the, um, the menus and building in Nightingale are incredibly clunky. The game, the environments are amazing. The, the gameplay is very cool. The feeling of the world is interesting, but the, the menus are just so, oh, they feel like they get in the way all the time. I think it's the thing that holds it back for me. Yeah, the UN crafty, crafting is janky. I think the rest of it's fine. The game's fun. It's just, it feels like it's fighting me to play it because of the UI. I think it's Plunder State. Let me go look at Plunder State real fast. No, it's Plunder Blocks. Okay, so... I think it's Ignore Restock is the one, Jake. Yeah, so if the if the box says ignore restock, then do not give XP. Does that make sense? Everything else should give XP. That one's a much more important change, because this is only going to get worse the longer that this one goes. So I think this one is way more important than the uh, the backstab damage thing. The daily origin XP token, to it restocks? So it still give XP in that case? Mm. Okay, so if it's ignore restock, no XP, and if it is a manual loot contents, then ignore XP, which I don't think there's a flag for that. I guess loot table key, if the loot table key is null, then do not give XP, because the loot table key of null is anyone that I have done manual, manual stuff for, right? Yeah, loot table key of null. That'll be the one. Because we have we have data for the loot table key otherwise, and those are all the random ones. So if it's loot table key of null, then, then we say no XP. That should be perfect. Then you only have to do one check, and then it's highly efficient. Why not just do only the chests in dungeon and merc? Because there are specific chests inside of the dungeons that don't do that. There are special chests for that. Yeah, so like, if Merc, no XP? No, Merc, Merc gives XP, is the idea. Loot table null is not the thing. I'll do that today, perfect. Yeah, and if we put it out, if we, you expose it as a config, a config line that I can change in YAML, then I can balance it that way, so then we don't have to, we don't want to hard code it. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to go work on removing all of these from these <laughs> loot tables, which is going to be a freaking mess. Because then we have to do this. It's awful. You see this? You see this hell that I'm about to... Look at it. It's gross, isn't it? One moment. Let me see close all of these. We don't need that. Oh my god, I can actually close files in Notepad++. Insane to me, dude. Actually insane to me. There we go. We don't have, a, have to have a split version anymore. Nice. Noise. We did it. Yeah, so you see this right here? This is actually the dynamic lore for the book. And if we take this whole thing and we put it into Minecraft's loot table generator. I love the Minecraft loot table generator. It's the best, dude. I don't know who you out that you are out there, but you, whoever you are, have created the best goddamn tool in the universe for this shit. You see this? Look at this. I can generate my loot tables dynamically, and it shows all the NBT data and exactly what those items are going to look like. Goddamn, do I love this tool.
That's the best, dude. Absolutely the goddamn best. Wondrous, Franklin. Wondrous. Yeah, so this is good shit. Whoever made this is awesome as hell. Yeah, it's freaking red. That one was mine, little heb. That's how I'm Del doing. Still alright. Got some new detections to add. Which is good. Too slow, little ham. Too slow. Maybe when you have a graphics card, we can fix that. We'll get you one. It'll be fun. Uh, where's my detector? Alright, there we go. Fixed. Heimdall is now stronger. His speed unmatched. His power unstoppable. Heimdall watches. Zexis 654 with 1000 bits said, Hey Thor, to add to yesterday's Star Citizen discussion, did you know they have a monthly subscription too? Also, I was wondering about the question regarding the order of development for solo indie devs. Let me see here. Yesterday's Star Citizen discussion, did you know you have a monthly subscription too? Wait, wait, wait. There's a monthly subscription to Star Citizen on top of those transactions? Is it $15? Not on top, optional? Is it optional like EVE Online's is optional? in which the game is dog shit unless you pay it. No, it's not like that? What does it do? That's cool. I like that. That's cool. Hmm. The reason why I don't like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be super real with you. It is a subscription that includes coupons to pay them more money in other areas. And merchandise discounts to pay them more money in other areas. And early access to event tickets to pay them more money in other areas. It's paying money to pay money. For three of the bonuses on this. It's paying money to pay money. I... Again... This is not impressing me. Everything that I've seen with theirs is... You pay money to pay more money. And I don't like that. It's like, I, I shouldn't have to sit there and be like, I could pay $10 a month, but then also buy all this merch and get a 10% discount, and maybe overall I'll be paying less money. Like, dude, that's, no, dude, pay to pay is not a thing. That's not, that shit sucks. I, I, I can't, I can't enjoy that. Yeah. No, it's not a scam. It's not a scam, it's just not good value, dude. It's not a scam, it's just not good value. Yeah. It's it's just showing me that I shouldn't engage with it. I was wondering about the question regarding the order of development for solo indie devs. Yeah, we can talk about the order of development, actually. Let me wait until the ads are over, and then we'll talk about that, specifically. Yeah, it's not a game for me. And I just think it's gross. You're my spirit animal? Nice! 
make chili at 3 a.m. Do it. Do it. Make chili with a bunch of cheese in it at 3 a.m. That's that's what your spirit animal is telling you to do. That is your vision quest. You gotta do it. You gotta make chili and put a bunch of cheese in it. At 3 a.m. specifically. Because you've lost control of your life. <laughs> that's, that's the reason. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's how you regain control. As an adult, to regain control of your life, you make chili at 3 a.m. with a bunch of cheese in it. No one can stop you. With or without beans? With beans, dude. Yeah. 4 a.m. burger? Goddamn right. 4 a.m. chili burger. Sleep stops you? No, it doesn't. When you're an adult, you can choose not to sleep. And then you pay for it later. It's perfect. Alright, I think we just delete this right off the top. Boop. Just like that. Yeah, we just delete it right out of there. Alrighty. So all we really need to do is I don't even need to do this. We can just go into this. Oh, wait, no. We can go into pools, remove this right here. And now we're basically good to go. So I'm going to do that for every one of these. We can't really dynamically do this, unfortunately. But I can manually do this. And we can just remove the pools like that. Yeah. Did Pickle use the water bongos again? What a crazy little animal that he is. Look. Pickle. He's got a funny tail now. He's going bald. So yeah, you were talking about the, the way that indie devs actually do their development, right? For development solo indie devs. The general way that I, I choose to handle this is first you have to build what's called a game design document. Game design document is going to be a description of how you're going to make your game and all the technologies and everything involved. On develop.games, which is my website, you can actually go here and go to picking a genre. Down here it'll have a thing that says game design document. Click that. It's going to give you an example of a game design document. Hey, you can see everything that's put into this. By putting that all on paper, you now know exactly what technologies you're going to be using, how you want to just construct this game, and every, all of your ideas are now out there instead of in your head, right? It's very, very helpful, useful shit. From there, you go, okay, now I know what I need to do. So now we need to find an engine that works with this. So now we know what game we want to make. Now we know what engine we could use based on the parameters of our game, right? Then you can choose your language based on which engine you have, because not every engine uses every language, right? And the cool thing is, is there is no best engine. So let's go into here. We'll go down to Tools, Engines, and you can see a ton of options at Games in Engines Database, which is enginesdatabase.com. There's about seven pages of engines here, which people in chat are going to love. And then all of this... All of this is split up by different flags you can have. I need an engine with an editor in it. I need an engine that's good for 3D. I need an engine that's good for 2D, right? Whatever you want it to be, and you can sort this based on your needs, which is really helpful. Is there a best language then? No, there's a worse one though, and it's Java. It's always Java. Java is the worst language. It's true. It's true. It's true because I said so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, to be real with you, it's it's game design, document, then the engine, then the language. A lot of the times what people will do is they'll approach this backwards and they say, what's the best language for making video games? And I go, there isn't one. Do it the other direction. The reason why you don't do it this direction, if you choose the language first and then you go, cool, I want to use C++. Well, what engine are you going to use? What if that engine doesn't make the kind of game you wanted to make? Uh, so now it doesn't work. It doesn't work this direction. It works in this direction. Game, engine, language. Best way to do it. Yeah. You, you limit yourself the other direction. Yeah. From big to small. Not small to big. Just choose Python. 
Bleh. Worst thing, in, in, you know, worst language is English for real, for real. Uh, you know, if you don't like English, in English, you know what? We're just going to stop there. Yeah, it died. My whole thought process is gone. I said English. We're done. It's over. It's over. I don't even know what I was going to say. The moment I said that, brain was gone, dude. Anguish. I'm fine with this. Anguish moment, dude. You probably read a script for this. But the cost of writing that script would probably take longer than me manually deleting all of these. So I think maybe I should just manually delete all of these. Yeah, brain is a little bit mush. Brain Robot mush, Patriot with 500 bits said, Okay, chat, couple of announcements here. Ooh. One due to us moving cult her, our book club meeting are unfortunately cancelled for the remaining month. Meetings will resume next month. Oh. Two, we need to decide it on catering service, because this potluck thing has, and I'm not going to name names, resulted in some food poisoning. Lastly, mm. carpool, parking is becoming an issue, so if you can carpool, please do so. As always, be sure to wear your cloak and ferret mask for our book club. Anyway, back to you, Jace. What did you just call me? Oh. That's a bit. Oh, buried treasure. That's why I didn't have any. Yeah, buried treasure never actually had books. It just has gold. A lot of gold. I actually had a nerf buried treasure, do you know why? People were x-raying it, which was funny. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be really honest with you. If you're going to x-ray on the server, maybe don't go into the middle of the ocean, find buried treasure, and then dig straight down into it. You get banned for that, yeah. It's really obvious. Like, stupid obvious. Insane to me. What language do you enjoy using? I actually really like Python. And I like basic. And I like assembly. It's probably my favorites. Python basic and assembly, my dudes. Yeah, basic. Basic's great. Love that shit. He likes Java? No. No. I tolerate Java. Can you even find treasure maps? Nope. But people dig up every beach anyway, because archaeology is good money. He likes Rust? No, but the federal government does. The federal government also likes Java now. Uh. White House in shambles. Java vulnerability. She not know about this? We were memeing on it for a while. Me and Log4J, the White House. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, dude. No, there was like, there was a Rust Bolton recently or some shit. And uh, we were memeing on like, oh, White House in shambles because they were, they were so into it. Like the, the White House put up this thing. They're like, oh, we, we need to have these types of program, like all programming languages need to be memory safe. And then it was like, what about this vulnerability? Ugh. Government, go away. Go back to fixing potholes and leave programming languages alone, thanks. That's what I'd like you to do. Government fix potholes? Yeah. Actually, um, there's a thing that they recently talked about on the radio that kind of blew me away. There's an automated pothole fixing car. EU automated pothole fixing. This shit is rad. Yeah, the Radar 2 project. I think that's what it was doing. Let me see. 
Is this the one? This might not be the right one. No, that was not the right one. There was a... It's an AI robot for tracking the pothole problem, but it was fixing it too. They have a car that drives around and it, it finds potholes and then releases slurry for it. And actually fixes the potholes dynamically. And it runs at night is the whole idea with this. It's called Ares Prevent. Autonomous road repair machine. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's actually it's actually kind of cool as shit. Basically, we're one step closer to having like our awesome gray goo, right? We just have like a pothole filling robot and it's just like out there roombaing our roads back to back to normal. It's pretty cool shit. Like I'm actually really excited for it. I need to find more information. Yeah, it's the world's first AI-powered robot that fixes potholes. It looks stupid as hell, by the way. It does. It is honestly just the ugliest thing imaginable. But that's fine with me. It is ugly. It's Cybertruck-looking piece of shit. I know. But it's actually really neat. They need that in UK? It's being used in the United Kingdom. Ta-da! It's actually a whole thing. But they're, they're doing this. They're actually building this thing out. And it's really cool. So it's developed through collaboration with tech firm of Ro Robotiz 3D. Scholars from the University of Liverpool and Hertfordshire County Council Highways Engineers. The autonomous robot recently underwent successful field testing in Potter's Bar, Hertfordshire. Named the Autonomous Road Repair System, Ares. The innovation is equipped with advanced imaging technology which identifies potholes and detects with... and and defects with precision. So it can actually detect cracks that are going to become potholes and then prevents them by actually doing that. Shear, not Shire? Dude, I don't know shit about your language. I don't know anything about it. Hertford Shear. Hertford Shear. It's a Shire, dude. That's a Shire. Fix your language. Ridiculous. Yeah, identifies buttholes and then, and then seals them. You'll never poop again. True. Yeah, no, this is really cool shit, though. It's, um, it's kind of a big deal. Because I live here in Washington, where it rains 75% of the year. So if we actually had an autonomous robot fixing this, I may be able to walk down the street without disappearing under the ground. Into the underworld. Yeah. But I can't. So we need this. This would be a good idea. Yeah, it is really neat. I'm going to link this in chat. Enjoyable. Why Tacoma? I don't even live in Tacoma anymore, dude. I just commute to it. Yeah. No more Tacoma for me. Honestly, I think the best part about Tacoma now is that they closed the paper mill. We used to have a paper mill hill, or here, and um, it created this smell that smelled like a dead thing at all times. And it was called the Tacoma Aroma. The Tacoma Aroma has been gone for about a year. It's great, actually. It is really nice to not smell that shit at all anymore. Because paper mills are really, really gross smelling. When I first moved here, I thought that something had died in the house. And then I went outside and I thought something had died in my car. And then I drove for 30 minutes. And then I thought something was like dead in the engine. And it was actually just the city. The city smelled bad. Yeah. It doesn't smell like rotten ass anymore. Yeah, I'm so glad it's gone too. Felix, I'm so glad it doesn't smell. The city actually stank whenever they were running the paper mill. And it would smell everywhere. You'd be laying in your house, like in bed, and you'd wake up and you're like, Oh, it's the dead rat smell again. My favorite. And that's just how it was. It was disgusting. It was horrific, actually. It's so bad, dude. So yeah, no, I'm glad it's gone. Screw that shit. Never again. Smell before you see the highway sign? True. Dude, we're getting there. I've almost got all these done. Let me know when you're ready, Jake. Also, I think there's a couple of bugs that I need to fix of yours today. Stuff where you fix some things. And I have to bring this down. Is that in lib? Or is it only in core? It might only be in core. It's in items? 
Oh, okay, no, it's the, it's, okay, I know what it is. It was your fix that led to a fix for the fix, and then a fix for the fix for the fix, right? Is that the one? In items? <laughs> it's quite funny. Okay, good. It's good shit. No! I was hoping I could just delete that whole thing. Actually, wait a minute. Fisher barrel doesn't need to be changed. We don't have to care about that. Fisher barrel has a bunch of fish in it, and it's fine. Your kitty is back from the wilds, dude. I could never have an outside cat. Too dangerous. Bad for the cat, bad for the environment. Jaco Shade with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I just Whoa. found out my company lets employees transfer into software engineer roles as long as they pass interviews and a hacker rank exam. Nice. I'm planning to apply next year, and the stream, resources, and Discord are the only reasons I feel confident enough to do so. You got this, So dude. thank you for that smiley face. Also, have you heard about Discord's arbitration policy? Finally, yeah. the ocean is soup and the continents are its croutons. Yeah. Yeah, I did hear about Discord's arbitration policy. There's not really much we can do there. We run our entire community out of Discord, so we're kind of at the whim of Discord. But I'm not a fan of that. I don't like the idea of all these companies suddenly being like, Hey, all of you, you're agreeing not to a class action lawsuit against us when we do something that's dog shit. I'm not really a fan of that, frankly. I don't like that direction, and uh, yeah, it's not good. What policy do they change? Effectively, they're making it so that you can't join in a class action lawsuit against... Discord, if you are a user of Discord, you agree not to join class actions. Which, to be real with you, I don't think that's enforceable. I highly doubt that that's going to end up being enforceable in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. I really, really doubt that that is. In the United States, I think is the only area that it could even be deemed as potentially enforceable, but even then... Yeah. No, it's not lawyer advice. There is no legal advice happening here. Yeah, the EU is going to shit all over it, for sure. I, I don't even think that that arbitration clause is, is even being posed in the EU. I think it's only a US thing. Yeah. Really weird. Saying it may not be enforceable is basically saying talk to a lawyer. Bingo. Yeah, by, by receiving this brick thrown through your window, you accept all damages caused by it. Thank you, we're Discord. Yeah, exactly, that's, that's exactly what it is. Hate that shit. I hate that shit. That's exactly what it is, dude. Legit the worst. So those don't need this. That's good. Odd. Is that just a question? Is it? It is. Oh god, Jake, I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid of this. When we update finally to not have NVT tags, I have to rebuild all of this in every data pack. Because there won't be NBT tags in the game. All the data packs are going to be completely different. I'm going to die when that happens. You know that, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No NBT tags when? The next version of Minecraft has no NBT tags. They changed it to a new system that's like way more efficient, but also it's gonna be really painful. Yeah, I'll have to automate it. Yeah, that'll be a conversion script, for sure. Yep. Yep. It's just, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess.
Thank you for the raid, by the way. Cult of Dolt, you're awesome as hell. Thank you very Troy much. Troy Tech with 500 bits said your pizza crust is thinner than a politician's promises. So bad that Trash filed a complaint. Played Evolve back in the day. New update dropped and suddenly am unstoppable as the monster. Found out they enabled Proximity VC when my opponents friended me. Really loved playing music and singing along in games. I had stun locked them singing Balamos. Started partying up to sing along calling it Lion's Roar. There is a streamer I'd like to give a shout out to in my next TTS if you say it's okay. Mmm. I don't... I don't like shout outs on that stuff because I, I like... If we're gonna shout out a streamer we're gonna show off their stuff, I always vet them first. Because... Like, if we have somebody that shows up in chat and just goes like, Go watch me! Or go watch this streamer! I just ban them. They just get instantly banned. Because we don't know who that person is. We don't know what kind of content they have. This is the internet. They could put some weird shit on there, right? Yeah. You're talking about Neapolitan pizza is thin? I don't think I've had a Neapolitan pizza. What do I think Neapolitan? I think ice cream. Don't go watch Pirate Software. Ooh. Wait a minute. That's not... That's not a thin pizza. Bro, what are you talking about? What do you mean thin? What about this is thin? I put Neo. Is it Neapolitan pizza? Oh, it's the same. It's the same. How's your day been? Pretty good. You know what's a better pizza? Do you want the best pizza? And I don't care what you say. This is the best pizza. It's Thai curry pizza. Thai curry pizza is so goddamn good. They use curry sauce instead of red sauce. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Thai curry pizza is good as shit. And if you don't agree... That's fine. You can continue to be wrong over there in the corner where you belong. While I eat my delicious Thai curry pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. I love Thai curry pizza, dude. It's so freaking good. It's like insane, frankly. And I haven't had it in a long time because the last place I used to have it, it was in Long Beach, California. And I don't live in California anymore. I'm sad about it. I miss that. I think the one thing that I miss about California is the food, actually. It's all the food. The food was just so freaking good in CA. It was just so freaking good, dude. God, I love the food. What are we doing here? Fixing some loot tables to not suck. And then they won't suck anymore. Zed ablaze with $1.99 said Mexico Apple. What? 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 And Olga Thanks. with 500 bits said here's your daily dose of dumb. Heard someone on the internet claim that Windows XP is safer than modern Windows versions. Because no. hackers don't care about it anymore. <laughs> Yarlul anyway, check out CVE 202431497. And if you ever use putty to connect to any servers, revoke all their keys. Uh, 
Okay, well that sucks. Time to revoke some keys today. Hackers make our lives miserable? No. They show you when you were a bad programmer. It's a sign of getting good. Son of a bitch. Actually, wait. Let's make sure which version of Putty I'm actually even using. I might be safe. Actually. I may actually be fine. Let me look. Where's my server shit? Which version of Putty is this? Which version of Putty are you? I haven't updated Putty since 2016. I have version 0.67. <laughs> Never update crew! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's good. Happy with that. I'm going to send this over to Primogen. Also, WinXP is not safer because hackers don't care about it. Uh, a lot of the banking infrastructure in the United States is running on Windows XP. In fact, the banking industry gave Microsoft a shitload of money to keep Windows XP getting updates due to that. A lot of it is. Huge amount, actually. Um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely being used. Yep. Why? Because a lot of ATMs already used it and they didn't want to update. So they paid money to make Microsoft keep updating it. Yep. Really common. Yeah. A lot of stuff still runs Windows 95, 98. Yeah, it does. A lot of them are running on unpatched servers, too. Yeah. But no, this is nuts. So in scenarios where you can't read that message, this is fun. An adversary may already have enough signature information to compromise a victim's private key, even if there's no further use of vulnerable buddy versions. If a key compromise, an adversary may be able to conduct supply chain attacks on software maintained in Git. Yeah, this would require them to have a little bit more information, but that's pretty goddamn bad. Your cousin made bank from being a kobold? Programmer? Yeah. No, absolutely. No, t to be real with you, COBOL programmers, if you want to have a job for the rest of your life, go learn COBOL. The banking industry relies entirely on COBOL. If if you learn that, you will be absolutely fine. 100%. And it's it's so easy, dude. It's so easy to get a job for that. If you, if you want a permanent job, that is the way to do it. Hands down. Yeah, it's crazy. Insurance industry too. Also, medical. A lot of shit in medical does that. A lot of shit in medical uses that. It's so rare and hard to learn that language. Yeah. I've done some COBOL, not a fan. Yeah, but it runs everything, so. One of your girlfriends knows COBOL. Dude, I'm telling you right now, she has a job for the rest of her life. If they know COBOL. Like, done. Go work in banking or the medical industry. You have a job for the rest of your life. No, not kobold. Not kobold. Goblin.
Is it pronounced? Is spelled Gobald? Yes. Yeah, Gobald, dude. How am I? Doing good. What's the music? All the music is from our game, Heartbound. All of it. Is Meatball still in jail? He is in jail unless he's being monitored. Because we have to find a solution for this. We can't have that happen again. Did you compose some of it? All this is done by Stein von Waker and our musician. All of it. What happened? Meatball. Basically, we have a room upstairs that has a hallway like this. And then a door over here. There's a computer set up to run the ferret stream. And a window that is very high up the wall that has our box router for the 5G internet in it. We put a gate here to stop Meatball from getting in there. Meatball jumped over the gate, went all the way up here, jumped up into this window, which is not open, and then threw the router on the floor. Like a big piece of shit. So, it brought the internet down, and it took us about 40 minutes to fix this. Meatball is now in the bathroom, in jail, because he did everything he possibly could to be the worst possible animal for some goddamn reason. I don't know why, but he's not allowed to be in there, so we put him in the bathroom, put him in jail to teach him not to do that, and then let him back out again. When we let him back out again, he promptly went back over here and jumped over the gate again, so he went back to jail. So we need to find a permanent solution to this problem before we can let him out about the entire, you know, around the entire house. Because, like, why? Why is he doing this? There's literally nothing in this room other than a computer and a router, and there are windows all over the house he has access to. Install a door? Yes, let me just go to the door store and just put a door up right now. Let me just... Good old chat, dude. Yeah, electric fence. What an idea. Now, to be real with you, it's, it's just going to take time. We got to figure it out. I gotta, I gotta figure out what the hell to do, because it's just... I just don't understand it, man. Why is he like this? He doesn't need to be this way. Where's my downloads? No, not new folder. Where the hell did this go? Where? Where? Oh, it's there. Scale the folder type. There we go. Work folder. Desert well. Treasure. Okay, that one's done. And now the alchemist. The alchemist is the final one. And we're finished. We did it, chat. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. That'll be a better way to do this. Yeah, no, what is wrong with you? I'm not, we're not going to be harming the cat. We just need to put him in a secure location so we don't have a problem with, with what he's doing for a little bit. This is fine. He's going to be okay. Him being in a bathroom for a day while I figure out how to stop him from destroying the internet is a fine thing to do. He will survive this. This is... The hell's the matter with you? I run an animal rescue. What?
It is a secure location. It's a bathroom. He's got food. He's got water. He's got his he's got his poop in. He's fine. He's fine for a day. And you know what he does when he's in there? He sleeps in the sink. So he's fine. Even though he has a bed, he sleeps in the sink. Does he have freedom? Not right now. He's in containment. But no, he, he, he needs to have that because what he did there was not only, one, really dangerous, but also, two, targeted dog shit cat behavior, right? Like, we, we need to put up a better gate, and I have to, I have to spend some time to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'm going to get a bunch of wood. I'm going to build a solution, and that's how that's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. You hate planning a behavior modification? Yeah. I'm going to put behavior... Mo Here's how I'm going to modify the cat's behavior. I'm going to put a wall in the way. That's how that's gonna go. They sell doors? Yeah, let me just go get a door. Again. Not putting a door in. Jesus. I just need a taller gate, guys. He's a cat. See the Apple Do Cybertruck? No. It's funny. You'll never defeat a cat? Yes, I will. You've seen cats jump fences over two meters? Yes, but my cat is a fat ass. Now what? Now what? He's not getting over it. He's not getting over it. Cat's fat. All right, Jake, I am done with configuration changes. Just waiting on your end. All right, next. Cyber Demon with $4.99 said I was standing on a corner in Washington, Tacoma. Such a fine sight to see with Thor my lord and his goblin horde slowing down to take a look at beans. Why you like this? Yodith cool one with 500 bits said too slow again, but someday I'm gonna get that cursed quest. On an unrelated note, when do you think you'll play Deep Rock again? Hog chomp did I break it Kappa Infinite? I wanna play Foxhole and I wanna play Deep Rock Galactic sometime soon. I'm just really interested in Noita right now. Yeah. Yeah, as, as Shay said, Meatball is a fat ass. True. Yeah, true. I like how there's like a weird debate about like cat behavior in chat now there's like a weird debate of like we need to find out exactly the the optimal way of stopping the here's how i'm going to stop the cat i'm going to put more gate on top of the gate until the cat can't jump the gate anymore that's how that's going to go and it's that's it worst comes to worse i won't even put a door there i'll just put a wall there i'll just put a wall there and i won't have to care anymore because there's literally no reason for him to go that way anyway. Just seal it up. I'll put a big old wall that has a picture of him on it that just says eat shit underneath it. That's do whatever I want. Make a Winchester house out of it. I don't care. He's not going into the router room anymore. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. We will find a way to do this. Should the EXP be split among party members? Are EXP books split among party members right now, Jake? I think they are, right? 
yeah, let's make it split among party members and uh, benefit in normal ways, just the normal way that it normally does it, and stop from going to people that are in in uh in areas where they're not supposed to get XP, just like we normally do. The same way that we handle experience books. I want the same behavior as experience books, if that makes sense. So the same throughput point. I think that makes sense, right? That's the default behavior then? Okay, good. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, Penguin Penguin messaged me because Penguin's maintaining this big uh, pack of of custom textures and stuff for all the and custom models for all the stuff. It's uh, there's no way that we can keep any of the NBT tags after they change over to the new system. This is a while out. Minecraft is just now updating to this new system. It's likely going to have bugs. We don't want to touch it even at first. It is wickedly more efficient, and here's the reason why. I'm glad they're doing away with NBT and moving to this new system. I'm I'm actually really glad for it. Every server frame, not every game, like not every client frame, not every TPS, every server frame, every one of those, it sends all of the NBT data from every player to every other player. The reason it does this is so that you can show armor trim on your gear. Because they did that over NBT. This is between 20 and 30% of the server's resources at all moments. The more players you have, the higher this goes. It is horrific. It is such a shitload of server performance usage. So by removing NBT and moving over to this new system, this is no longer a problem. This goes away. Servers are going to be between 20 and 30% faster in Minecraft when they get rid of this system. It is going to be ridiculously efficient, comparatively which means 20 to 30% more players on the server before we start lagging. We can get to about 70 people right now before we have server performance issues. We'll likely get to 100 after this change. So it's something we have to do. It is something that we have to do. But it's going to be a shitload of work. And for those who are maintaining mod packs like this, it's going to be a shitload of work for them too, because they're relying on NBT tags to be able to display their custom models. So we'll have to switch to the new system and then reveal to them what our system looks like and how they can interface with it, and we'll go from there. It's a lot. It's a huge amount of shit. Yeah, removal of NBT is a really big deal. When are they switching? It's it's some build that's like in... I, I don't know if it's in Snapshot right now or it's like almost out. Yeah. It's going to be a whole new thing. It's a whole new thing. And I, I'm glad, honestly. I'm really glad for it. But it's it's going to be painful. Yeah, 1.20.5. Yeah. It's not super far away. Is it 1.21 or is it 1.20.5? Because we're on 1.20.2 right now. Yeah. It's 1.21? Okay. That makes way more sense because it's a major update, dude. It's such a huge update. And this means we're, it's going to be a while out because we have to wait for all of our plugins to be, you know, compatible with 1.21. We have to set it up on the development server and try it on the dev server. There's going to be so much shit we have to do. It's not going to be easy to do. It's not going to be easy at all. I thought 1.20.3 came out. 1.20.4 is out, but we're sitting on 1.20.2 because it's just more stable. Yeah. You think you feel like you've had servers that have more than 100 active players? Likely and not on a single server. Maybe on a bungee corded server. We have multiple servers acting as a single server. We have a single server running all of this. By the way, shout out to Shockbite for not being shit. <laughs> awesome server infrastructure. Yeah, it's currently in pre-release. Yeah. It needs to happen, dude. Did Meatball survive the night? Meatball's fine. Fabric 1.20.4 is very stable. Cool. We're talking about our plugin infrastructure. Like, that's not the same as basic Minecraft. 
Sartre and Penguin with 500 bits said early morning laugh for you. Decided mm. to finally check out your programming resources. Now I'm googling, what is Git? We all have to start somewhere right. So, if you look at this... Whoop. Basically what we can do is we can upload all this to GitHub. It's like a repository for all our code. It tracks every one of the changes that we have. We can see the whole history of every change that's been made. We can see everything that's going on in there. So Jake's been doing a lot of plugin stuff. I added backstab damage the other day. You can see all the things that I changed in the commit for this. See all the code that's gone on with that. You can see everything that, that Jake has changed. You can see all the little pieces. Anything that changes for any of this stuff. And that allows us to track the changes correctly and then, you know, see what's going on. That's all. That's what it's for. Yeah, I hate Minecraft. I hate Minecraft Final. This is my favorite. Amendment to last update. Another amendment. I hate Minecraft Final. This is when you know that Jake has become a real programmer. That's the reason. Right there. That's the one. That's when you can see it. It's pretty good. It's very funny. Oh, it's definitely final. Definitely. Just like the next one will be. Absalon X with 500 bits said, Thor, how do you remove bloat from your PC and what would you recommend removing? Uninstall. The way you remove bloat is you just uninstall it, dude. And to be real with you, I don't have bloat on my machines, because the Starforge machines don't have bloat. And also, I build all my own computers before that, so I don't have any bloat. Yeah. Yeah. Wish you to use dumb changeless titles at work, inspired work. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, the real spiciness isn't even in changeless titles like that. It's in comments in the code. You know how many times I have read just insane comments working in the industry? Like, people just writing, God damn it, this piece of shit better work this time. And like, that's an official comment in the code. And you're like, well, yep. And it didn't work, by the way. That's why we saw it. Because it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. It's a ton of comments like that. It's wild, Toxic frankly. Toxic Bizu with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, hope hey. you're having a good day. I, am. I wanted to hear on ideas of how you think they could make Helldivers 2 more interesting, like giving capes and helmets different effects like fire resistance, or buff orbitals to give us more effective and good choices. I don't even think it's about that. They need to make the progression system on the galactic map more, more compelling. I, I think they moved into a direction that it doesn't feel as compelling. Basically what they did was originally each player's individual effort equaled the amount of like effort that they put in them beating levels right so your effort equals your effort which is good that felt great this wasn't scalable with the way that they were running the game because it didn't make sense because more players got on and it made it so that we were killing the objectives really fast but that feels normal and correct right so what they changed this to to try and make it more easy to manage on their side is they said hey your effort doesn't equal your effort your equal effort equals your effort divided by basically the total number of players currently online. So they've created a system where more players online means that your effort is worth less. Less players online means that your individual effort is worth more. So your effort is always fluctuating based on how many players are currently online, which isn't good. The reason why it's not good is because now I don't want to do a call to arms to bring a bunch of people in because there's no reason to. You could have 50 people online or 500,000 people online and the result is the same, which is not fun. That is not, it's, it's correct in terms of balance. It is not fun because it makes me feel worse when there's a bunch of people online. And it also is worse because let's say this, right? It's not diminishing returns. It isn't. There's no diminishing returns there. But here's the problem. Let's say you have two, no, let's say that you have four planets, right? And let's say that you have 100,000 total players online. Now, if you have 40,000 players on this planet, and then you have 10,000 on each one of these, right? And you've got, I don't know, a couple, you've got 30,000 people doing nothing. This happens all the time. Let's say that you go up to 500,000 players. And the distribution changes a little bit. So now you have like 30K on each one of these. The way that this actually works is it works by a percentage of the total player base that is on that planet. So if more people go here, percentage-wise, then you get more. The reason why it feels bad is let's say you go from 40k to 80k. 
the player expectation is that the amount of experience coming out of this, the amount of progression, is doubled, right? Because you go from 40,000 players to 80,000 players. But that's not true. It's not true because it's based on the total percentage of players. So let's go to Helldivers.io and I'll show you this in action. You can see right now that this planet here is 85,000 players, but it's only 35% of the player base. That's all that it is. So unless this number goes up, this number is irrelevant. Unless the percentage of total player base goes up, you will not increase the amount of liberation per hour. You have to get more of the total player base in, not just more people. That feels like shit. I don't like that. It, does not, it doesn't feel compelling to me. And they changed this in March. On March, I think it was March 21st is when they changed this. And I'm just, I haven't liked it since. It doesn't feel compelling to me. Yeah. Yeah, it really sucks. I'm not enjoying Helldivers lately. This system, this new progression system just doesn't feel good. Yeah, it, it feels less good to do a call to arms. And the biggest, the most compelling thing about this game was like, hey, everybody, get in there. Go fight that planet. And now it's like, well, why? Like, why would I do that, right? There's no reason for me to do a call to arms because it doesn't, it doesn't matter unless we push that percentage. I know, I love the game, but like, dude, I have everything in the game unlocked. I've gotten a huge amount of effort out of it. It's been fun, right? The compelling thing for me at Endgame was this progression system, and they kind of screwed it up on March 21st, and I have not liked it since. That's about it. What's the alternative? The alternative is that each player is equal to the amount of effort. So if you go from 40,000 players of effort, all let's say that they're all complete, completing at the same rate, to 80,000 players, then you should get times to the effort. Right? Now, here's the other thing. If you don't complete a mission, you don't get progression. So let's say that you go from 35% of the player base to 40% of the player base. You would expect a progression increase, right? But wrong. What if they're unskilled players? So now you have more percent of the player base but there's less people completing. So overall, the amount of progression that you receive is less, even though the player base may have doubled on that planet. Do you see how bad this starts to feel? Like, it feels really bad to see that number double or triple in population and the rate at which you are taking the planet goes down. That shit makes no sense as a player, and it feels awful. It feels awful. It basically makes you want to have only the most elite people on a planet and nobody else. And everybody else sign out so the elites can play the game. Which just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And it makes new players feel worthless. It does. Yeah, it's just it just doesn't make sense, dude. It just does not make sense. But it would be a good way to balance it then? It, it should be this. It should be your player effort is equal to the missions that you complete the amount of EXP that you gain in those missions times the difficulty of the mission. Done. Easy. You complete a set of missions, the amount of EXP you gain is directly related to the number of side objectives and everything that you do, and the difficulty of that mission to increase it so that as players progress, they are worth more in terms of progression. Do not diminish this or reduce it in any way based on the number of players in the game. In order to balance this back out, the devs, because they have a moderation team and a, a DM management team, would have to give ever-increasing difficulty based on the total player base that's in there. Some of those we would win, some of those we wouldn't, but if we had a system in which we were not going to win, we could, as a player base, do a call to arms to overcome their challenge. This gives a flashpoint moment where players feel compelled to sign on and go fight, rather than feel compelled to not do anything because signing on and going and fighting doesn't actually change our throughput as players. See the difference between those two scenarios? One of them, you want to call your friends. One of them, it doesn't matter. Their current system, it doesn't matter. I don't think that's a good direction for the game. I think that it kind of ruins the point. The whole point is, let's all sign on. Let's go be Helldivers. And they removed that with this change. So, not a fan. Not a fan of it at all. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Which begs the question, why even play? Under current circumstances, I agree. I don't think it's a good change. 
What was the change? The change was that they changed it from your individual effort equals your individual effort to your individual effort is changed based on the total amount of player base that's currently signed into the game. You are worth less when there are more players. You are worth more when there are less players. As such, the amount of throughput for the entire community is normalized, so it doesn't matter how many people are online. It sucks. It feels really bad. Removes the entire point of the game. Yeah. Why they choose this? They probably thought it was easier to manage. Like, likely. Easier to manage. I, I think... This, this is the basic thing. The reason why Helldivers is compelling, or was before they made this change, the reason why Helldivers was compelling is because of what is called a CTA, a call to arms. It was a community-based, everybody get in here, let's spread democracy, right? The call to arms is what makes it compelling at Endgame. To remove that feature, to make this irrelevant, is to kill the game. <laughs> And they've done that, so I just don't understand what the hell they're doing. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's just very foolish. I, I think it's a really bad direction. Do you find it difficult to switch off your dev hat? No. Not at all. No. Is the game dying? No. I just... It's not that fun for me right now. Like, that makes it not fun. Right? So I've been playing Noita instead. You know? Like, here, let me give you an example. For my account. I last played Helldivers two days ago. That's the first time since I started playing it that I didn't play it for more than a day. The spell is broken. I didn't play for two days. Because the new system is not compelling. And after a month of dealing with it, I don't like it very much. Yeah, the curse has been lifted. Exactly. It's fine. I'll just wait for them to change the system again. If they do. Have you seen Manor Lords? Yes. I'm going to be playing the shit out of Manor Lords. Yes. Total population should still have a weight on the effort. So total population would have a weight on the effort. It would. It would actually make it better, right? The more people, it should, it is, it is technically slightly skewed towards giving a small amount of percentage advantage when the community has more people online. The problem with this is, if you lose one of the three missions inside of your three mission set, you get no progression. So what ends up happening? You have a lot of unskilled players that join in, and then you have lost progression overall. <laughs> yeah, so more people is not better now. More people is actually worse. You want more good people, or you lose. And you know what the end result of this is? Would you like to see what the end result of this is? It's having a major order to do 10 planets defended over 5 days. We have 3 days and 12 hours left and we've only defended one of them. That is the outcome of this change. And calling to arms to have everybody band together can't fix it now because your output is normalized based on the number of players currently signed into the game. So we don't have a way of winning. Not effectively, anyway. Yeah. See the issue? Now it really doesn't work. It ends up feeling like a scripted loss. It's just not a compelling system. It's not a compelling system at all. And I, I really hope they revert it, frankly. I really do. Because I loved the call to arms for this game. I loved the everybody get in here, let's spread democracy. And they've they've killed that, man. I think it's a, I think it's a bad change. De design wise, I think it's a terrible change. You barely make two planets yesterday, and now they have this happening. I know, dude, it's nuts. If you are bad, they should just stop playing. You clearly were not listening to this conversation at all. <laughs> Go back and watch the VOD. There's too many of you that weren't paying attention. It's fine. There's too many of you. Yeah.
Were you gnomed or not? No. Oh, I heard at some point you've been interested in Voxel. Yes. The, the servers are really bad. Yeah, no, I actually, I went to go play it the other day because it was like, I want to get back on and like learn more about the game and it was laggy as shit. And I was like, Ugh. The game is still great. The metagame is broken. I agree with that, Barter. Yeah. I, I think I think the game is still fun. Helldivers 2 is still a fun game. The metagame is what made it compelling for me, though. Because to be real with you, if you just take Helldivers 2, it's an extraction shooter. Right? There's a million extraction shooters, but it's an extraction shooter. It's got some fun flavor for it. But the whole point of it, the whole vision of it, the whole universe design of it was the metagame of taking the world map, the, the galaxy map. By changing that progression system into something that's less compelling to call to arms for friends, it killed the point for me. That's that's the whole game for me. So, Especially because I have everything in the game unlocked. Yeah, that's all it is. Do you use NeoVim for anything? I use Primogen for NeoVim. Yeah. Anytime I need NeoVim, I just go, hey, Primogen. You look at that. And then he goes and he he goes on like a 15-hour rant about how NeoVim is the future or some shit. I don't know what he's talking about. And then I ask him to escape it, and then he goes into a different kind of rant. It's impossible to leave NeoVim. Once you're in it, you're you're in it for good. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> And then I Ligma him. Yeah. Ligma Gen. Yeah. Yeah. Evil Notion with 500 bits said still kind of surprised you haven't regexed links sent to Speakerbot to just say, linked here, or something, while still keeping the link intact for answered TTS. Smiley face, just a thought. Have a great stream, Thor, on a dark desert highway. I wish it was as easy as that, because a streamer bot has weird stuff with those types of things, and every time I play with regex with it, it has strange results, because my system is not efficient. I actually refactored the entire system yesterday, live on stream, so now it is dramatically more efficient, so I can start making changes like that. The old queuing system didn't work very well. A lot of stuff was dumping into what is called the action queue history, and that is now no longer dumping into the history, and it's good. So, I'm quite happy with that now. Much more efficient than it was. Dramatically so. Like, dramatically more efficient than it was. So yeah, it's good. It's good now. Have a problem, just use regex? Then you have two problems? Yeah. But they're different. They're different now. And it's fine. Mika Elephant with 500 bits said, Sir, earlier today I was tutoring a computer science student for some extra pocket change. Cool. It was our first session, so I was introducing him to Python and its syntax. He deadpan looks me in the eyes and says, isn't Java better? I was so close to saying F it and walking out of there. Oh. Whoa. That is, that is grim. That's a, that's grim is what that is. That's grim. I hate everything you just said to me. That makes me upset actually. Hi, Bezos. We're going to wait for the ads. Voxel is in an interesting situation. Devs lost control of the balance because population is the thing that controls the balance of the game. Here's some interesting data on Foxhole player population to see if you can spot the problem over several wars. Yikes. Yeah. I see. Yeah, that sucks. Wardens are just at an advantage, aren't they? Wardens are at a major advantage there. Well, thankfully their population will decrease over time because they eat babies, right? They gotta be getting them from somewhere and they're not taking them all from the col colonials, so... Yeah, they'll have to eat their own. It'll self-correct. It'll be- it'll self-correct, yeah. Yeah.
I need to go grab some water. One moment. I've returned. I've realized I have a problem, Jet. I have a giant banana plant growing in my living room. I have no idea how to get it to the new house. <laughs> it will not fit in my car. It is a tree in my living room. What do I do with this? No. I don't want to kill it. Right. I... I guess I have to get a U-Haul. I gotta rent a van and put it in there. Shit. A rocket? Okay. Shooting a banana plant from one house to the other sounds hilarious. Cannon. Banana cannon. Banana. Does the game kill the moon? Something that I haven't finished. Something we started to make and just didn't work. God, that's loud. Turn the banana plant into a zip file. It's more compact. You know, that's not a bad idea. Alright. You haul it? I might. I might actually do that. I might actually do that. Uh, 
just launch the banana from one house to the other, dude. And my trash work. underscore G zero B L one N with one thousand bits said good morning. Good Hope morning. you're well with the move and the cat nonsense. I have been working as a senior software engineer for about eight years now, but in my current job, I am working on a team that has slowly become more and more toxic. I have an opportunity to move over to the lead role on our SDET team, but my colleagues keep telling me it is a bad move. Your the job actually really interests me. It would also get me out of a bad manager situation. Is this a bad idea? Hmm. Why do your colleagues tell you it's a bad move? I think that's the real question there. Are your Coworkers telling you it's a bad move because they know the team you're going to be working with? Are they telling you that because they're after the job themselves? Are they telling you that because they know something you don't know? If you have a bad manager situation right now, and you have an opportunity to get a better title, take it. Like, take it. If you get a, if you get a better title, and you get away from a manager that you have a bad relationship with, Take the job. You can use that shit to leapfrog anywhere else, right? You've got the title. That's the only thing that matters. Like... Yeah. I'd say find out why they say it's bad, but to be real with you, most of, in, our, in, our, in the IT industry, most of what matters is your title. It's a big deal. Any idea how long today's stream will be? Should be about 12 hours. Henrik with 500 bits said, Hey, you talked about how stopping drinking soda makes carrots and cucumber taste sweet. I stopped using vegetable oil for two weeks, and after one week everything either tasted or smelt rancid. I can't even go in the kitchen, but I started using it again and things stopped smelling and or tasting rancid. So you stopped using vegetable oil, and then everything smelled and tasted rancid. So then you started using vegetable oil again, and the rancid smell and taste went away? I have bad news for you. <laughs> you should get that checked out. Like, legitimately, the, the only thing I can think of is, like, COVID in, impacts people's sense of smell pretty badly and can cause problems like what you were describing, I would talk to a doctor and, uh, yeah, figure out what the hell is going on there. Also, I'm going to be real with you. There's a chance that your vegetable oil has gone bad because it can. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, COVID can happen with that. I would talk to a doctor, dude. Also, what did you replace the vegetable oil with? What were you using? Perfect. Empowered socket is working. We're doing it. Okay, so the thing that I need to figure out of what we're going to do with this is this now. Where is it? I think it's on these guys in here. Which guy is it? Is it you? Yeah. So this right here is the Tome of Herbalism Secrets. And this gives herbalism knowledge. Secret herbalism knowledge when you use it. And I need to remove this from the game. But we have to find a new kind of point to the perfect specimen. And all these uni units. He's using ghee as a replacement. If you're using ghee, maybe your ghee went rancid, dude. You know that can, right?
Like the vegetable, not not using vegetable is not going to make you smell rancid stuff. Switching to ghee and then having ghee that is rancid will likely make everything smell rancid. Yeah, it can 100% go rancid. <laughs> Uh. If your ghee went rancid, you don't know what ghee is. Ghee is clarified butter. So no, you, your ghee can absolutely go rancid. Yes. Yes. 100%. You're saying no, it's not? Okay, let's go to Google. Ghee. Ghee is a type of clarified butter originating from India. It is commonly used for cooking as a traditional medicine and for Hindu religious rituals. Ghee is a clarified butter. Thank you. Thank you, Google. All of two seconds. Yeah, I can confirm. Indian here. Yeah. I use ghee. So, yes. Clarified butter. And it can go rancid. 100%. And you gotta pay attention to that. Why do you use ghee over butter? The, the reason why I end up using it, I use it for certain types of cooking because it has a higher smoke point than normal butter. When you're cooking in high temperatures, it'll stop it from going smoky first, right? That's that's a pretty normal thing for ghee. That's There's other uses for it. That's what my personal use is. It's the higher smoke point. Yeah. Really, really useful for that. 100%. There's, there's all kinds of different uses. It's different in baking. There's different, different ways of cooking with it. It's different for flavors. There's all kinds of stuff. But higher smoke point is pretty useful. Yep. And it does, in fact, go bad. Yes. Yeah, people are like, oh, it, it can stay good for six months. You don't know how old it was when the person bought it, right? They're probably not making it at home. You know, that's usually not the way. So there's, it's very likely that it was something that they bought, and that may be not a widely purchased item there. It could have been on the shelf for a long time. Who knows? Yeah. Shit expires. Your screen, yes. It is easy to make yourself. It is. It's good shit. Secondhand ghee. Yeah, you do need to refrigerate it. <laughs> I never understood the idea of putting butter on the counter. It freaks me out, dude. It really freaks me out. Yeah, let's see. I actually want to see what the, the highest smoke point is for ghee. One sec. Uh, for sautéing or frying foods, butter can smoke and burn at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees centipedes. And ghee can withstand up to 485 degrees Fahrenheit or 252 centipedes. So yeah, ghee is much better. Much better for that. Much higher temperature. So before it starts to burn. Yeah. Yeah, centipedes. Yeah, you guys measure your temperature in centipedes. That's what the C stands for. Didn't you not know that? You didn't know, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Your granny does counter butter? I could never, dude. I could never. The only time I do counter butter is when I need the butter to be, like, soft for, like, a baking reason, right? If I'm doing, like, a croissant or something like that, like, I need to have soft butter for that. You can't do the cold butter. Croissant. Croissant. You gotta do it all the way in the nose, right? No, the F stands for feet. Yeah, we actually we measure our temperature in feet. That's right. Yeah, croissant. Croissant. <laughs> Cooking stream when? At the new house, I'm gonna be doing that, actually. Yeah. So, something I'm doing in the new house... 
is I'm going to be... We have a larger kitchen that has, like, an island in the middle. And I'm going to be able to set up cameras here and then do streaming, like, basically do cooking streams and show you guys cooking stuff, which I think will be a lot of fun. I think we can do that. The first thing I want to do is I want to make chili from scratch because I love chili. And I want to show you how to make the good pepper mash when we do it. So make our pepper base and do it all from scratch. I want to use... I, I think I want to use Costco Bell chili peppers. Costco Bells are really, really good. Yeah, you, you do a pepper mash. You do a mash as the as the kind of like core of a chili. So we're going to use Costco Bell chili peppers. They kind of taste chocolatey with a heat that increases over time, which is quite spooky. It gets real, real rough in there. We can also use Chipotle chili peppers, but those are a little bit hotter and a little bit less chocolate flavor. I like Costco Bells more than anything myself. Hopefully with Geary, we can do that. Maybe I'll have Geary on my cooking show. And then we'll ask Geary to teach me a recipe, and then I'll cook that. Yeah. Give us an ingredient list so you can cook with me. Sure, we can do that. That might be fun. Thoughts on Wendy's chili? I can't eat it. Wendy's chili has bell peppers in it. I'm allergic to bell peppers. No shit. Yeah, I can't eat it. I can't have never had it. And I never will. Yeah. It's part of their seasoning that they put in it. No shit. Yep. I cannot have bell peppers. I'm allergic to uh, nightshades. It's specifically an alkaloid that's in nightshades, and bell peppers have a very large concentration of it. That's why I have these. That's why I have EpiPens, is for that. No, I can have tomato. Tomato doesn't have a high enough concentration for it, but I avoid tomato. And eggplant has a high concentration in it, and it makes my tongue feel like a cactus. It's really weird. Yeah. Does it include paprika? No. And it also doesn't include pickled bell peppers, either. The pickling process destroys whatever that alkaloid is, and then it's fine. It's fine. Are you vegetarian? No, I eat meat every day, dude. No. Yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah, I got tested for it and all kinds of shit. No, potatoes don't do it. Not a high enough concentration. Even though they're also a nightshade. Won't the heat from cooking make it safe? Not entirely. Yeah, I buy the meat in bulk. Yeah, no, I... I buy meat in bulk once a year. We get a quarter beef, which is 225 pounds of meat. And then we freeze it. And I use it throughout the entire year. It costs me about $400 for 225 pounds, maybe up to $500 depending on the year, which means it'll be about 2 to $3 per pound at most. With that in mind, I use very little of it that lasts me the entire year. It's an incredibly good deal. And because of that, I only spend between $50 and $80 a month on food. I am incredibly frugal and penny pinched to the max, dude. 100%. It's about $50 to $80 a month in food. I am really, really, really cheap on my food. Also for pork, I don't really eat a lot of pork. It's mostly beef. The grand majority that I eat is beef. I really like beef a lot. It's very versatile. I like cutting it really thin and putting it in stuff. Uh, I like beef tongue as well. Beef tongue is really cheap here in the U.S. because not a lot of people like it. They're really, you see it kind of used in Korean and Vietnamese communities more than anything else. And there it's more expensive. But for most of America, it's quite, it's quite cheap. Yeah. Beef tongue is good. I like beef tongue a lot. Yeah. Richard Brain, not my thing. Not my thing. The texture's weird. It's a whole weird thing. So to be real with you, it's um I, I, I live very cheaply. I live very, very cheaply. And the reason why I started doing this is because I was homeless for a year. I lived out on my car. And then after that I was like, never again. And I, I learned how to not suck at spending money and just basically be as frugal as possible. Yeah. And that's the whole point. Thor, you need to sleep. I just woke up three hours ago. Well, actually, four hours ago, I drove over here. So, but you know, it's it's my favorite. I, I like beef tongue more than anything. It's really really good shit. How long ago did you get? Did you get divorced? I don't even know. It's a while ago. How many years? How long have I been here? I don't know. I would have to go look at the calendar. It's been a while. Yeah, what is time? Exactly. 
Yeah, what a random question, I know, right? I feel like that I feel like this is a data mining question, right? <laughs> yeah, Crux knows it's been a while. Yeah. Chicken nuggets? Oh, chicken nuggets. Okay, I actually want to make my own chicken nuggets. And the way that I want to do this is really, really simple. I want to take pickle juice. And then I want to brine chicken breast in the pickle juice. I want to brine it in this, which takes about one hour. Then I want to batter that. And I want to fry it. Do you know why I know this is going to be really good? Either batter or bread it. Do you know why I know this is going to be really good? Because that's exactly what Chick-fil-A does. And their chicken nuggets are amazing. Yeah. That is, it's Chick-fil-A does this. This is why Chick-fil-A is so good. You want that shit at home? Get that shit at home. It's so good. I don't have Brian. Here's what you do. You buy a jar of pickles. You eat that shit over a month. And then when it's just the juice at the end, you brine your chicken in it. Then you throw it away because now it had raw chicken in it. That's how that works. Yeah. I didn't say sugar. There's no sugar involved in this. I'm not saying sweet pickles, man. I'm saying dills. Nice dills. And to be real with you, I eat a lot of different kinds of pickles. So with that, I like to have like Russian pickles, Polish pickles, German pickles, all kinds of stuff. And the flavor is different for every time. And I do this all the time with chicken. It's really good. Garlic dills? Oh, yeah. Garlic dill. Ooh. No, not a gherkin, dude. A gherkin's going to be a sweet pickle. Yeah, gherkin's going to be sweet. You ate pickles? I did. He was so wiggly, too. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah, there's so many different flavors. I love pickles, man. Have you tried kimchi? Let me see if we can find this. I don't know if I can find this picture. If you can find this, I'd be impressed. There's a picture of me somewhere making my homemade kimchi. Yeah. Kimchi gochujang? Oh, gochujang is really good. I make homemade kimchi. Um, I learned how to do this when I was young because my first girlfriend was Vietnamese and her family taught me how to make kimchi. Good shit. Really good shit. So I make it in the traditional way where you put it in a big clay pot. You leave it for three days. I know how to do the whole fermentation process. I know exactly what the smell is supposed to be like. I know exactly what it's supposed to look like. I know how to do the fermentation. Do not do it at home if you don't know what you're doing. I usually make a massive batch of this. Like a huge, huge batch. We're talking gallons of kimchi at the same time. And then when we're done with that, I store it in containers and I use it for months because it's so freaking good. It is so freaking good that way. It's great, dude. Yeah, I love making homemade kimchi. I love making homemade kimchi. Yeah. I love it, too. And it does get better. Oh, it super does. What is kimchi? Fermented. Fermented cabbage. Well, oh, it's Napa cabbage, but yeah. How do you store it? Fridge? Yeah. When I want it to keep around for a long time, I store it in the fridge. I'm trying to see if I can find the damn picture for this. Because I have a homemade kimchi picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made homemade Crunchwrap Supremes at one point. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't want to go to Taco Bell. I'm just going to make a Crunchwrap Supreme at home. And I made my own Crunchwrap Supreme. <laughs> I was like, I want to make a Crunchwrap Supreme. I'm sick of this shit. And it's so much better. It was so much better. It turned out so much better at home. I don't know if you can find this.
means cucumbers? You're a cucumber, dude. I can't find this. Um, yeah, I don't know where it is. There was something I, I tweeted about this. Yeah, this was a long this is a long time ago and I can't find it. Did you find it? You found it. Cabbages. It's weird because I wrote kimchi. Kimchi. Okay, so this is the weirdest part. The tweet says, I was gifted some cabbages, so I made kimchi tonight. I can't wait to see how it comes out. I put from Pirate Software Kimchi. It's not in this list. Why is my own tweet being hidden from me? What? Why? Why is my own tweet missing? Kimchi, kimchi. Because X isn't going to give it to you? Shut up. <laughs> oh, it's so goddamn funny, dude. You're the worst. It's my own tweet. I should be able to see my own goddamn tweet. So anyway. Yeah, this is, this is me making homemade kimchi. And it's fun. And now you can have it. Can I like my own tweet there? All right, what's well, still there? Yeah, something's wrong with the search. I don't know why I can't see my own tweet. Yeah, January 2021. And see this big clay pot? So the big clay pot, you basically put all the kimchi in it, and then you then you do that on there. Pin it? I don't want to pin it. No, I pin the thing where it shows all my socials, so that people can find the actual socials. Weird. Yeah, it's weird. But yeah, no, this is me making homemade kimchi. So basically you have to salt and brine it, and then you have to make your, your spice paste, and then I do daikon radishes in there. And um, I make my own pepper paste from scratch. I do the daikon radishes. We do fish paste in there as well, a bunch of other flavorings and things. Mix this all together, and then we we stuff it all down into the clay pot, and then you you seal the clay pot. Basically, the clay pot is a, a airtight seal one way. So as off-gas happens, it pushes the lid up, and it makes a little wiggle, right? And then it pushes it off. On the floor, though? Yeah, on a towel on the floor. Yeah. On the towel on the floor. It's me and Shay. Me and Shay making this. I make it, but then Shay eats it. So I guess it's just me, frankly. Yeah. Yeah. There's no re there's no need for that. It's it's actually, like, perfectly sealed on this. It, you you wet the, the seal around the top, so it's fine. You don't... There's no there's no fancy seal that happens here. It pushes all of that material out. You can actually hear it go... Goo -goo -goo -goo. Goo -goo -goo -goo. Goo -goo -goo. It's like, so you can hear it, like, vibrate when it does it. It's quite cool. Yeah, normal shit. Normal, normal shit. Close that we used to make it in the restaurants. Yeah, no, it's super fun. I, I enjoy doing this. And I use my gloves because that bitch spicy. You know? Just a little bit. Don't you have a table? Why would I do this on a table? When there's a perfectly good floor. There's nothing like sitting on your floor making a shitload of kimchi. Alright? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to message Onigiri right now. Nice, Jake. That's awesome. That's perfect. Good job. Really good job. You have way more control on the floor. I agree. What are those ads in progress? That is ads for some people who are seeing ads. And we wait for the community so that they don't get left behind. Any tips on making my own? As you said, it'd be tricky for the first time. It's... I generally suggest people not doing it alone the first time without understanding how to do this. The reason why I don't do this why I tell people not to do this is because if you screw up fermentation, you get botulism. You cannot screw this up. 
So you should you should talk to somebody that knows how to do it first and make it together with them. That's how I did it. That's how I learned. Okay, so this is a little bit weird. Your Discord data is being sold to law enforcement and AI companies, is the claim here. Assume your Discord conversations are public. If it's in a public forum on the Discord, I assume it's public anyway. According to the report, SpyPet essentially turns Discord's fragmented platform where users can post thousands. It's using... So the way that SpyPet works is it uses user accounts. It uses a user account that then scrapes all of the public data in the Discord. You're making a public post when you're posting on Discord, just like you're making a public post when you post on Twitter. So, like, I I don't like the title of this article. The reason why I don't like the title of this is it, it makes it appear as if Discord is selling your data to law enforcement and AI companies, which is not what's happening there. Discord is not selling your data to law enforcement and AI companies. There is a tool called SpyPet that runs on user accounts that scrapes public posts in the Discord and then sells that if it is valuable enough. So I don't really care about this. Anything you post online in a public place, anything you post online at all, you should consider public. If you don't want people to find it, do not post it. It's the same as when people post updates to video games and they put the data on the CDN and then they go, why did players data mine this? If you don't want them to know, don't put it on the CDN. If you don't want people to find it, don't make a public post. And that's it. So someone from SpyPet has an account in the server. You were to scrape it? Yes. They have to have an account in the server. That's how it works. It's a user account. It's not Discord sending this. Discord is not selling your data. It is an individual user running the running SpyPet. Yeah. See, 404 Media tested out SpyPet. They actually downloaded this and then used it. It's just a tool. It's, it just collects all of the posts that are in the Discord that they can see based on their access, right? So, like, buh. <laughs> it's just a bot, dude. It's just a bot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this article. I think the article is a bit misleading in the way that it is titled. And it's, I, I guess the, the way to put it is it's not even misleading, it's intentionally vague. By making it by making it written in this way, by putting up the title in this way, and saying your Discord data is being sold to law enforcement and AI companies, it is vague enough where you could assume that Discord is selling your data, and they'd be like, "Well, that's not what we said." Yeah, it's 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 clickbait shit. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. I hate that shit. Intentionally vague, right? Not not a fan. Yeah. You hear about the arbitration problem going in Discord? I'm waiting to see if that's even enforceable, which likely it is not. That's the thing that I'm waiting for. It's it's likely not going to be enforceable in most of the world, and I'm waiting to see how lawyers weigh in on it. Oh, Primogen said something about Electron. I'd have to talk to him about what his specific take is on that. I don't know anything about his take on Electron with, with the Discord app itself. Performance-wise, the Discord app is not very, like, bad, so, I don't know. It's kind of shit in and of itself, but not crazy shit. Just like Gizmodo is gaslighting? What are you talking about, Siberian? If even if this paragraph is found unenforceable? Yeah, if this paragraph is found unenforceable, yeah. Yeah, it just eats it just eats resources because Electron eats resources. It's not super performant. Yeah. It's only enforceable in the US. Everyone else already said no. I'm waiting to see if it's enforceable in the entirety of the US. Because California is usually pretty restrictive on that shit too. 
So, like, if you cut out California, you cut out, like, a sixth of the United States by population. So, so like... We'll just gotta wait and see. That's kinda how I feel about Isaac that. Isaac Sabrandi with five dollars said saw the lumber pictures in your Discord. You seem to have moved to a very similar place as me in Noir. Welcome oh. to the Washington Woods. You're the man. I live in the woods. I live in the woods now. It's true. I do live in the woods. I do I do have a problem with this though. And the problem is that now that I live in the woods, my electric fence was making a clicking noise the other day. And I was like, why is that happening? So I went to go unplug it, because usually that means that there's a fault somewhere. And I unplugged it. And you know the grounding pin in a plug? That bottom pin, the, the really important one? It stayed in the plug. Like in the socket. And it didn't come with the plug. So that was the first problem. So then I walked the perimeter and I found this. You see, that's the electric fence. And that's in a foot and a half wide tree. That's a hill. So that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do now is there's, there's some companies that will come out and they will remove the tree for you, which costs you money, but then they buy the wood off of you which removes cost, and I may actually end up making money off of this problem, and then use that money to fix the fence if the fence is damaged. Hey. So I gotta figure it out. Secure the trunk, then chop it? Bingo. That's the idea. Because otherwise it's gonna roll down that hill. But this is... This is a shitty problem. It's really, really shitty. You know what a good problem to have is? The morel mushrooms that keep popping up in my yard. Oh, ha, ha, ha! They're so delicious! They're so delicious. They taste like steak. God, they're good. They're so good. Morel mushrooms. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they're really good. We call those hickory chickens here? In Appalachia? Yeah, they're really good. Did you eat borscht? I've had borscht. Yeah. Do you have a chainsaw? I don't, actually. How do you cook it? So... The, the one thing about morel mushrooms, if you don't know this, morel mushrooms naturally produce what's called hydrazine. Hydrazine is rocket fuel and jet fuel. Yeah, you, you need to cook them. So what you do is you cook them low and slow until they shrink really small and they kind of look like beef jerky, like a little little real dark beef jerky. And then you eat that and it's really tasty. Yeah, they, they naturally produce hydrazine. It's a normal thing. It's highly toxic to humans and you cook it off and it's not a problem anymore. Welcome to mushrooms. Mushrooms are insane. But you have to know specifically what a morel mushroom is. There are lookalikes that will kill you that are very, very, like very, very toxic. And morel mushrooms themselves will kill you if you eat them raw. So you don't. You cook them until the rocket fuel goes away. Yeah. Welcome to nature. Mushrooms are small chemical factories. They're wild as shit. Jet fuel power, true. I get people in my unit who kill their livers eating mushrooms. Dude, the, the one thing I always tell people is Shay is trained by the Mycological Society of Washington State. Shay is a trained mycologist, right? Like, we know what we're doing with mushrooms in this local area. We go to another area, we don't touch the mushrooms. Because you don't know what each local area has. A, a good example of this is here in Washington, we get a lot of tourists that come over from Asia. And in Asia, you'll have certain kinds of mushrooms over there. And they'll come over here into Washington and they'll be like, oh, we're going to go to a mushroom spot. And mushroom hunting is, is largely a secretive task where you don't tell anyone about it. You're like, I don't want to tell anyone my spot because they'll take my mushrooms, right? Because the mushrooms will come back every season. So they come out here and they go and eat these. And guess what? The mushrooms look the same between both places, except this one over here is toxic. So we get a shitload of people that come over here from Asia, eat the local mushrooms and then die. It is actually a huge problem in Washington. A massive problem. They either die or they go to the hospital and have to go through a huge process of like fixing their liver and kidneys. So yeah, no, it sucks, dude. It's really shit. So like, you, if you are going to get into mushroom foraging, you need to be trained by the Mycological Society in your local area. Not just 
trained from a book or from YouTube or any of that shit. You need to know mycologists in your area and know your local varieties. And then even then, most of the ones we find, we're like, that eh, looks a little bit weird. We're not going to do that one. Even if we think it's correct. We go, nah, yeah, no apps, no phone apps, no books, no Google, no YouTube. Local mycologists. Yeah, find local mycologists in your area right now. Exactly. That's exactly it. So, like, seriously, you have to know what you're doing. And it's super dangerous. You will just die. And you know what happens when you die to mushrooms? Do you want to know? You get a stomach ache, usually within about 12 hours. Then you're fine. Then three days later, your liver and kidneys shut down and you die. And there's nothing they can do to save you. Nothing. It is a slow, awful death that usually takes about 72 hours. It is a horrible way to go. Do not screw around with the mushroom. It will kill you, and no one can save you. Yeah. It is horrible shit. And you eat these? Yeah, because I know what they are. Welcome to being a mycologist. Yeah, no, I'm serious about this. I'm, I'm always I'm always deadly serious about this because it is deadly serious. You, it will kill you. Yeah, it, the, the finding out portion of this is you dying, and I don't want you to I don't want you to die because you read some bullshit on the internet and you thought it would be fine. You know, that's it. So I don't touch mushrooms unless they're from the storm. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Nadava with 500 bits said I have to thank you for the encouragement. I went to my boss's boss during wage review and got a 20% raise, they tried to give me 3.5% after a promotion. You fool, you have given me too much power, I might even buy the demo later. Hmm. One moment. Hey, Jake. I think we should talk about that one. I absolutely think we should. What do you think, Jake? Where's the user ID on that page, Chick? This is going to be good. Icon, order ID. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, I won't. Don't worry. So we found something really interesting. Uh, you know how we were just talking about SpyPet? You know how we were talking about that? Turns out SpyPet has an API. So if you want to know if your Discord server is being tracked, all you have to do is go to api.spy.pet slash servers and then put in your server ID. And it will actually show you which account is currently tracking your server. Our server was being tracked by this account. We just banned it. We just put our server ID inside of their API. And then we banned this account from our server, which was the one that was actually tracking our server. So that's cool. Enjoy that. Yeah, enjoy that. There you go. Have fun. Have fun. Explain that better? This was the bot account that was on our server that was tracking us for SpyPet. Was tracking our community for all the public posts. So it's api.spy.pet slash servers and then our, our server ID. 
And this was the account that was doing it, so we banned that account. Neat. <laughs> We'd love to see it. Cool scraper, bro. My guess is that they don't my guess is that they don't want that to leak, but now that we have it, we've just banned the account, which is quite funny. Very funny. Yeah. Yeah, we just banned the account for doing it. <laughs> dumb. Very dumb. Can you make a bot ban the bots? We just do it manually. Can you link that endpoint somewhere? I just did. Here you go. Change the server ID at the end to the, your server's ID and see if you're actually if any data comes up. And then you just ban the account. Easy. Really easy. Oh, it's dead. Did you guys actually kill their API? Okay, it's not dead anymore. <laughs> just like I thought you killed their API. Yeah, so if you look at this on account right here, this is the account of the bot that is currently running on that server to scrape the data. So if you ban the on account ID, whatever account ID that that is, they're dead. The account dies. This is that tool that is scraping Discord accounts. So Discord servers, it's scraping all the public posts. We found out that there was one on our server, and it's this account right here, and we banned it. It's gone. Easy. And it's very obviously that account when we went and looked at what the information on it was. How to find server ID? You can actually just search this. So if you search for your server, you can pull up the server ID. So if you search that, that number, you'll find Pirate Software Discord server directly on Discord. Discord Discordspace.com will pull it up. So that, that shows up. The server ID for Pirate Software is this. Now it's our server ID for our server. So server ID just goes here, and then you can find which account is scraping that. I find this to be really funny to me. I find that hilarious. Likely, they don't want people to be able to pull this out because this allows us to defeat their little scraping stuff here so likely they don't want that to be public but it is an api which makes it a public api which is deeply funny you can also right click on your server you can yep in any case accounts banned fun you love to see it why is it public it's an api should be behind auth, then you would require auth from that specific account, but it's not. It says false on my result. Likely your server's not being tracked then. Hey. You'll love to see it. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's make this a short. Let's just let's just make this a short real quick. So, if you're worried about SpyPet, and you're worried about SpyPet tracking your Discord server. Go to api.spy.pet slash servers and then put in your server ID. Go down to on account if this appears and doesn't say false and then ban that user because that's the user account that is tracking your server and scraping all of your posts for SpyPet. Neat. Done. Very cool. Enjoy. Very funny. How do I find my user ID? Go to your Discord. Right click on it. Like go into your Discord right here. See this? Right click. Copy use server ID. It'll be in the list at the very bottom. Copy server ID. You're good to go. Yep. Was it api.spy.pet slash server slash ID? Yes. Yeah, you can even get the username by this ID. Yes, you can. So, that's a really easy way to get rid of this problem. If the server ID option is not there, enable developer mode on Discord. That is correct. You are correct about that. 
So yeah, to be real with you, it's quite funny. A false return says that your server is not being tracked. That is correct. Copy ID not being available means you don't have developer tools turned on. You gotta turn them on first. In settings. Anyway, crisis averted. Grim, dude. Info selling? Yeah. Now create a script to auto man? Way ahead of you. We actually have a deduplicated list of all of their bots, and we're just going to ban every single one of those bots from the server. Because we have a full list of all of their bots. Done. Public API! Sometimes you want to scrape the scrapers, right? Sometimes you just you just do that, and then you ban all their shit. I don't know why they made that public. Jake, were you given that list? Yeah. Yeah, you have it all. Okay, cool. Yeah, break it. Kill it all! The UID is the user ID? Yeah, it is. Factorio server has one? Not surprising. Major servers are going to have this. They'll just make new accounts. But it is funny. Helldivers Discord has one or two? Yep. Can you give us the list so you can also ban them? No, because that incites witch hunting. Instead, I'll show you the tools and how you can find them yourself and go kill them, like I just did. Yep. Aquadictus has got it. Enjoy your cat and mouse game. Have fun. Just made an army of hunters? Damn right. Teach you how to hunt. Don't just give you the fish. Have you heard about the data transmission breakthrough? Yeah. For fiber, it's insane, frankly. Three Tune to one with terabits a second. 500 bits said, Hello, Mr. Long Lehman. Have you ever played Hello. Mortal Online 2? No. It is a social sandbox MMO, with a very different approach to melee combat, magic and necromancy. It has a cool system for building buildings and destroying enemy ones and overtaking enemy zones. Also the game. Also the game. You guys, I just lost the game. I thought you should know. I thought you should know. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate, isn't it? It is. It is. But no, I never played Mortal Online 2. I know it's a sandbox and Mo. It's just not one that I ever played, so I never got really into it. And people have said that it's very, very good. Let's see. Jake. I heard... Did you finish your, your side of the, the update for this? I, my server report's false. No one wants my data. It's likely going to hit only large servers, dude. Yeah. Yep. How do you ban them based on the UUID? You can co correlate the UUID to the username. Search. Do you know why gauntlets and punching weapons are rarely ever used in games? So, to be real with you, gauntlets are freaking cool. And they're rare, right? They're rare in games, and I wish they were more common in games. It's... I think a lot of the times is they're so low range many times. Like, so low range for this kind of a thing. And it's weird, right? It's it's really weird because I like punching weapons. I really, really like punching weapons. I like characters like Tifa, right? From Final Fantasy VII. I love that shit. I think it's rad. I like having, like, a brawler, you know? Like, a brawler character is freaking neat. And they're just, they're rare. 
Elden Ring had two and a hundred swords. Yeah, I think I think the biggest problem with it, man. I think the biggest the biggest problem with this is likely that they're not that cool looking. I think it's I think it's honestly that they're not that cool looking. I know you guys are all mad. It's very funny. I'm gonna keep saying Tifa. Yeah, get mad. They're just not that cool looking. Which one looks cooler? Big sword, tiny fist weapon, right? The only time that I ever see fist weapons that look cool, honestly, are in World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is cool. They have like a lot of neat gauntlet weapons that look like big claws and shit. But they're usually on a druid. And druids transform so you can't see them anyway. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah. Fist weapons in D&D. Fist weapons are kind of cool, man. I like them. I like them a lot. Shaman mostly uses hammers, though. To be honest. At least... Last time I played, they were pretty hammer, hammer driven. Monks are cool. Monks are rare, frankly. That that was the thing in Diablo three pretty heavily. Monk was cool for Diablo three. Monk and Diablo was pretty cool. Yeah, they didn't really have a weapon, right? They kind of sat on their hips the whole time, just punch shit. A little bit weird. What is this? Okay, new config stuff, so we're going to put that in Pirate Course config. Let's go grab that real fast. I will likely have to put this off screen for a moment. Wait, that's going in core, Jake? Interesting. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to put that in core. Do we have to make an update to core then? Okay, that EXP is good. We've saved that out. Every plugin, except for lib. Wait, even... You even have to make an update to items? Really? That sounds cursed. Shit. Items already has an update pending? No? Nothing updating here. Did you not push it yet? Is that why? Alright, the config is pushed. New config is up. We're good to go. That fix from yesterday? That's already live. Yeah, all of your fixes are live. I pushed all that to the server. Yeah, yeah. That's all live. I got that done last night. Or yesterday, rather, on stream. Thank you for the rating party of three. Hope you're having a good day. Jake, why are you handing me the jar directly? I can just compile it, can't I? Oh, wait, we've never compiled that one. I've never compiled that on my local machine. I don't have an environment for it. Okay, I understand. 
Whoop. This is the moment where Jake gives me a Trojan, guys. This is it. I'm ready. I'm ready to finally ascend, Jake. What flavor of ransomware is it, Jake? I need to know. I can't wait. Gnome flavored? Ooh. My consciousness has been uploaded into your PC. Ultimate AI. That's horrifying, actually. That's, that's not good. Doesn't that mean that my PC is now just going to bemoan Java? Just like me? That's probably fine. I love that. Been seeing the YouTube shorts and loving them? Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. All right, Jake. I am ready to do the compilation for the rest of this. When you do your push. Oh, wait, it's fetching. Oh, the poll. The poll is happening. Wait, what updated? Push new core. So it's just core, right? Core end items? Or are you doing individual pushes? Boop. Boop. Okay. I thought you said there was an items update. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's just a core update. Just the core. That's not a big deal. I think I was in lib. Oh, yeah, I was working in lib. Development, GitHub, block game. Let's go over to core. And let's look at this change real fast. I'm actually really interested in how you implemented this. Boop. <laughs> because our plugin is called Pirate Booty, you called it the Booty Listener, dude? Son of a bitch. Uh, you know, fair. That's fair. Booty listener. Let's see what you did here. His quest or command is allowed to bypass checks. Interesting. You changed the name of this flag? Okay, quest, exp source command. Or the source is exp source booty looting. You loved naming this booty, didn't you? You loved it. I can see it in every one of your choices for naming. Booty looting. Booty listener. I'm watching you, Jake. I'm watching you do this. Booty looting is true. Holy shit, dude. This is the funniest shit of the planet, dude. What a... What a meme. Oh, I'm so proud of you. It's when you're a real developer, dude. You think that man enough? Soon. Jake is being, one of the people who's being hired on full-time. Yeah. Jake's, Jake's work for the community has been invaluable. Both between the work on block game, doing moderation activities, and also in working on the game jam. Uh, Jake personally did hundreds of games in the game gym. It's absolutely outrageous, frankly. So, you yeah, know, Jake's one of the ones who's being hired on full-time in the first round because that's just monumental amounts of effort. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do for all the new hires, too, is I want to be... I'm going to be buying computers for all the new hires. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to be buying them from Starforge, who's our sponsor, but I'm actually buying them. It's They're not handing them to me. I'm buying them from them because I, I actually like the machines outside of our sponsorship. I think that they're really good. So, yeah, no, I'm into it. I'm really into it, actually. 
and that's we're going to be trying to do that for them. Yep. I need to figure out the tax implications of that, but that is the intention right now. Can chat get computers too? I don't know if I could afford that. There's a lot of you. Hmm. What's wrong with a 10 year old plus computer? Little Ham runs on a computer that has no graphics card. It is, it is a potato. The idea is to give our moderators the ability to actually moderate because they're running on, some of them are running on computers that are awful. Yeah, Little Ham runs on a machine with no graphics card. It is fully integrated graphics. Old too. Yeah. So like, to be real with you, one of the reasons that I wanted to go forward with hiring the moderators full time is because some of the people who are moderating for us are in bad financial situations and do an immense amount of work. I don't like the idea of people working for tips. I don't like the idea of people being moderators for free. I don't think that that is appropriate. The amount of stuff that they have to deal with on a daily basis is enormous. It's horrific as well. I get to see every one of the bands that goes through this community. And it's a huge amount. So like... This is just, it's, it is mandatory for me to fix this, which is why I have four hours of meetings a day to try and figure out how to fix it, fix it all. We're almost at the end too. We're actually at the last portion. What I'm setting up right now is I'm setting up payroll. Payroll is the final piece. Third stream is down. Why now? Son of a bitch. Did the internet die? Messaging Shay. The internet at that house may be dead. May be dead. Meatball definitely did not escape. Shay is likely asleep. Ferret stream has just restarted. What the hell? Did that come? Did the internet there die? Oh, the internet's looking bad, dude. Yeah, the internet's dying there. So there's a windstorm over there right now. I would not be surprised if we're having some serious problems with throughput. Yeah. I, I would not be surprised. It's not wires. We're, we're on 5G internet for that house. I would not be surprised. It, it's having problems. Yeah, it's it's a there's a major windstorm. I actually had to go around two fallen trees to get here today, which was spooky because <laughs> there's only one road out, and there were two fallen trees on it. I had to be like, woo, around that, you know, like yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's just a windstorm, dude. A little bit of Pacific Drive IRL, yeah. Oh, apparently Shay is saying that it's actually raining a shitload there now, too. Yeah, we're gonna, probably going to have outages. Probably going to have outages due to the storm. I'm not surprised. This is why I can't stream at that house. 5G is just not acceptable. We'll be doing our best until we get fiber installed. Yeah. Watch out for falling trees. Shit's dangerous. Yeah. I did get to see a car with antlers, so that was funny. There was a car driving the opposite direction, and it had, on its dashboard, it had a big, like, stick stuck in the tr in the car, and it just, like, up where, like, the windshield wipers are, and the dude was just driving with it, and I was like, why would you 
you need to stop and pull that out of your hood, sir. That doesn't make any sense. Because, like, the car is, like, coming this way, right? And, like, it's just, it's just out. Out the hood, right? It's real, real weird. Real weird. Super strange. Yeah, that's... It's cars mating season. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, that was weird. I don't understand that shit. Freak me out. All right, let's go see core. We're gonna go to target. One two one one zero. We are likely going to reset all chests in the game, which means we're going to reset Markheim as a result of this. All right, Jake, I think we're ready for a live test. Let's just not look at it. Let's just... No one will know. It's fine. Why is there a cat hiding in here? Get out of here. Okay. White list... On. Kick all... Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two. I love seeing that. Didn't even say one. Didn't even say one. Didn't even do it. All right, we're gonna push the game really hard now. You just got out of mark. Yeah. F. Also, Meatball is not a psychic. Holy shit. <laughs> Cypher TFW Project Ham GPU gave $169 the moderators. That is outrageously nice. Understand, I we will be getting Little Ham a computer. 100%. So, that is incredibly nice of you. Thank you for donating to the mods. You kick ass, dude. Seriously. Also, 169 is a very funny number. So, thank you. Second sniff. Mm. Okay, look. The best I can do... Is 0 0.05 sniffs, all right? 0 0.05. Final offer, man. That or nothing. You want us to eat the breads? Any more? What do you mean, any more, Magical Star? You thought... Oh, you thought you were eating bread in that that dark pit that you live in. Yeah, that was never bread. Yeah, it's definitely not bread. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. I, I don't even know. What the shit? Mistress of Torture. What a name. Just gave $500 to the moderators. That is incredibly nice of you. That is a, That is a lot of money, dude. That is wild. Holy shit. You kick ass. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you very, very much. They'll get another .05 sniffs. Generous. <laughs> but seriously, that's a lot of money, dude. That's not a joke. That's outrageous. All right, Jake, let's see if this blew up. Uh, what is this? Someone gave me a pirate pass. Very cool. And we're going to do... Next to the OR menu. We'll go to here. We're going to reset... Actually, back. Make sure this is the right world. Resource world. We are resetting resource world. Murkheim is being reset now.
Murkheim has been reset. Why is this covered in snow? Uh, Jake? Why is Siege War could not load in his safe mode? Siege War could not load and is in safe mode. Why did Sir Siege War die? Could not read siege data for town Astror. Let's go find out why. The siege data for that town, A-S-T-R-O-R, -R, is the problem. Yep, it went into safe mode. Great. Let's go find out. Let's go look at the database. Let's go look at towns. A-S-T-R-O-R. -R. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. It's going to be in this list. It's loading. A form on this page has more than a thousand fields. That seems wrong and bad. Edit the town. Estroar. Metadata. So what went wrong in this metadata? There's something wrong in the metadata for the siege. Siege war defender name. Siege war attacker UUID. Siege war flag location. Siege war points. Let's do siege war admin and do siege. And we'll do a stror and we'll say remove. Internal error occurred when performing this command, so we can't actually remove it. Yeah, no, it's fully dead. What's the anger about this? Yeah, we can't do we can't do any commands, even though it's in safe mode, which just means that it's broken. How long will be mate mate be? I think I actually have to delete a bunch of stuff off of this. Attacker battle points, number of battle sessions completed. Nobody has any points on this. I'm just gonna delete the siege. Yeah, I'm going to delete the siege out of the database, and we're going to restart the server. So I'm shutting the server down. I'll delete the siege after the server is fully shut down. Out of the database itself. And then we'll go from there. I've seen this before. It's a pretty weird one. Mods are pulling about stolen bread. ChatMD, can you get me some jam for the bread I snuck? You snuck bread? What do you mean you snuck bread? See, what the mods don't know is they've never actually had bread. So what they stole isn't bread. They think it is, but I taught them wrong as a joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Okay, we're going to save this, I think. Stop that. There we go. I'm going to save this out. We've affected that row. I'm going to reset the server now. And we will see if this functions now correctly. PvP manager is working correctly. I like how Luckperm's logo inside of our server logs looks like a, a flat butt. Which is really funny.
Looks like Siege War is collect uh, correctly connecting now. So something has gone wrong. And I don't know why this happened before. We had this exact same problem before. Where something went very wrong with Siege War. Nope, it's broken again. The hell's wrong this time? Let me go look. Now it's having siege data incorrect for X post. Why does this happen? It's a different town. Yeah, it's a different town. So I'll go fix that one now. It's super weird. It's a really, really weird problem. We need to look into this, but... Townie has just like a bunch of weird issues. I don't want to switch back to using what we were before. Which is Townie in a flat file. But we might have to move back to Townie in a flat file. Yeah, this, this Siege War type conquest... Battles completed is 36 and they have no points. It's like the attacker has no points. Why is this failing? Anyway, I'm going to save this one out. We have to stop the server. After the server stops, I have to save the data. And we got to start it up again. What DB are you using? We're using SQL. It's not an issue, though. Like, the database itself is not the problem. It is this... This system's management of the database is a problem. It's it's towny problems. Siege War is having issues. Have you tried turning it off and on? That's what I'm doing. And I'm deleting sections of the database. How did the router fixing go? Runs fine, but there's a storm there. Server's closed. Server's starting back up now. Siege War's in safe mode again. It's the town of Okeheim again. Could not load siege data. Okeheim. New town. New town, new fix. God damn it. From Towny Towns. Where? Town. Is it name? Name? Like. Okay, hon. Let's grab that. We're going to go forward and find it. Go. Oh, look. It's the town of Okeheim. We've had problems with Okeheim in the past, and I don't know why. I think it's the same issue. We need all this metadata. All the metadata is specifically there for Siege War. And we can save that up. Done. Start the server back up. Slowly forward. No, it's not Jake's problem. This is a me problem. Bitcraft is a spy pit bot? Let them know. Actually, send me the ID for that. And I'll let them know. One moment. And go to the Bitcraft one. I'm going to do it myself. Copy server ID. Go put it into here. API. Boop. Pretty print that.
Yeah, I let uh, Three Blade know, and I showed him how to detect it. Hope you're doing well today. I am doing really well, actually. Okay, I wasn't watching the server logs, but we'll see if this goes back into safe mode, which I'm betting that it will. Or it will. Okay, so which which one is it now? This sucks, actually. I think this might happen when we turn off... See, I, th I think this might happen if we restart the server in the middle of a siege battle. I think that might actually be the problem. Legitimately. Which sucks huge ass. Frankly. Like massive, enormous ass. Because we have to turn off the server sometimes in the middle of a siege war. <laughs> Uh Okay, I'm gonna wait for the server to shut down again. Thor, why don't you just make the storm go away? I like storms. Yeah, it'd be really off brand. Okay, so that one, I will go into that account now. We're going to go into that town. I wish I could get a full list of this, but the, the problem is, is it doesn't fail gracefully. What it should do is if it detects that this is malformed in some way, instead of going into safe mode, it should be like, oh, well, I'm just not going to have the, I'm not going to have that go. And we'll, and that's it, right? Instead, it, it puts the server into safe mode <laughs> and eats shit every time. <laughs> So I have to manually go to each one of these, restart the server, find out that it doesn't work, and then do it again. Which is like, why? Why is it like this? It's very funny. Think of the $10 to the moderators. It's very nice of you. Enjoy your not bread. True. Others on the server happy about it? Nobody's on the server right now. We have it whitelisted for maintenance. Whenever we do this, we whitelist for maintenance so that there's no problems for the general public. Hey! It's not broken anymore. Sick. Uh, so, since you guys are complete freaking goblins, I need to fix this now. So that's cool. One moment, Jake. I cannot see your messages. There was like a snowman trail deny that I could do on here, and I can't remember where it is. So we can stop them from doing this stupid snowman shit. Which they do all the time. Because they figure that they could do it. And Minecraft players can't leave well enough alone... They just want to cover the whole area in snowman trails just because they can. So now I have to get rid of this. Snowman trails. Deny. No longer a problem. I don't even know how that block is missing. I think you're a rating party of 12. Very nice of you. And now we take... B, replace... We'll do replace of snow with air. No more problem.
fixed. All right. Uh, looks like everything is working. Murkheim has been reset, so let's go find a chest in Murkheim and see if this functioned correctly. Let's see. Minecraft, locate, biome, actually, structure. And we'll go to... Where are we going to go to? Village? There we go. We'll go to a desert village and see if it functioned there. Give to me a loot box in the desert village. Chests were the original loot box, chat, and there's nothing you can do to prove otherwise. Wow, there's a cow in here. These desert villages look so much better. Honestly. It's made by members of the community and they look badass. What do you mean they're broke? What do you mean they're broke? What did you do? It's not broken. That looks fine. What do you mean they're broken? What happened to you? Oh, the villagers. No, I delete them. Yeah, the villagers get deleted. They don't get any chests. Oh, you're... Okay, when you said they're broke, I thought you meant, like, the feature that you just implemented is broken. Okay, this gave me the... This gave me the XP correctly. Sick. Very nice. This works fine. I tested it before. That's good. Okay, it looks like Siege Warrior is set up correctly now. Everything is functioning. That's all reset. Let's do block game and trigger. And we will do the 24-hour reset. Treasures of the world have been replenished. Warp to origin. Warp to sunken cells. We'll go over here. Super vanish so I can actually see. There we go. Let's head over here and check it out. We'll check to see if this chest did anything. Did that not do anything for me? Maybe it doesn't work when I'm in vanish mode. Probably doesn't. We may have a problem, Jake. There may be a bug. I am not getting XP for this. Yeah, you did something weird. I didn't get any XP. Have you ever gotten this, this loot before? Have you ever naturally opened these chests and played the game? Because remember, the ID didn't change. I did just restock everything. I did. The restock... I'm gonna do the restock again. I'm in survival mode. Let me see. Profile. Oh, maybe it's because I'm in super vanish. That might be why. Yep, super vanish blocks it. Yeah, super vanish blocks it. Okay. Super Vanish blocks the UI from showing up, is what it was. Because the UI shows up... Yeah, no, because it says you are vanished. The you are invisible to other players shit at the bottom of the screen. That was overtaking the actual UI for some reason. I don't know why. Because, like, watch. You don't have the block game mod installed? It's in chat for me? Oh, okay, that's why. On me, it's the it's the actual bottom of the screen. So the mod the mod fixed it. Why don't you have your own mod installed? The mod is malware confirmed. Okay. Makes sense. Good. <laughs> Selarkis with 500 bits uh, said, Yard cheer 500 hey Thor. Thanks hey. for the perspective on my situation from yesterday regarding my job title not matching the work that I do. Yeah. I look forward to the hard conversations I will need to have with my supervisor in the coming weeks thanks in part to your perspective. Yard heart. 
Thank you very much. I'm really glad, dude. I'm really glad. I'm glad that it's, you're getting so much value out of this, to be honest with you. And like, I hope that your talk with your supervisor goes really well, frankly. What is this? Oh god, that's horrifying. Is it possible that someone can do voice acting for Heartbound? Uh, we don't do voice acting for it. No. The game is in a bunch of different languages. I intentionally am not doing that because I think that it can detract from the game if it's done incorrectly. And even then, it's it's a huge amount of work and I refuse to allow anyone to work for me for free. I don't like that. Yeah. Alright. Let me think. Uh, whitelist... Off. Let the floodgates open. Let the players rejoice. The server is ready. It is ready. Much better than dealing with actors? No, there's no reason to. I, I don't want to do that. I like the old school vibe of, like, text, you know? Still in Merc, but the old Merc is dead, so that one's gone. Oh look, new people are joining the video game. You can actually see them get their first achievement. Not your grandpappy's block game. Not your grandpappy's Minecraft block game. New shit. Look, advancements. We have stuff in here. Yay. 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 We've got it. We've got it. Silver Republic? Yes. We started adding dungeon stuff. I need to keep adding more to this. This is from the Black M server, yeah. It's all Black M server. There is... 35 people on it right now? It's probably going to be exploding in a moment here. There's going to be a lot more in a minute. Because it usually blows up to about 50 to 70. Yeah, no, you'll still be in Murkheim. You just won't be in the right spot of Murkheim. Murkheim was reset. You weren't removed. Alright. Yeah, if you're a new player, understand that for new players, the experience is pretty rough right now. We're trying to work on mid and end game development right now. So new players, go talk to other players. Learn from them. Teach, have them teach you about the video game. It is not a good experience for newbies right now. It is not the best intended experience currently. So do keep that in mind. Yeah. Yep. It's the name of the server. mc.blockgame.info is the domain for the IP address of the server. And with that, I am out. Books are now out of the game. They don't exist anymore. Did you play Noether today? I will be. We got a 12 Best hour stream ahead of us. 500 now. bits said Yar Cheer 500. You mentioned the other day that sometimes you have another stream playing in the background. Yes. How do you handle audio for your stream? Any console or deck? Or just the OBS dashboard? I use the OBS dashboard and I have an audio mixer. And all I do is I actually have an audio source. And that audio source is capturing specific throughputs, like specific programs. It's really easy to do. And I have buttons on my stream deck so I can do this. So I can turn it on and off. Yeah. It's not super complicated. It's actually kind of a meme. <laughs> yeah, OBS now also supports application audio. I was doing it specifically when it was in beta, and I've been using it ever since. Yeah. It's great. It's really easy to do. Recommended Stream Deck? I use the Stream Deck XL, but that's because I have a lot of buttons to use. So. Yeah. And I'm going to be real with you. The Stream Deck has a lot of weird problems. 
so I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not really sure why. So use wind capture audio? Actually, I need to check something. We need to make a new tool today. Add. Name utility dev stream. Group it under utility. Q under utility. Always run. Exclude from action. Boop. I want to see if we can do something interesting with YouTube. Set title of the stream for YouTube. Potato. And Twitch. How do we set the title for the stream? Set channel title. Potato. So what I found, which is really interesting, is the Stream Deck doesn't really have a way of changing the YouTube title. And also the Stream Deck doesn't have a way of setting the game on Twitch every time. So software and game development, for instance, if I try to do that through Stream Deck, it likely will not change the title on Twitch. And I don't know why. So I'm going to try and do this now through StreamerBot. Because if I can do it through StreamerBot, I won't have this problem anymore, and I will save myself a couple of seconds every day. Which would be nice. It would be nice. So, it, it looks like it's software and game development. Actually, wait, this is source string. Can we get it from selected game? Click for search for a category. Software. And. Game. <laughs> development there we go so we can just search it and then select it that way perfect so like if we can switch this and it actually functions and i can do it through streamer bot then i can just do a button here that connects to streamer bot and then runs it we don't have this problem anymore yeah obs have issues with game category obs doesn't do that obs is just the broadcasting software warhammer fantasy or 40k yes i like me some rat boys and i like me some orcs there is room for both. Okay, so now... I'm gonna take this. We're gonna put this in here. Okay on that. And we're gonna go here. And on this one we remove ferret software because there isn't a way to link that on YouTube. And now I'm gonna change this stream to no category for a moment. And I'm gonna change the name of the stream to potato. And then on my stream deck, I'm going to make a button for this. We're going to remove the dev button that I have right now. And instead, we're going to make this into... Cancel. Paste this one. Put it there. And this is going to run, not Q next, but utility dev stream. And then I'm going to turn that into a heart. going to title this as dev just like I did before I'm going to take this and delete the old button and I will save it so the stream is now running on no category and the word potato and when I hit the button it worked it worked and it set the category sick okay so now the next part can we change the stream to have sponsored content channel I don't think that's available for the API, is it? Hmm. Because what I wanted to do was set the channel to have not sponsored content when I hit the dev button and have sponsored content when I hit the, the sponsored content button. Because then I can just run it all from here. 
But I don't think there's a way to do that. I don't think that's exposed in the API. So I guess that'll have to be done manu manually. Yeah. Just put ahead in the title. No, in, in Twitch, you actually have to go a little step further. There's a thing called branded content. Is it let viewers know if your stream features branded content? This includes paid product placement, endorsement, or other commercial relationships. So like when you are doing a streamed, like a sponsored stream, you put ad in the title and then you click branded content to make sure that that's on there. Yeah, that's the whole thing with that. Yeah, just sponsored shit, right? Yeah, I forgot you need to specify it. Yeah. I don't think that's there in Streamerbot. Yeah, Streamerbot is only able to to do stuff that is exposed in the API. I don't think the branded content toggle is in the API. Privagen's Discord's being tracked. I'll let him know. I'll let Prime Engine know. Tell Prime Engine to check his DMs. The API uses is branded content bullion. The API uses the is branded content bullion. I wonder if that's just not on this then. Because if we go to Twitch and we do channel, there's no exposed on this. So can you set that boolean or is it read only? Because if that's a if that's a writable boolean, then we can write to it. But if it's a read only, it's a settable one. Okay. Then I'll have to reach out to Streamerbot and be like, can you, can you do it? Do it. <laughs> you know? Because I don't think we have this. Hard to convince the astronaut on spy on oh, the admin on astronaut that's a spy bot. Have them contact me. They can reach out to me right here on stream. I'll talk about it. Let me know when they're here. Yeah. Get channel guest star settings. Update channel guest star settings. So this is all guest star shit, which is gone now. Moderation is not in there. Polls are not in there. Rate is not... Yeah, it's none of these. I don't think there's a way to set this, man. I don't think there is. I do not believe there is a way to set this. We can set user information. Add random users. Hmm. Could be under tags. Add channel tag. No, that's actually tags. Unless they have... Yeah, no, it's it's actually the tags for the channel. No. Nope. Nope. It's not in there. No, I don't think it is, man. We can set information for rewards. That's kind of interesting. Look in add group. Where's add group? No, what? <laughs> That's just the folder, my dude. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? What do you mean, look in it? I was joking. You're the worst. Alright, next alert. Jib86 with 500 bits said, were you able to get the router fixed and the deterrent in place for Meatball? 
Yeah, like I said before, don't go posting accounts like that. Do not do that. I've already said don't do that. We have a method for tracking these bots. I've shown you the method. Go hunt. Go have fun. Also, uh, we've not we've gotten the router fixed. The router's fine, and there is no deterrent in place for meatball yet. I'm going to the hardware store today to build one. Yeah, that is the idea. What method? What's going on? So, who here knows what spy pet is? Let me pull this up. Spy pet. We can find this on PC Gamer. A site literally called Spy.pet claims to have scraped billions of public Discord messages and wants to sell them. Then uh, what they do is they put a bot into your server, and then that bot scrapes all of the public messages in your server, and then they sell this data, right? So uh, we found out how it works, and we found out that they have a public API. So you take your server ID and you put it into the URL, and then you find the on account variable, and that is the account that's on your Discord server. And then you ban it. That's it. <laughs> so if you take whatever server you're on you put the server id in there you could just find the account that they're using to scrape your shit and then you just ban it and that's what we did so now we've been showing it to the other people that we know that run discord servers and all the ones that are tracked show the actual data and if it's not being tracked it says false so very cool very neat right yeah i know the bitcraft server is tracked i've already shown the bitcraft admins how to delete this and how to how to you know verify the claim so yeah it's uh very funny, yeah. Anyway, enjoy that. What do you use for dark mode? I use uh, Dark Reader. Why is the problem with selling data that's already public? I don't want people profiting off of you, our community. That's gross. I know that there are people doing that, but if I can find a way to track them and, and shut them down, the cat and mouse game begins, and it makes it very funny for me. So, yeah. It's basically vitamins for me, is really what it comes down to. What does false mean? False means that there's that server is not being tracked. So. Jake. Jake, why? So Jake just got an email from this tool that he uses to like track problems with his his tools. And it says because he because Pirate Booty is the name of the project. It says we notified oh, we notified recently active members in the booty project of this issue. That's the official email. <laughs> It just gets better, dude. It just gets better. The longer you the longer that you work on that project, the funnier it gets. Also, I'm making fun of Onigiri right now because Onigiri wants to make non-spicy kimchi, and I'm just. I'll show you. I'm exposing... I'm exposing Odagiri right now. I'm exposing Odagiri. Non-spicy kimchi. What? What? This is my actual response. <laughs> Non spite Non spicy kimchi. Exposed. I just said exposed. <laughs> it's real though. It's gross. Non spicy kimchi. Why would you even make it? What's the point? What's the point? Just eat some pickles. Just eat some goddamn pickles at that point. Non spicy kimchi. Jesus Christ. It's not even sauerkraut. It's not even sauerkraut. It's the point. It's the point of spicy. Ooh. Depressing. All right.
Never had kimchi before, what should I expect? I, I think, honestly, kimchi is one of those things, like many fermented food products, that when you try it, you're either going to really like it, or you're going to hate it. It's if you, if you have something that you have to get used to the flavor, don't. Yeah, it's usually how I feel about it. Like, if, if you have to, if it's an acquired taste, then it's probably shit for you. Like, just don't. Don't do that to yourself. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it's a pretty sharp flavor sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's fermented. It's fermented. I like it. I love the shit out of it. I love the shit out of Nala it. Nala is still cool with 500 bits said Heya, Thor. This is a follow-up to the question about Starforge PCs a few days ago. Do you think the Horizon 2 is a good buy? I can't build a PC, CUS my hands shake too much under pressure, and I'm not aiming for anything too impressive, just something yeah. to replace my aging machine and kinda sorta run most games at halfway decent graphics settings. Just something midrange, you know, much thanks, man. Let me go see. Starforge Horizon 2. Let me see exactly what that one has. So the Horizon 2 is their lowest end machine. Not the Pro or the Elite on that. It is $1,000. What are the specs of this thing? It's got an AMD RX 6650 and an Intel Core i5 12400F. If you can't build your own machine because of, like, hand tremors, and you want to have support for that, I don't think that's a bad bad buy. Like, at all, frankly. Like, this is this is one of the things, a lot of people are like, oh, just build it yourself, but, like, to be real with you, this dude's got a problem with his hands shaking, right? My hands shake too much under pressure, and I'm not aiming for anything too impressive, just something to replace my aging machine and kind of sort of run games at halfway decent graphic settings. Not looking for a beast of a machine. Yeah, it's not a terrible value. I don't think it's a terrible value at all. I think that makes a lot of sense. And if you're if you're looking for something where you don't have to deal with building it, or you physically cannot build it, or you're worried about building it, and you need support, like, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad buy at all, dude. Legitimately. Pressure is in physical pressure, pushing down cards. Or pressure is in the stress of doing something new. It could, it could be a physical issue. Don't know. Ads, anyway. Yeah, what he asked for, a $1,000 budget PC sounds perfect. I agree. I super agree. And it's not going to age out super fast, too. Because it's still a 6,000 series AMD. Like, it's not it's not a 7,000 series, but like, if he's not doing streaming, he doesn't need AV1 encoding anyway. You don't need a 7,000 series. It's going to play all games current, so that's fine. Won't be an issue there. Why is Bezos' head cut off? What are you talking about? It's not cut off. He fills the entire space. Bezos actually expands to the current environment. Like a goldfish. Yeah. It's true. Terrifying, isn't it? Deeply terrifying. Yeah, hey, look, he's expanding right now. Look at him. He'll, re he'll recede in a moment. What do you mean, like a goldfish? Like a goldfish. <laughs> Domain expansion, Bezos. <laughs> Domain expansion, Prime. The horror. The actual horror. <laughs> The full, unadulterated horror of Domain Expansion Prime, dude. God, that freaks me out. That's so scary. So I sent all the information to Primogen and to Threeblave, who is from the um, group for Bitcraft. So they should be able to inoculate their servers as well. My hope is that we spread this information as qu quickly as possible to punch back on this shit before they get wrecked, frankly. Um, with enough of the information that we have here, we can, we can 
defend a bunch of servers because they'll have to manually reset those bots back up and it'll be at least funny for a little while. You get the one on our server? Yeah, we got it first. We crushed it. Deeply funny. Deeply funny. What happened? We found a way to track all of the spy pet bots that are out there that are working for that group where they they scrape all the information. Tweet? Yeah, I guess we could tweet it out. We could put that out on Twitter. One moment. What does it show up when it's when it's there? Does it say failed? Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you for the fifty dollar donation to the moderators. You kick ass. Is it false? Putting a little guide on this, I said, want to kill the spy pet bot on your favorite Discord server? They let their account IDs leak from their official API. 1. Change this URL to include your server's UUID obtainable using Discord dev tools. 2. Look for the on account variable and smash that bot account. Bot accounts UUID. If your server shows up as failed, it means it was not being tracked or false. It means it was not being tracked by spy pet. Congrats. Now we're going to release this into the internet thus causing even more problems. Add... I'm going to put this. Add your servers. Actually, change this URL to include your server's UUID. Yeah, change this URL to include your server's UUID obtainable using Discord dev tools. Look for the on account variable and smash that bot account's UUID. You have another spy butt on your server already on account. Do we have a new one? Deeply funny. We'll just crush it again. Do 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 no, we already killed that one. It's already dead. Yeah, that one's dead, dude. Dedge. Very funny. Very funny. Actually, turn on Discord Dev Tools. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the full example of how to do this because people don't know how Discord Dev Tools work. I think it's under user settings and then settings, right? Isn't it under there? Where the hell is this shit? My account. I can't remember how to get Discord dev tools. I've had them on for so long. It's under advanced. But where? Advanced. Developer mode. Found it. Settings. Advanced. Developer mode. Do right click on your server icon and copy UUID. Yeah, copy server ID. Copper ser copy server ID. Change this URL to include your server ID. There we go. Server ID. 
look for the on account variable and smash that bot account's UUID. Smash that bot account. Da -da. Actually, wait. Look for the on account variable and search that number in DMs. Because that's how you find it. In your DMs search window, search bar. The account that comes up is the bot account. Scraping your Discord server for money. Ta da! Yes, your Discord ID checker account to name the tool. Yeah, but you can do it all inside of Discord too, which is the funniest part. Yeah, we don't need to do at or any of that kind of stuff. You literally just go into your DMs, put it in the search bar, and it shows the account name. So turn on develop Discord Dev Tools, Settings Advanced, Developer Mode. Right click on your server icon and hit Copy Server ID. Change this URL to include your server ID. Look for the on account variable and search that number in your DM search bar. And then the account that comes up is the bot account scraping your Discord server for money. If your server shows up as false, it means it was not being tracked by SpyPet. Congrats. Hey, and let's put that onto the internet now. They let their account IDs leak from their official API. Funny, funny, funny. And now you can all have this enjoy. 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 Content for everyone. Content for everyone. You may all have the content, chat. To the internet, everyone. The whole of the internet eats good tonight. The whole of the internet. When are we going to update that? Nope. I hate that... I hate that they are... Is there a way to get rid of the... Uh, there we go. There's no way to do this. I'm trying to get Twitter to stop shortening the URL. Because it's shortening the URL. Which is really annoying. Yeah, it's shortening the URL. Let me try to update it to this. There we go, I updated the I updated the tweet. Bunny. Bunny. No, it's not a coordinated DDoS. You're not DDoSing the server. You're spreading awareness of how this act how you can stop your Discord server from being tracked like this. And that's the whole point with that. It still looks the same for you? Yeah, I updated it so that now it actually shows this. You're not supposed to be DDoSing things. DDoSing is a crime. Do not do that. Don't be, an, don't be a dumbass, right? Don't be an idiot. With this, this is how you find out if your server is being tracked. You use that to check to see if that's happening, and then you delete the bot account that's in there. Easy. Yeah. Super, super easy. So what these guys are doing is dog shit. And I feel nothing about showing a way to track that they are scraping our Discord for money. And I feel nothing about banning those accounts or sharing with others the ability to track and ban those accounts. Who buys that data? Don't know. Might be advertisers. Not sure. Somebody. That's for sure. Somebody said, thanks for this. We removed it from our 35k partner Discord server. Nice. Very nice. Spread this like wildfire. Release this onto the internet. Oh, I know it's good. Do you know how I know it's good? Because it already has nudes in bio on it. Let me hide that reply and then block it. Fantastic. Wonderful. Wonderful. We've done it. We have a hit tweet, guys. Hit tweet. Third post. Nudes in bio. Hit tweet. That's how you know. That's how you know. Anyway, here is our post for this. And I'm going to say...
There we go. We're going to put this, and I'm going to link this. Why can't I? Oh my god, can you pin that mod? That shit's broken again. Can you pin my message, please? Thanks. Thank. Thank, please. I said it to never unpin. There we go. Yeah, it's that stupid bug again. I just can't do anything about it. I'm going to pin it over on this side, too. That's going to be pinned for today. Because I want this dead. Why can't you retweet it? I don't know. You should. Lots of people have. Awareness launched. Oh, that's weird. I think editing a post causes all of the replies to get hidden. <laughs> I edited a post to fix the f formatting on it, and it, it says there's 14 replies, but I can't see those 14 replies. That's really weird. That's weird. That's really weird. There's a ton of bookmarks on it. Oh, this one says my nudes in profile. There's a there's a response to it. Hide that reply and blocked. Get wrecked. When you edited the post, the link to it changed? No, it didn't. I don't think so. Oh, it did. Oh, it actually did. What the shit? Why would they do that? Okay, hold up. I have a better post. There you go. Pin that one, mods. So you can edit your post? I mean, the whole point is that you can edit your post now. Like, why would that change the thing? There's a better link there. Dude, Twitter, you're a mess. Wait a minute. Okay, now it's going through. There's even more nudes in bio on this. Even more nudes in bio. Do you want to know the really weird part? I can click on an old link and it takes me to the old version of the post. See how this right here is on the same line? If I go up here and I go to the new one, this is now on a new line, but the responses from the old one are gone. Why would Twitter do this? What? Why would they do this? It's really weird. It's really weird. That's a very strange reason. That's a strange way to do that. Yeah. Edit is actually just creating a new tweet. It's actually just creating a new tweet. The post ID and the URL changed. Yeah. It's super weird. I'm aware it changed. It's That's weird as shit, frankly. That's like really, really weird. It's fine, though. It's fixed now. Oh, wait. There's another nudes in bio. Wait a minute. I think this person is on... I, you are, if you're ironically posting nudes in bio, you're going to get blocked from my account. You know this, right? Don't put nudes in bio ironically. God damn it. I almost blocked this person. They definitely don't have nudes in bio. They're just being a dumbass. I swear to God, dude. What's the matter with you? The Blue Narwhal with $4.99 said first stream, but love your shorts content. Keep up the great work, man. Anytime, dude. 
This one says nude goblins in bio. I swear. Literal goblin. Oh, no, don't say sorry. You're fine. It's just very funny. Don't say sorry. There's no reason to say sorry. It's hilarious. But I did almost accidentally block you. It's close. There's no reason to say sorry. Okay, now... Now we go to the news, and we're going to do this at everyone. And we're going to post that, and then we're going to put a GIF with it. And I don't know which GIF. It's probably going to be Elmo Fire. Elmo Fire is a good GIF for this, I think. Yeah, Elmo Fire is a good way to do this. Oh, that didn't connect. Why didn't it actually connect to my stupid announce? Are you kidding me? There we go. I'm just going to announce this, and then I'm going to Elmo Fire. Elmo Fire. That is the wrong Elmo Fire. Stop doing it. Why does it automatically do this? I swear to God. Elmo Fire. There we go. Now it's good. Now it's good. Now it's good. There we go. Elmo fire. Elmo fire. Fantastic. Elmo fire. Wondrous. Elmo fire is the best. We love it. Also... I was just having a discussion with someone. There is a funnier way to handle this. There are two ways you can fix this. Since the bot is actually a user on your server, you have two choices here. You can ban the bot, or you can give the bot a role in which they only have access to one channel that you fill up with stupid shit. Both of these are funny. One of them is objectively funnier. Here's a better one. Now you have a choice. One, ban the bot. Two, give the bot a special role where it can only see a single channel. Build this channel with stupid bullshit to ruin their data set. Choose wisely. <laughs> and now we need now I need a gif now I need Elmo Fire Elmo Fire give me a good Elmo Fire where's my good Elmo Fire in this that's that one isn't it yeah Elmo Fire I did miss it. Son of a bitch! And I can't edit this one. You can only edit the main post. God damn it. Now I gotta fix it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We'll fix this. Oh god, Twitter, why don't you keep the formatting? You horrible bastard. Who does this? Elmo Fire. Is this the right Elmo Fire? I swear to God. Give me the Elmo Fire that doesn't suck. There we go. Give the bot a special role where it can only see a single channel. Fill this channel with stupid bullshit to ruin their data set. 
ban the bot. Choose wisely. There we go. Now it's updated. It's fine now. It's fine now. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. I'm liking the reply. Why did it close? Why did you close? We've done it, Chet. We've unleashed Elmo Fire into the internet. Perfect. It's everything that we've ever wanted. It's a good day. What did you study to get a career doing coding in cybersecurity offset? Uh, I studied entomology. I was going to be an insect scientist. Yeah, I was going to be an insect scientist, which I am not now. So I, I um, yeah, didn't study in this. I'm full, fully self-taught, which is quite funny. Neat. How do you search the ID? Well... You have to read. This is a step-by-step -step guide in which you must read how to use said ID. You have to read. You have to read. It's difficult, I know. It's difficult. Hmm. By the way, um, this is funny shit, and I'm deeply happy about this. If we get the opportunity to do this kind of stuff more to make the internet a better place, I'm in. Every time. But you have to read. Yeah. Have you heard about Warhammer? You mean Warhammer 401k, where you have to take money out of your 401k in order to play it because it's so expensive, because the minis are just so goddamn expensive, and then you spend all of your time painting one of those minis, and then it breaks, and then you have to create a kit bash of all of your different minis just to make a new unit because you are too ashamed to admit to anyone that you spent all that money on it and it's broken now? That Warhammer? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Onigiri said, spicy challenge, let's go, right now. My response salvo to that is, I grow and eat raw Trinidad Maruga scorpion peppers. You have already lost. That's the third hottest pepper in the world. I love the shit out of spice. I love eating a pepper that is a weapon. That is, that is what I like to do. <laughs> yeah. I love spice. I like when you eat a pepper and your body goes, oh, and you like float out of it. You, like, leave... Your soul leaves your body when you eat it? The pepper... The pepper high that happens. Yes. I eat weapons. I <laughs> just responded with, I eat weapons. Uh. Okay, let's go see this. I want to see how Against Great Darkness is doing. Sick. I need to leave a review for him. Boop, 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 boop. This is so much goddamn fun to play. Why can't I leave a review for this? Excuse me? Oh, there we go. Now I can. I said refresh the page.
Yeah, so it says in early access title, this is honestly a wild amount of content and potential. The interactions of abilities and unique characters makes this a ton of fun. I can't wait to see how this evolves over time if this is the initial offering. Boop. I did not receive it for free. Bought that shit. Really good. View my review. Oh, you have to change it. Allow comments. Done. Neat. Link to game, Mr. Streamer? I will. The game is phenomenal, dude. This is actually made by a buddy of ours in the community. It's Dearly D. Good shit. Really good shit. I can't stop laughing in the Warhammer for one clip to help me. <laughs> I'm sure that'll turn into a short at some point. If enough of you guys like it, it will. Where's the clip? <laughs> if you have the clip... That's a perfect clip. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sending that to Shadelock right now. Yeah, I'm sending that to Shadelock. Hold up. That's just hilarious. That's too funny. Which clip? This one, dude. It's just so good. I didn't realize how well that went over. That's funny as hell. Oh. game looks really cool and it reminds me of a lot of the old Spectrum games. Yeah, no, it's really neat. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be that good, you know? I think that's the thing that really gets me about this is, like, Dearly's, Dearly's self-publishing this has done a phenomenal job sitting at 88 positive reviews on this. And if we go to SteamDB, I played this on stream for like two hours, right? Oh, we've got ads. We're going to wait for the ads. Yeah, we're going to wait for the ads and then we'll do this. You can see very quickly that people were into it from the stream, which is cool. Yeah. I love seeing that shit. Makes me happy. I'm a lazy piece of shit, Thor. Help. I don't need to. You're already doing something about it. You've identified that you're being a lazy piece of shit. So fix it. The only one who can do that is you. No one's going to do that for you. Do it. Do it. Identify the reason that you're a lazy piece of shit, and then stop it. Which country's cuisine do you like the best? Ooh. Vietnamese food. I like Vietnamese food the most. Actually, Vietnamese and Indian food. Both of those two are pretty much the same for me, frankly. Vietnamese food is phenomenal if I want something lighter. Indian food is, some, is phenomenal if I want a lot of flavor. Like a huge amount of flavor. I love that shit. Yeah. That's an Italian food, quite good. Yeah. Bon mi. Oh, bon mi. I want to get bon mi and fotainan. Those are so good. Those are so good. God, so good. I want pho really bad now. Can I ask your time zone? Only have an idea of your current time. I'm in Washington State, West Coast US. Alright, I think we've got everything done. This is good. I think it might be Noita time, actually. Because we've we've done all the things today. We fixed all the stuff that we need to fix. I think Jake's stuff is working. Somebody responded with bio in Elmo's nudes. Send dudes. God damn it, dude. Send dudes.
Oh, Co-Carnage. Co-Carnage's server was being tracked, too. It looks like it's hitting pretty much every major Discord, which is kind of wild. None of my server shop is being tracked. The website will also let you paste those user IDs and get names to that, so Discord.id. This is pretty funny shit. If you're looking to get these bots to ban themselves, feel free to copy our strong anti-bot security measure. What is this? Okay, these guys are trying to advertise on it. No nudes in bio here. Ferret software on Twitch, nice. Long Lemon Man, very good. Very good. Phenomenal. Actually, I'm really interested in something. Let's see if actual pirates is being tracked. That's an interesting one. Because it might be. It is not. Actual pirates or uh, Ashes of Creation Discord is not being tracked. Let's see if this one is being tracked. It is not. I love seeing all these like private discords not being tracked. Let's see if this one's being tracked. It is not. I actually love going down my list and checking all of these now. The Helldivers Discord. I'm betting that one is. It definitely is. Yeah. Helldivers Discord is being tracked. Funny. Funny. Yeah. The official AOC Discord is about it. I'm not surprised. Our world as well. Yeah, any major Discord is going to have this. Yeah. You only found them in public and some partner ones? Yeah. Deep Rock, yeah. You guys are checking basically any of your major communities that you're part of, part of go and check, right? And uh, that's it. You know, just go and go and let them know, let the admins know of that and spread this information. As far as Discord isn't tracked, I'm surprised. Good. Baru is too powerful. The pandas probably ate the bot. It's probably true. Yeah. It's about 13,000 servers according to their website. Just go shut them all down. We have a way of finding the actual, the bot accounts now. And we can just kill them. I gotta track them. Look at the pinned comment. You actually have to read. You gotta read. Yeah, so like, legitimately go down that list. Find those people. Let the servers know. We can inoculate the whole internet against this in minutes, frankly. Just crush them all, dude. Yeah. How can we read if you removed books? You don't. Do you have the account ID for the bot to ban it? Please read the pinned comment. <laughs> I wrote you a whole guide. You have to read it. You have to read. You must read. It's very funny. God damn it. JSteveo816 with 500 bits said finally beat Heartbound demo. Worth every penny. I'm really glad. Even though the demo is free. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Royce Remix with 500 bits said great working with you Thor, hope we can do more in the future. Excited to see everything yeah. in Gnome ATED. Pauses I'm for really last, well. taps mic, is this thing on? Where'd everybody no. go? You'll never know anyone. You'll never know anyone. But no, I'm really glad. I'm really glad to work together, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we had we, we had so many like weird bumps because uh, Royce went and worked on a whole bunch of stuff and I was like, I can't do anything right now. I'm buying a house. Like, I can't do anything. And it was like, oh, so we had to figure it out. Pepega Uno, your first time chat is I'm gay. Good. Congratulations. Welcome to 2024 where no one cares. It It's kind of irrelevant, right? You know, I guess you're on the market for people that are also gay in the same way as you. Cool. What a revelation, right? Odorous Magistrate with $5 said whenever need to fix your shoes, the easiest way is to find an apple or some berries and make a pastry with them. I mean, how else do you find a cobbler? Okay. I'm going to let you have that one. You can have it. You can have that. It's good shit. Do, 
Let's see. One moment. We got a young dude who, uh, who got a pirated copy of Heartbone. And I was like, hey, where'd you get your copy of Heartbone? And he said, my friend gave it to me. Oh, it's just a young kid, dude. So I said, your friend gave you a pirated copy of the game. You'll want to perform a malware scan. I suggest malware bytes for this, and I linked in malware bytes. Um... Let me know if anything comes up from that scan. And yeah, yeah, we'll go from there. That sucks. It's just kids, man. It's always kids. It's always kids. Nope. find out what this was. This person sent me a DM on, on Twitter and they said, please unban me. I didn't mean to restream your channel. And I just went to go look at their messages and the last 50 message, messages from them were them trying to get people to go and watch their stream posting in this stream. It's like really weird, weird shit.
There we go. Fixed. I think we've got all this stuff. We've done it. Many people now know about how to kill this bot. The post is exploding. Fantastic move. Yeah, so um, Bucky, who is the Power World ad, like uh, social media, right, said it's hardly a surprise that the Power World server with three hundred thirty thousand members has these bots in it. But if we ban them, won't more just appear? And I said they're joining the server manually to bypass captcha. It's effort driven on their end, and a single button click for our end. Defenders win. So we, you've created a scenario where us as defenders, we have less effort involved with handling this than the attacker does. Hey, we win. Tower defense map is really cool. I agree with that. Yep, it's always effort driven. Why am I getting a million, million pings? Oh dear God, why am I getting all these pings? Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. What if they just remove the bot ID from the API? They will. But we already have too much data. You see, this is just the public part of fighting them. It's going to get fun. <laughs> All right. So, it's now 5.30 a.m. And I'm out of work. For the things I wanted to work on today, they actually went a lot faster than I expected. So, we're going to play some Noita. Because Noita is super fun. And I'm going to try to build the new system that I was making before for a Noita stream. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to copy this, duplicate it. Oh God, where did it go? There we go. And we're going to rename this to Noita. Actually, we'll call this stream Noita. So these will all be next to each other because otherwise it's going to be a problem. Naming convention. Naming convention. There we go. We're doing naming conventions now. We're good. Stream Noita. And this is going to change it to... Noita. And... Wizard Death Simulator. That'll work. We'll just grab that. We'll do the same thing over here. But this one is going to be Noita here and Wizard Death Simulator there. Wizard Death Simulator. And hit that and then change the ca channel to Noita. And now I will have a new button for this, which is sick. So this new system is going to be very easy to do. Which I'm kind of excited for, frankly. Legitimately excited for. Because now we don't have all the old problems of the old system. Get rid of all these issues. I'm going to put a new one in here. Call this one Noith. Oh! Ugh. Ugh. change this icon. I need like a wizard magic icon for this. I don't know what I want it to be. I'm going to make it a sun. Because we have to praise the sun a little bit. Whoop. Ugh. And let's see if it works. Did it work?
It worked on YouTube. That's awesome to see. Work on Twitch. Worked on Twitch. All right. Sick. Sick. All right. Games. Video games. All of the video games, chat. All of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to play Noita and we're going to burn the queue. We're going to burn the shit out of the queue. What are you doing over there, Noita? You're on the wrong screen. Can you hear the game? No. Audio in the game is not working. Oh, it's set to Fruit Mountain. That's why. <laughs> it's all set to Fruit Mountain. Oh, God. Everything is set to Fruit Mountain. All right, now it's fixed. That's the only, that's the only part that's not automated anymore. Yeah, we're going to burn the queue. Somewhat underscore eccentric with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 500 hello Mr. Streamer. Hello. A pound is the weight of 7,000 grains. An inch is the length of three grains next to each other. Three feet is a yard. 1,750 yards is a mile. A gallon is based on the volume of a wine container from the Middle Ages. 31, five gallons is a barrel and two barrels is a hogshead. Also, a dozen is 12. A dozen dozens is a gross. Never say the number 288 it's too gross. Why do I tell you this? Because in the void behind you there is a germa drinking wine from a hogshead. That's not a true. A real one. No. God, that's scary. Oh, that's fe I have fear of that. That's I have fear of that. No. No. I do want to know, because a baker's dozen is 13. And a dozen dozen is a gross. What's a baker's dozen's baker's dozen? What is, what is that called? What is that, what is that called? A baker's, a gross baker? Nice. Sick. Actually, wait, wrong button. Gross baker. Done. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with it being a gross baker. Ace Along Gaming with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I've been watching for a while and wanted to say thank you for being awesome. You have reminded me that back in high school I was really interested in hacking. But then life happened and I had to focus on making life work. I also want to get back into streaming, so I am thinking of doing both together, streaming myself learning how to hack. As a security expert, are there concerns I should be aware of with showing hacking in a public format? One moment. I have a cool announcement. One moment. Think you of doing both together, streaming myself learning how to hack. As a security expert, are there concerns that should be aware with showing hacking in a public format? No, I don't think so. In fact, one of the things I've been fighting for on Twitch for a long time is adding a, a offensive security, like cybersecurity category to the platform because there's a large number of people that already do this. You, you can see people doing this all the time and it's phenomenal, especially if you're doing things in a closed environment, like doing it on Hack the Box or stuff like that. It would be great to have that. Great to have that. If you're hacking things that are live targets, responsible disclosure ends up being the problem. You can't do that. However, if you're trying to do things like hack the box, you're not actually hacking a real person. You're solving a puzzle to learn, which that is fine. So those are kind of the, the caveats we have to that. Uh, Jake, can you tell me what that problem is? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so I have a cool one for this. Uh, just to let you guys know, the secret sauce other side of this that was going on is not only have I revealed the method for you guys to go and find ways to stop that spy pet thing from hitting your servers, but I'm talking to a group that is currently doing all of the OSINT work to pull all of the personally identifiable information from everyone involved. And they have it all. And they've already given it to the appropriate parties. I can't wait for that cease and desist to go through. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him on both sides. Should have been header better about hiding your shit. Funny, funny. Yeah, to be real with you, it's it's funny because when you have people like this that are doing like real shady shit, you have to be perfect about your OSINT. When you have somebody like me who's a streamer, we can't be. So it doesn't really matter, right? If you're going to hide in the shadows, actually hide in the shadows. Do it right. 
treasure ray. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sir, can you die now? Thank you. Ah. Aggressive wizard magicking. Nah, it's good though. That's really, really good. Thank you for the update on that. Oh? It's raining gold. That wasn't very much gold, actually. Oh, it's all outside. Of course it's all outside. Thank you, Noida. For your RNG. It's all... It's all up there. Great. It's very sad. It looks like this dungeon had a gross acid... Acid vent. I don't like that. That f makes me Trash afraid. Trash underscore G0BL1N with 500 bits said, So you said yesterday that you haven't seen a good stealth game in a while. Remember yeah. my joke game I told you about a while back with the goblin fighting the first boss groundskeeper Billy? It yeah. is a splinter cell alike where the goblin is trying to steal all the treasure from a castle full of knights. If you can get the knights from stealth you do serious damage but if they see you they will own you. But main objective is the acquisition of the shinies. The shinies? I want the shinies. I understand this, I've learned this from the ferrets, so... I approve of this action. Visual underscore sanity with 500 bits said Thor, highly recommend checking out an anime called Sausu no Freerun or Beyond Journey's End, it's high fantasy and written in the most beautiful ways I have ever seen, I believe watching it would enhance your DND or even general writing as I feel it did to mine, it's about an elf who was with the party that killed the demon king, reliving her adventure with a new party, every scene has character development, world building, cool animation, flashbacks, all at the same time, every angle. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome as shit. How about this one? Uh, is that a wall of acid? It was totally a wall of acid. What the shit, dude? Okay. Well. It's gonna let him, I guess, burn in there? Cool. Ah! I thought they were just push it away. Lit it on fire. This is a terrifying dungeon, actually. Especially because I didn't start off with a water potion. Is that just... What is releasing gas? There's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's you, chat. You're releasing gas? Okay. It all makes sense now. Uh... Wait, Jake. So the first person gets it and nobody else does? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, can you... Let me know when you have that fixed. I'll put it back up on the server. That's got to get fixed immediately. Will we have to redo Murkheim and reprovision chests or no? Because that's a that's a pretty serious bug. Actually, for progression. Okay, yeah. No, if you fix that, let me know. And I'll put it back up. Put up a new one. And we'll reset the server. What do you mean excess gas? Chat. Look, I need you, I need you to understand. I'm... I'm not stinky. All right, I'm taking a bath. And as you can see, when I, as long as I'm in the water, I'm not stinky. See? As long as I'm in the water. And the moment I leave the water, this just starts happening. It's not my fault. I'm just gonna... No. Actually stewing in my own farts. What are the votes? You vote on things happening in the video game. Look at the bottom left corner of the screen. It's actually phenomenal, to be honest with you. Actually, one moment. I need to update something so we can have this come on. And Yeah, no, that's good. Actually, I think this will be fine. We don't have to care about this. And I think I've got everything set up. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, this is gross. 
Big Slice underscore HP with 500 bits said, Hey Raid. Thor, you help inspire nice me to pick up game development again after a few years of hiatus. I roped some of my friends into helping me make music and programming. It would be cool if you could check out the trailer I just released. HTTPS colon slash slash u2 dot b slash sava 0 underscore 9 underscore y8. Let me see. Music and programming. It'd be cool if you could check out the trailer I just released. I will add that to my list because that is likely a gnome. And I can I can tell it's probably a gnome. Only because people have been trying to gnome me recently. And I am deeply paranoid of the gnome, which is why I've never been gnomed. And you will never know me. You cannot know me. And as such, I will not look at that video. Not yet. Eventually I will look at the video. Not currently, but eventually. Michael Hernandez with $4.99 said hi oh, for on Twitch IDKY, but I can't comment, and I only wanted to say I love the community and how wholesome it is here. Have a great evening, Shampmayo. You can't comment on Twitch? Is your Twitch account banned in some way? Because that wouldn't make any sense. We didn't ban you. That's a little bit on. I'm glad you like the community. Thank you very much. Frigid Grave with 1000 bits said, Ya cheer 1000 hello goblin lord, have you ever played a game called Wonderment? After mm. watching you play Stray, I think you might no. like the idea of it. Yeah. Very short game, playable in minutes. Yeah, people have told me about Wonderment before. I've actually had that brought up a couple of times. I've never I've never played it. So you're you're added to the list. The more people that bring up a game to me, the more likely I am to play it. Legitimately. Like, way more likely Dying to play Dying Kingdom it, with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I've been watching your streams for a while and your constant positive talk has given me the motivation to get back into learning programming. I'm just beginning and I was inspired by the work my dad does. We've had some great conversations about the subject and now I'm beginning to learn the Swift language. Nice. Hopefully, I might be able to change my life and enter a career where my physical disability doesn't matter. Thank you. Damn right. That's cool as shit. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Uncle Hot Sauce with 500 bits said hi from Ireland. I've been watching the shorts and it's got me back into Blender. I forgot how much fun it was to mess around with the texturing. Yeah, no, Blender is a super good deal, man. Like, I, I remember when Blender was young, and it was kind of shitty, and now it's just gotten very, very good. It's honestly been awesome as shit, frankly. I've really, really been enjoying it. And um, I think it's it's become one of those kind of industry powerhouse tools where a lot of people can use it and just do all kinds of amazing games. You can make all kinds of shit in Blender, do anything that you need to, just like you used to only be able to do in 3DS Max and Maya. So keep it up. Keep doing that, for sure. Ads are done in about 10 seconds. Yeah, Blender's insane. Ya underscore shit. Brony with 1,000 bits said Ya cheer 1,000. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hmm. All right, there we go. Boop. Doot, 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 doot. All right. I got this glorious thing. Do you know why we get this glorious thing? Do you know what happens with this? Who here has ever played with this? It's not a piece of paper. It's actually a stone tablet that kills anything that hits it. It's a murder brick, is what it is. It's a murder brick. Yeah. I love the murder brick. Oh. Gross. Yeah, you cast brick. Rude. I'll get you eventually. Oh. You know, that's not very nice. I got my murder brick back. Murder brick. Wow, this is a ridiculous dungeon, isn't it? Oh, God. That did not go how I planned it. Ah! Rude. 
By the way, it gives double gold when you kill things because it counts as like a accidental death. So it's 100% worth it to use the murder brick. Why would you do this, chat? Oh. Okay, this is fine. It's fine, we just won't go over there. Oh. You. Oh, you hate it. Oh, God. That's fine. Murder brick. I love the murder brick. Murder brick is my favorite. Ignite gas, please. Yeah, see, I don't actually have fire protection anyway. Which is not the best. You know, I mean, I guess I could just do this. And then be like, you know. And now just everything's on fire. We could sort of just, you know. That's kind of fun. I don't even know what's burning over there. That's just gonna pop. Nice. I like it. I love Noida. I find this game to be, like, absurdly relaxing in some ways. And just insane in others. There we go. It's really relaxing. It's relaxing and weird, right? It's, like, relaxing and very strange. In different kinds of ways. Yeah, even when watching it's kind of relaxing. Blushy I agree with Jude that. VT with 500 bits said, Are you hyped for Monster Hunter Wilds that will be coming in 2025? Dude, I'm so what hyped What monsters for that. are you hoping to show up in the game? Laughing pickle. face. I want the pickle. I want the large, horrible pickle to come back. We need him. I demand him. Give me the horrible pickle. Yeah, angry pickle, dude. Yes, the pickle. Do not fear the pickle, chat. There we go. Now it's just a fire pit. This is a never-ending pit of fire. Good. That dude trying to blow himself up. Crushed. Hmm. Did that just release a bunch of acid for some reason? Why? Why did that just release acid? Why is that full of acid? What? I guess it releases unlimited acid because it's not taking damage from this? I wonder how long it could do this for. This seems safe. You know what I mean? It just seems really safe. It seems really safe. Asni Ninja one with 500 bits said I'll be sleeping when this gets red, and the TTS is going so fast they'll never know I'm really a gremlin. A sneak nine gremlin. Wait, it read it. Oh god, my secret is out. Anyways, you are actually a have gremlin. a good rest of the stream from past sneaky. You're actually a gremlin, it's true. You've always been a gremlin. Oh shit! I didn't know it would do that. I didn't know it would do that. I didn't know it would do that. Oh, God. What is this? Accelerating potion. Whatever. Why am I burning faster now? Ah! Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're real fast, chat. It's fine. I've got 500 gold. I think it's time. I think it's time to go to the next level.
There's so much acid and bullshit in this level. It's actually insane, frankly. Toxic sludge. Crushed. Oh, God. Let's just... Let's just light this tree on fire and then leave. Yeah, this is fine. That's somebody else's problem now, huh, Chet? Light the house on fire and leave. There we go. See? It's fine. I'd love to have a seed to that map. I don't even know what the seed is. I don't know how to get it in Noida. Don't know how that shit works. Nice. Oh, God, I love... I love this thing. I love crushing this thing. Is it in here? Seed is in the bottom left corner. 6598538879. Oh, you bastard. Okay, that was not good. You got a perfect aim. Nice. Oh, oh no! Oh hey, it's one of those like really big canisters. Why is it still leaking acid if it blew up? Oh, I'm getting out of here, dude. Alright, this is fun. Let's make a new weapon. Always cast fire trail. No, no. No. Look at the recharge time on that. 3.85? That's horrific, dude. Oh, shit. You're monsters. You are actually monsters. Shit. Okay, God hasn't noticed me. I don't even have a good spell yet set up yet. To get that any better. No, I don't think it's a better way to do this right now. Yeah, it's wild magic in this shit. There's no way we're gonna fight that dude over there though, so I have to go this way. I can't even get to my, get my perk until I can fight God. Thanks, Chet. Thanks for that. You're the best. I might put this on this one, actually. Because we can shuffle wand this, and the red one is not shit. So if we do... Okay. Now we got that. That works. A little bit better. A little bit better. Still not going to beat God with it. Where was the wand here? Rude. I need to dig for that up there. 
Oh, basically just burns forever, so that's not it. Oh, hey. Shit. I thought that was Invisibilium. It was still a Fertanium. I'm on fire. I don't have a water potion. This is so bad. Ah, kick the fire off. Have you beaten this game? Tons of times. I love the shit out of this game. The idea is not to get to the bottom and beat it. There are so many other things to explore. And now it's time to get a water potion. It's gonna... It's gonna get rid of this. This is what happens if you drink Mountain Dew, chat. Looks just like that. It's not good. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't do that. Love yourself. Hey, where the hell am I? Let's release a bunch of garbage. That is nice over there. What? It's... It's all snow. It's... It's all snow now. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Okay. It's... <laughs> everything snow. I guess I can dig through it, you know? I don't want an unstable total protadium potion. It is all snow now. Wait a minute. Did this change all the way up to the top level up there? Hmm. Hmm. I can slowly melt through it. One OTP potion because it's unstable. It'll kill you. Bubo yeah, 808 no. with 500 bits said bought these to support the channel and hopefully get a TTS question answered. Sure. But... But you have to... You have to ask the question. <laughs> I feel so bad. You have to you have to ask. I don't know what your question is. If you don't ask it. Oh man. Oh man. Visual underscore sanity with 500 bits said just finished the entire JoJo anime so far, and will read the manga soon. Let me tell you what the series is. Jojo Bizarre Adventure is like telling someone, hey make a fart hotel, you know small scope gets them to do their cool ideas, but no, they actually make a fart hotel, RPG, with lore, and cinematic scenes, with 4K yes. graphics, and it just yeah, works. That's exactly Jojo true. is the perfect example of if you execute it well, that's all that matters, Jojo's writer literally does whatever he wants, no limits. It's, it's the best shit post of our age. I'm stuck in the ground, okay cool game. I was stuck on a single pixel of rock that was slightly above me. Felt bad. Felt bad in my bones. No, JoJo's amazing, dude. I love the shit out of JoJo. It's freaking wild, dude. Can you explode, please? There's a corpse in the way, stopping me from blowing it up. Thank you. I need this wand. Ooh, cool wand. Cool wand. Cool wand. This is gonna be insane. This question's a telegram. Let me go grab it. The guy who pressed enter too early? Let's see. Thank you for the knowledge that you share. I've been comparing drawing tablets, and after finally learning one, I realized the company is out of China. So you're married to the ones in Chinese tech products. Are you talking about a Huan? Yeah, it's talking about a Huan. Uh, Shea actually uses those. Huayan, or whatever it is. Shea's used those before. They're cheaper. They're useful. They, they're actually quite good. Um, a lot of people use Cintiq, but Cintiq had kind of like a fall off for a while. And Huayan, or whatever it is, is actually quite good. Yeah, it's really good. So, yeah. Here. 
Yeah, I just said Huan, Huan or Huan. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, they're really good for the price. They're they're super cheap. Yeah, Cintiq is crazy expensive. This wand is nuts. Holy shit! <laughs> this is the dumbest wand I've seen in a while, dude. Okay, I think I have to get rid of this. The torch wand is stupid. This is the- <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, dude, this wand. What do you mean, summon Stavari? Why? What is the matter with you? You could be normal, Chad. I know he's off to the left somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, it's lava down there. Maybe he died in it. We can only hope. I'm gonna leave him over there. Whatever he's doing. I don't want to deal with it. I like how the saw blades are actually cutting through the walls. Do you see that? This is like the shittiest digging wand ever. Look at it go. It shreds them. This is nuts, dude. This wand is absurd. Oh. Give me his blood. Yes, gold. Delicious gold. Explode. No! Okay, fine, I'll wait. Fantastic. Ella with $5 said think you'll play Potion Craft on stream again. Yes. Maybe once the garden update comes out. One of my yeah. favorite vids of yours. I am planning on playing the Potion Craft game again. Um, wait, the favorite vids? Did I already release that video on YouTube? I didn't release that, did I? I don't think I released that. Hmm. Oh, the VOD. Yeah, no. Uh, there's a curated video, actually, from Shadelock. Shadelock actually did their first long-form video. And I need to release that on YouTube still. I just haven't done it. So I was like, wait a minute. Because I, I need to make a, a thumbnail for it. I just haven't released a thumbnail. Look at this. Look at it dig. I love this wand. Look at this. This is insane. Yeah, I can just hold it. And it just releases all the gold. Because the, the saw blades don't destroy the gold. Oh my god, it's amazing. This wand is actually insane. Yeah, we could, we could chainsaw this. Digging. Digging wand. Bouncing spell with this? I'd probably die. You know? I feel like that would lead to death. Is usually how that goes. Maybe it is destroying the gold. I might be wrong about the not destroying gold part. It is chewing the environment. Yeah, it's a little bit of a little bit of cat jam. I agree with that. Let's see how well it does going directly into the target. Oh my god, it's incredible. We can just dig. We dig, chat. We dig. We dig. Dig. Oh, I found where I was before. Nice. Now we can finally get this wand that I wanted. By digging. Oh, you. That seems safe. Thanks for that, chat. You're the best. I guess I won't do anything for the next... forever. While I wait for this to fall off. Goblins. Every one of you. I can't dig with it. I can't Captain dig if you do with this. 500 it's not gonna work. Said hello again, Thor. I saw your short on mobile ads, and want to hear your thoughts on a game and its monetization. Sure. It's called Battle Cruises Showdown, on mobile and Steam, 
and the free mobile Blender. version has full page ads that pop up after every match, but they're hey, fake ben. ads that have lore about the world or are just hilarious, like the ad about Ugh. the extinct human museum. I'm not the dev, just wanted to hear your thoughts on it and recommend checking it out as it's a very enjoyable game. If it has fake ads that pop up as a joke, I think that's hilarious. That's very funny. No, A+. 100% A+. No problems with that at all. Brilliant. Oh, another orbit move. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of wands now. Wands that do a lot of fun. And I'm going to get stuck on a tiny pixel again. God damn it, Noita moment. We're going to go up here where Stavari lives. Because he's a horrible monster. And we're just going to do this in his direction. Those eat through this, too? Jesus Christ, dude. And I think we can do... this. It's shooting two of them now, I believe. Yeah, it is shooting two of them now. So we've doubled its effectiveness now. Yeah, we've, we've doubled it. Now we shoot two. Egg first? No one... no. Gross. Who uses egg? Come on, Stavari, where are you? Not so tough now, are you? You great big bastard. Oh, shit. All right, all right, fair. Shit. Shit. Oh, that's rude. Can you get off of me? Thanks. I hate Stavari. I need my my perk, damn it. Not for now. Got him. Exploding the sand. A great bastard. We did it. We survived. Extra wand capacity. On this? It got two extra slots. Holy shit. Why? You... Oh. I'm going to stand here so you get the least amount of lava. You deserve that. You deserve that. Oh my god, I filled up all the holes. Look at that. White hole. An orb of positive energy that destroys everything in its path. I don't know if I've used that before. Is that new? I think that's new, isn't it? What does that do? Okay, that one can't even cast it. This is expensive mana. So it's just another flavor of black hole. I wonder... What would happen if you cast black hole at the same time? I wonder if you get a white hole and a black hole to touch each other. What happens? I bet it would explode. 
You say nothing, but I don't know about that. Yeah, we'll get a we'll get a big bang out of it or some shit. Okay, we can dig upwards now, so that's good. This also digs. Look at this. Holy shit, dude. That is insane, actually. Oh my god. I'm trying I'm trying to get it to the point where it's just insane. It's just absurd. I'm loving this, dude. All right. That wand is disgusting. All we need is more mana regen for it. We got ads. We're going to wait for the ads. The mighty orange with 500 bits said ya cheer 500 howdy thor. Howdy. I thought you would enjoy this story. Earlier last week it came out that my country's equivalent to the IRS owes one of our capital cities. We have free, almost 1 million South African rands which is about $55,000 in rates and building taxes. Jesus. So they went and turned the electricity and water off. Oh the irony. What? Wait what? Wait what? Wait what? They turned off the electricity and water to the city? What the living shit. Michael Hernandez with $9.99 said so wholesome here. Thank you, Thor, for being so awesome. Hands clapping. Thank you for being awesome. Uh, if I add fire to it, it won't work because the reason why this works in the first place is the blades are free because they cast on every spell cast with this. Yeah. Beautiful Origin with 500 bits said could please tell the story of when you were given a list of instructions and part way through it said to leave the room and the last people to leave were let go. Yeah. I have a buddy struggling to read all his instructions for school before beginning work and doing a ton of extra unnecessary work, and that story seems a good real-world application of why you should always read all instructions before no. you start. No. Though I do feel for the people in the story. It's not a good real-world application. It's a dog shit piece of behavior from from a, an employer. It's it's a terrible thing to do. That is That should never be done in the industry, and it's something that happened to me, and I thought it was disgusting, frankly. Um, they, they gave us all a test when we were on night crew and the test was go down these six, this 16 step quote, like test, make sure that you are, it's a task. They said it was an important task today. You get halfway through the task, reading through it. It's at the top. It says, read everything before starting on like line eight or whatever it is. It says, put down your task, turn off your monitor and leave the room. And the last two people to do it were fired. Everybody else went to day crew. They were closing down our team and that's how they chose who would lose their job. And that's horrific. That's that should not exist. So that no, that should not be a standard. That shouldn't be a real world application. That should never happen. And it's it was disgusting, frankly. Yeah, it's really really disgusting. I think we should change out the spell on this. What if I did this? I want something that shoots faster. I guess that removes all the cast delay, doesn't it? Yeah, it removes all the castaways. I think that's fine. Let's go see if we can buy those other wands. Is there anything on those wands that we could use? Like a... No, that's useless. That's useless. That's useless. So no, I guess. Nothing. I guess nothing. What happens if we dig to the left? Oh my god, it digs. Look at it dig. It's actually become unstable as a wand. Mana-wise, it's unstable. Now it's not unstable. It definitely was unstable before. Don't you do it! I see you. I see you 50 50 -ing. Oh my god, why? Of course I'm not going to shoot when that's up. Oh, god damn it. How did they get all the way over to there? It's just spraying all the way there. We're just going to wait then. You've turned off the stream for a full minute. Good job, chat. The new chat. dingo with 500 bits said, Does you having a corporation now mean when you talk about Heartbound, you are being a corporate shill? Yes. Also love the streams. Helps <laughs> keeps me sane while doing boring things. Thanks for USUING your mutate sleeping powers to gives us so much content. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, it does mean I'm being a corporate shill. 100%. I have to wait. I have to wait. Actually, I kind of want to see what happens.
It's too fast. It can't boomerang. Okay. Too fast to boomerang. Get on, chat. You win this round, chat. We had a cool thing going, chat. We had a cool thing. You ruined it. Can't believe it. Chat, the slayer of fun. The slayer of fun. Slayer of fun, chat. Oh, what the hell happened in here? Jesus. It's a mess in here. Thank you. Shit. Alright, we're good. By the way, that bouncy ball, it doesn't say it, but the faster that moves, the more damage it deals. Why? Oh my shit. You play while you're used to for years, yeah. God damn it. Fly, damn it. Alright, I've only got 89 gold. This is not good. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Wand of mistakes! Wand of mistakes. 100% wand of mistakes is what that is. Oh my god, look at it go. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. The Wand of Mistakes is very powerful. Well, shit. You know, that's not... Add blades to it? You can't just get blades every mission, you know? It's a, it's, it doesn't work that way. We had a good thing with our blades. You took them away, Chet. They were beautiful for a little while. They were. It was good. Why not? Because I, I don't have the spell for blades. You can't just find it every time. It was a beautiful wand. You had a, we had a good thing. You could have just given me another wand. Instead, you gave me that. Yeah. You know, I wish that would have polymorphed, but I guess it's fine. I feel like it should be polymorphing that guy right there. Hey, buddy, you should come get me. Hey, buddy, come come a get to me. You know, I find that to be rude. I build an entire polymorphing pit, and this man just walks away. He doesn't even get in it. There we go. See? Now you're dead. Perfect. That's all we wanted. Yeah. Slow motion firebolt. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna drown. Oh, okay, we're good. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Crisis is averted. Don't think about it. Just don't- just don't think about it. Dig. New wand. Bomb wand. And it's weird. It's a weird bomb wand. 
Oh, okay. Is that... Is that what we're doing today, chat? Is that... Is that what we're doing? We're just... Filling everything in the area with lava. Is that how it works? I'm glad to see that's how this is going. It's a good day, you know. Chat is fully vicious. Everything is cool. Visual underscore sanity with 500 bits said Thor get your moose paint on. Here is a fun Jojo exercise. Connect this. Your hero is in prison, searching for a CD to stop a plant baby from being created so that your hero makes sure that a priest does not go to heaven. That prison is in Florida, by the way, because he can't go to heaven unless if he is in Florida. Yes, this is all canon. Good luck. Goddamn Jojo, dude. Jojo is honestly the best. It is the most ridiculous bullshit imaginable. And it is so much fun to watch with friends. Because nobody, even the diehard JoJo fans, will know what's going on. And it'll kind of make sense to you when you're a JoJo fan. But not really. Not really at the end of the day. Even if you say that it does. Yeah, JoJo makes no sense. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna get covered in oil. What is this? Nothing. Thank you for the rating party of four. I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah, honestly, it was me, Dio. Yeah, yeah. I love JoJo. I think it's great. It's weird as shit, frankly. But it's that right kind of weird. It's the perfect kind of weird. Is that a wand? Does that man have a wand? Who gave that man a wand? That's not good. Let's just handle this like that, you know? Because I don't know what that wand does. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. That would have sucked. Oh. Well, we got another magic missile wand, so that's cool. I think that would have killed me. I think it would have straight up killed me. Alright, we've survived. Bro should do voice acting? Nah. I am good streaming on the internet and making things. I am good doing that. Pickle? Pickle. Pixel Master 98146 with 500 bits said hello Thor Pirate Software. Hey, dude. I was wondering how you coped when you were chronically ill due to COVID and couldn't do the things that you wanted to. I am going through a similar thing and I feel like I'm not working hard enough. I don't remember 90% of that experience. I was going into what's called hypoxia, so... Brain didn't have any oxygen. And it felt like two weeks to me. It was actually two years. I lost a shitload of time. I think the one thing that really bothered me about it, I had to relearn some speech. That was the biggest issue for me. I forgot words. There were some words that I just didn't know anymore. Like, I would know the concept of what that word was supposed to be. Ooh, ooh, shit. No, don't let him have it. So I would know the concept of whatever that word was. Hey, cool, give me some healing. And, uh, I wouldn't know what the word was. Because I had forgotten the word. So I had to relearn those words. Which was really weird. And I did not like that. As somebody who speaks for a living, that was weird. Yeah, finally something nice. English. Yeah. That was super strange. It was really strange. Like, I'd, I'd forget a word. Like, I'd know the concept. It'd be like, oh, that it's red. It's, uh, it's an octagon. You're supposed to not move when you're near it. Like, what? But it was like that. And it was just like, what the shit? And I just forget the word. It was just gone. And it was specific words. I learned them again. It was fine. But, like, shit was whack, dude. Jesus. We're just gonna call that one a day. Thanks. It 
There's a lot of dudes with a lot of HP out here. I'm not liking it. Really need about 400 gold before we progress. I think it's the biggest problem right now. Jesus. Tirava underscore Nightblood with 500 bits said lost track of time and figured out you were streaming because the gnome spawned in against Great Darkness and ended my run. Okay, that's really funny, actually. That's really, really funny, dude. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah, it ain't working. Automatic. People try to speed run to get banned. Uh, I don't know. There's certain accounts that do that, and it's kind of whatever. It's never really, like, a problem. You know, because, like, we have automated solutions, we've got to set a mod team, the mods are all paid, like... It just kind of goes through and it's easy, man. It's really, it's really not hard. And Twitch gives you so many tools to handle it anyway, so, like, who gives you shit, right? Like, literally doesn't matter. Even on YouTube, it's not hard. Like, it's easy. Really, really easy. Devil Joe, you talking about, you talking about the pickle? Devil Joe's cool. All right, chat. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's it you're gonna do? Concentrated mana potion. So cool thing about concentrated mana, it eats steel like acid would. It's really useful for that, actually. A nearby creature gets a random wand. Yeah, YouTube chat doesn't affect the vote. It is Twitch site only. That is part of their integration stuff on the game. Sorry, bud. And even then, it would only count your vote once anyway. It does it on a per user basis. Uh. I like how those guys are only worth literally one gold. Like, why? Insane to me. Concentrated mana. That's not what I wanted. Shit. That is not good. That thing has lightning on it. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay. That killed it. I knew something would have to. What did you... What is that? Holy shit. Look at this wand, dude. We got our chainsaw. We got an expanding sphere. That's weird as hell, dude. I think I've used expanding sphere before. Chainsaw's great, though. Really? Chainsaw. This is the one that you guys gave to that monster, by the way. You caused his death. That's right. You caused his death. We're stealing that chainsaw, 100%. I'm definitely not casting that one, though, because that one looks like hot insanity. And I kind of want to go pick up the old one because I want bomb over magic missile. Not too much of a fan of magic missile, to be honest with you. Yeah, we're taking it with us, for sure. Well, this turned out lovely. 
Glass cannon, ultimate magic missile? No. That sounds awful. That just sounds like death. That literally just sounds like death. What the... what? Gold machine. We love it. Invisibilium potion. My favorite. All right. 676 gold. We're going through. It's a good time. we get in here let's get rid of that let's do this that's a shuffle wand shit too much recharge time on it not good um hey health plus thank you Why is the whole room shaking? Do you see this shit? I guess we can just keep that on for now. Like, it's not a good wand, but it's also not like a terrible one. It's like real weird now, you know? I got the teleport bolt. It's there. Kind of like this one more. More controllable this way. Sounds like my review is a husband. It's not good, but it's not terrible. <laughs> Jesus, dude. That's freaking rough. Pinpointer. Oh, that's good. So, one of the things about Bouncy Ball, if you see this is 15 damage, right? It should be doing slightly more damage now. I think it only does 15 damage, though. There's a thing that actually makes it so it does a certain amount of damage. It does extra damage the faster this goes. And I think it's the Bouncy Ball spell that does that. You think Concentrated Spells? Bouncy Ball should do more damage when it's faster. Because this is already doing faster. Your spells fly faster and have lower spread. Which is already nice. Now the interesting part is, what if we do this? Now my Triple Scatter spell isn't a Scatter spell. Hey. Hey. So that's pretty cool. But if you had another scatter, I don't have another scatter. I could add another scatter. It's kind of wonky, right? Yeah, it's a little bit wonky. So I kind of want to get some new spells and like maybe, maybe we can make this better. It just doesn't feel right because it gets chunky. We need a recharge. If I can get a recharge, this thing will be disgusting. Or another chainsaw. 
Because recharge time on that is going to work. New wand. Okay. That's weird. Oh, because pinpoint it's going to make the lightning shoot super far. Jesus. Jesus. Oh. Okay, so that's cool. Would you consider installing the Twitch Extended mod? Is there a, is there more that can go along with it? I didn't even know there was more that could go with it. What else does it do? What else does the extension mod do? Here, let's go into Twitch real fast. And we'll go into extensions. I actually didn't know that they had a secondary extension system for this. Extension... Noita. Noita Wands Overlay. Add. Yeah, we don't even have an overlay. So, that works. There you go. Noita Wands Overlay is now on. Does it just show you what wand I'm using? Is that what it's doing? More bomba. I think you have to refresh to see it. Yeah, I think you have to refresh. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, that's, that's rude. Just show up and you hit me with that. Eat it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Rat. I have a surprise for you. It's lightning. It's a very big amount of lightning. Rats, rats, rats. Oh. Ooh. Doot, 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 doot. Doot 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 doot. Alright. 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 Shotgun one, kinda cool. I like that. Um. Oh, shotgun one doesn't have any variants now. Look. It shoots all three shotgun bolts into one line. That's useful and weird. What is this going to do now? Hmm. We need that heavy spread. To be honest. We need it so that we can use it to make... This. Disgusting. Yeah, fully automatic wand. Zap. Beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, don't do that. Oh, man. Oh, hey, there's hearts down there. Sick. Oh, man. That's not even the right bomb. Idea. 
Not the right bomb. Idea. Cool. What do we get? Garbage incarnate. Fantastic. Wonderful. <laughs> Blow it up from the ceiling, dude. Bubbles with pinpoint are wild. Are they actually? The biggest problem I have with bubbles is like, you need to have homing with them. Homing is amazing with bubbles. Holy shit. All right, we got ads. Steel underscore Elysium with 500 bits said, oh, Goblin Lord, I told you that tomatoes are both fruits and vegetables. Do with uh, this as you please. And could you lower the price of the demo? It is too it's expensive. It's free. The demo is free. How dare you? Never or nav with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500. Hello, Mr. Pirates of Twer. Today is Hello. my 100th stream. Oh. Over this period, my mental has been slightly getting better than it was before, even though right now I seem to be suffering a minor setback. I am still working on my first children's book. The main character will be named Thor. Keep up the good work, man. Less than three yar bongos yar cult. Oh, dude, that's awesome as hell. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, you're talking about Twitch extended the mod on Workshop. Okay, that's a totally different thing. That's a very different thing. Yeah, okay. I will look into this. I'll look into how to set this up, because I have no idea. What? Okay, Jake. I'm going to fix that now. <laughs> I'm fixing block game. One moment. Gotta fix block game. You have a 10 day watch streak? Nice, dude. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It is incredibly nice of you, frankly. Okay, I need to go to here. Okay, server's restarting now. We are restarting the server. Everything seems to be fine. What the hell is going on here? There we go. Server's acting really weird. Why restart? I had to. <clears throat> I'm restarting the server so that we can get a, a fix on a major a major bug. It was only giving XP to the first person who opened the chest. Which is fine. It's updated now. Yeah. Twitch extended is really great. Noitamon? I'll add it. I will. Yeah, I think it's a really good thing.
Alrighty. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm looking through the uh the Twitter discourse on the spy patch stuff. It's so good. Super funny shit. Good. What tools do you use to block the bot raids, etc.? I don't use tools for it. Twitch has all this stuff integrated. So if, if you're wondering how to defend your account, like your Twitch account, set up Nightbot, set up everything on Twitch, and you're done. Like, our moderators catch the things that get through those filters, which isn't a lot. Most of it actually gets hit with this. Heimdall is something that I built on top of that that's just for funsies, and it barely does anything, frankly. It hasn't even gained any levels today. So it's kind of it's kind of anemic today, unfortunately. Usually it gains levels on things, but you know, the other automated systems have gotten so good that Heimdall doesn't even do work. It doesn't need to. Eventually it'll get better, but like, meh, for now. All right. Boop. Woofen with $10 said today I learned that child classes in Java are not able to inherit from more than one parent class like in C++. This makes Java the loneliest language, because every parent class is a single mother. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, it, you said it only bans the 7 guy? It actually doesn't even ban the 7 guy anymore, you know why? We don't ban the 7 guy now. We actually let his messages go into restricted mode, which restricted mode... Causes them to not be visible to anyone but the mods and himself. So his account is actually here spamming all the time. And no one can see it. And he doesn't even realize that. Which makes it really funny. Really funny. He'll sit there and just say all kinds of heinous bullshit for like a while. Look at that cat. Cat wizard just tried to wreck me, dude. Oh, shit. I am blind for 10,000 years. Oh my god, dude. I hate blind. Holy shit. Eat it. Blind is awful, man. Blind is insanely awful. That lasted so long. Now I'm on fire. Hello. I have arrived. Eat it. All right. Okay, this works. We just kind of dig with this, I guess. Does it dig? Is it even digging? Oh god, that'll dig. That'll that'll definitely dig. What have you done? Look, it's Chat, let me let me explain. All right, it It happens to everyone. This is normal. It's just Look, let's let's just not let's just not talk about it. All right. Let's just let's just not. It's over now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. it didn't happen. It's normal. All right. Don't make don't make it weird. Uh. Eating some funky fungus. This is good. This is this is what we want, chat. We want to eat all the strange cave fungus, right? That's a good idea, right, chat? Eating the strange cave fungus? Yes? Good, yes? Absolutely, yes. It's it's doing well for us, I think. 
I think the strange cave fungus is doing quite well. I don't know if that's cave fungus. That might be a man. We don't want to eat people. At least not yet. I accidentally ate vomit, and I'm vo Oh! You hear the word swamp echoing and shifting in colors. What turned into swamp water? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was something in there. Swamp transformed. Is it blood? No, it's not blood. It is definitely something, though. I just don't know what. Let's go throw those down there and get rid of all that weird rock. Now. Oh shit. Okay. This is bad. There we go. Blow up the frog. Worth. Infinitely worth. Those are nasty. Alright. We're gonna have to approach this from another angle, I think. Actually, wait a minute. No, we won't. Concentrated man into the rescue. Make it touch the robot. Come on, touch him, touch him, touch him. Yeah, look at that. Look at him dying to it. Get wrecked, nerd. Robots hate concentrated mana. Concentrated mana eats metal. Yeah, you didn't know that? Concentrated mana eats metal. He's made out of metal. <laughs> Love concentrated mana. Drink it? I always drink it. Nah, I'm a true wizard. Noida is all about ma the material game, dude. Ooh, another concentrated mana potion. Idea. Our Flamuxium potion can be thrown up. Okay, hit the single pixel in front of me. That's fine. Another concentrated mana. Let's turn it to Pete. Jesus. Look at that. Let's just get rid of that shit. You become invisible for a short period of time. I love being invisible. Shit! Goddamn wizards! Why is it always wizards? I hate wizard cat. Let's go throw those over there. I'm getting out of here. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna try and zap that through the wall. It's only a matter of time, Frago. Eventually the lightning will hit you. There we go. I got all day, and you're conductive. Wow, this is a really bad move, actually. It takes forever. That's really scary over there, actually. That is a really scary wand that that thing has. Holy shit, yeah. Alright, so, that's a lot of wand. It's so much gold. It's so much gold, Chad. Okay, we need to get out of here. Before we all die. I don't really feel like dying right now, so... I'm gonna take my cool magic, I think. What is that? That's the cool lightning stone. Cool lightning stone is cool. Yeah, dude. Okay, we need to get out of the fungal place, dude. There's a lot of wands in here, which is really good for, like, this stage of the game. But also... Also, we're having a bad time.
I don't really understand what's happening up there, but I'm gonna leave him in it. Shit. God, I hate you. Frogs are the most powerful thing in the universe. Frankly insane behavior from frogs. Why are they so strong? Ooh, chain bolt. Ooh, chain bolt. It's kind of shit, though. Wand's bad. Oh my god. We have a good run going, chat. Don't do it. Chat. Chat. We have a good run. Chat. Why do you hate me? I thought we were friends. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. Not gonna get the chance. I have two HP. You didn't save me. I killed it before it, it killed me. You're the most aggressive goblins ever today. And I don't know what I did to enrage the goblin horde. I'm just trying to get out of this place. Shit. Go away, dude. He's like, hey, what's going on down here? Get out! Oh my god, there's a freaking robot at the bottom of that. This is so bad, dude. Okay, idea. Killed him. Okay. Good. Robot Gonzo. I can't get touched by a single anything. Yeah, I know concentrate mana turns water into mana. I just wanted to blow him up. Because it was funnier. Shit. HP. Just gotta survive. Oh, thank God. Oh. I get to live. I get to live. What is anti-homing? Wait, what? <laughs> Why would anyone ever use anti-homing? Have I ever used that? I don't know if I've used that. I don't think I have. Okay, I've now used anti-homing. Very cool. Progress one new. What a horrible thing. Get out of here. Blood cloud. Spare up the chainsaw. It's a uh, shuffle, doesn't matter. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, let's think about this. This could be an amazing one. Vampirism is cool. I agree. Vampirism is cool. Vampirism Blood Cloud might be really, really good. Yeah. Vampirism seems like the way. <clears throat> I'm going to become a vampire. It's fine.
Thank you, chat. For your friendly jousts. Oh, idea. Okay. 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 That's about where we want that. That's good. That's faster. That's good. We could probably add something to this. There we go. Now it's much faster. We don't want that going on to those, so we'll do it this way. Perfect. Might do... <laughs> okay. I think it's going to be the way there. The mana drain, though? It doesn't matter. It recharges pretty fast. It's better than the alternative. It's really kind of the point here. I mean, alternatively, we could do something like this. You know. Which just lasts forever. Like, this works. We can just do this. Because then basically any time it lands on anything, it shoots. Yeah. The one to shovel moving spells won't, won't land anything? Yeah, no, it actually does matter. Because when you hit one of these, it still rotates forward. On a shuffle one. I think it's going to be better with more of this. Let's see. Yeah, it should still cast forward on a on a on one of the uh those wands. On a shuffle wand. Do you just make me drunk? I think you can hurt yourself when you're drunk. <laughs> uh Yeah, I think you can. I'm gonna stay away from that. Maybe not. It shoots in all directions when you're drunk, too, which is great. Fantastic. Alright, I think this is a good use. I think this is good. Basically unlimited mana. It's kind of nice. Now I'm going to pick up Blood Cloud. And we're going to go get that other wand that I threw away. Where did I throw that away? I threw it away down here. Of course I did. We'll put blood clad on that, so now I have a free heal at any time. Which is going to make this run better somehow. It's good.
Yeah, free heal. I can, uh, I can drink blood to heal. Want to make a telly one? I don't know. I don't need a telly one right now. If I needed a telly one, I'd use it. But I don't need one right now. I need damage. I need chaos and bullshit currently, chat. And as you can see, I've got a good amount of both. Mmm. Mmm, delicious, isn't it? Delicious bullets. Oh, you think this is great? We're not even getting started. If I can survive long enough to make this insane, I will. See this? Delicious. Drink his blood. Because I'm a vampire now. Why am I taking damage? Oh, there's like a stupid robot over there. But those bullets... I don't know what just happened there. It was weird. Huh. Weird arena box. Very cool. We go forth. Oh, no, dude. What is the matter with you? Holy shit. Oh, oh. We're waiting for 50 seconds for this to go away. I'm just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. Pete. Oliver with five dollars said I am making a story game set in a series of dreams. Main character is depressed and uses dreams as an escape. Uses tech to turn dreams VR. Unreal 5. That's kinda cool. I dig that. What? Where are those coming from? Jesus Christ, dude. I'm not- no, we're waiting. Ten more seconds. We're waiting. We're waiting. You were waiting, because all enemy projectiles are turning that way, too. I'm not using- I'm not using that. It's not happening. Okay, now we're good. Shit. Eat it. Check that one in a moment. I need to drink some blood. Damage plus. That's great, actually. Just gonna start throwing some bombs around. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna dig. Just like to do some digging. You know. And I think what I'll do is. After I get my good dig pit, first I need to go check this one. I don't think I checked this one, did I? I did. I need to find a spot to drink a bunch of blood. Oh, wait a minute. Because I want this one. I want the damage plus. Maybe I can get rid of this. I think I might actually get rid of the wand. Of the lightning one. Even though I, I know I'm going to kick the statue. I always kick the statue. I think I'm gonna get rid of the lightning wand. Oh, the lightning wand's so good. I just have good wands. I just want the damage plus. I know about kicking the finger. I know. There's a little man. And he gets very upset when you kick it. And he blows up when you hit him with lightning.
All right, we wait for ads. Master Booper with 500 bits said hello Thordimore, son of Swaldemort, heartbound champion of morning foods, bane of lawnbeards, protector of wigglers, heir to the throne of goblinkind, tell us your secrets of swollness. No, it's, no, it's not, <laughs> you're Swaldemort, dude. Zexis 654 yeah. with 500 bits said what do you think about this suggestion for Twitch? Sure. HTTPS colon slash. Let me see. Short form content for discovery. I think short form content for discovery is a really good idea, to be honest with you, but I don't know if Twitch is the right place for it. And I think the reason why, let me pull this up. I think the reason why behind this is we don't really go to Twitch for short form content. We go to Twitch for long form content. And I know they have clips. I understand that they do. But I, I don't know if we would go there for that. So let, let me read through this. Short-form content in the form of stream highlights is extremely popular from boosting engagement and discovery on other platforms. But they're more of a here is what you can expect or here's what I do. However, Twitch is still the dominant platform for live streamers. Why not have a short-form content section for live channels where clips posted by people with the editor role feed into the short-form content algorithm for people to find a currently live channel? I think they're actually already doing this. I think this is a thing they're already doing. I'm pretty sure they are. Would be nice to have some basic editing tools aligned to this to cut up clips. Actually, they already have that. So check this shit out. I'm going to show you something really cool. If you go to your channel right now, let me show you this. I'm going to wait for ads. I'm going to wait for ads and I'm going to show you this. All right, so check this out. <clears throat> if you go to your actual channel, see how we have this clip, right? You go into the clip section, you go into here, you say clips. You can actually click crop to portrait right here. And look at this. This creates a short. If you don't have an editor, you can just do this. And you can actually resize this any way that you want to. You can even remove your channel name from this if you want to or turn it into a full screen one. This is built right into the Twitch, man. Yeah, it's built right into the Twitch. And you can move these anywhere you want. So you're like, I want I want myself down here and then I want the funny thing here, you know? Like, that's totally doable. You never do that? Yeah, and you can save and export this and then you save it and then you release that elsewhere. It's phenomenal. I actually have a short of this out. <laughs> this is quite funny. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good. Like, it's a really good tool and it's free and it's built right into Twitch. So yeah, do that. Why is Twitch not advertising this? They did. They can't advertise everything all of the time, but yeah, this has been here. This has been here the whole time. It's an amazing tool. It's actually how we used to do shorts before we hired Shadelock. How to get to that? Go to your clips and just click on clip, like, change this. Yeah, they, they advertised this. Yeah, they talked about it. It was huge when they did it. No one paid attention. I paid attention because it was like, oh, that's great. Let's see. Small teleport bolt. Don't need that right now. I do want that damage though. Okay, I'm gonna do blood here. Yes. Wait, I don't want to drown it. Wait. Wait, there's too much blood. I need to drink it. Holy shit, that's a lot of blood. Dude, look at my HP. Yes. Oh, you literal bastards. Get out of here, worm. Wait, come back. You're full of delicious blood. can see forever, Chet. I can see forever! Clumsy movement. Movement is difficult. Cause overeating. Oh, I gotta be like less fat. I'm too fat right now. It's fun. Jatomato. 
AKA Big Worm. Yeah, Worm Juice. I'm too fat. I, I overate. I overate, so I have clumsy movement now. Alright. I need this. I think I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop the bomb wand, dude. We're dropping bomb wand. It's just too important to get this. It's too important to get damage plus. There's no reason to do anything else. Ugh, I'm overeating. But I drank all the worm blood, so it's fine. Rude? Deeply rude. HOFRAS with 777 bits said, Does it count as the gnome meme when I dress up as the gnome on TwitchCon? No. It has to be the original art and the original sound. <clears throat> Somebody already hired a man to come to my house. Don't do this, by the way. They doxed me. They hired a guy. The guy dressed up as a gnome and came to my house and danced as a gnome. Shit. That hurt bad. I'm gonna drink some blood one moment. There we go. Sorry, I'm vampirizing. I'm being a vampire. Delicious vampire blood. Oh no 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 See? Good. See, we're good. Vampire blood. Blood maxing, dude. All you gotta do is take the other person's blood and put it in your body. As such, I have more blood. See? Alright, so, what was that message before I move on? Yeah, no, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. There was a there was a person who already did that. You have to you have to play the original gnome sound and the original gnome image. The closest somebody's come in, in terms of that regard is they created a video gnome gram. Sent it to me in the mail. And when Shay opened it, it immediately played the video. And Shay threw it across the room. It was actually like a built-in video player. It was insane. Nope. Them's the rules. Yeah, Shay actually flung it. It was really funny. It's incredibly creative. It's the closest anyone's really gotten. You've tried for years. It's always the same rules. Original vi original gnome, original sound. Okay. Lava trail. I have to do it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! I made a mistake. Okay, I'm done with it. I don't want to touch it anymore. <laughs> uh, actually, I want to see what happens if do this. Oh, it doesn't turn anything. Wow, I didn't actually turn into lava. Weird. I hear twitching. Worm blood. Oh god. Yeah, get out of here. Big horrible bastard. Where'd my big worm go? Large wormman. Oh, you just dis you just disappear? Is that Is that what happened there? Where'd my big worm go? A wand? Who just leaves magic laying around? Oh, big wormman. Oh, that's depressing. Is what? Oh shit! I did not realize that that was a canister. It was so rusted. I thought it was a dead guy. That could have gone incredibly wrong. There we go. There's the extra health. So worms are usually filled with max HP. Eat it. Is 
a dead rat on it. Okay. Oh, is this what we're doing now? Is that the one pixel of fire? Okay. We're gonna leave now. That's fine. We're just we're just gonna go. Alright. Not a fan. Not a fan of what you're doing. Yeah, I gotta drink blood. I don't need to drink blood. We're just gonna go in here. It's fine. I got enough gold for the next round. We got a really good kind of setup going. I've got an upgrade that we need to do here, so this is good. We'll do that. We'll do this. You know. Blood, you say? Blood. Blood, you say? Blood, blood, blood. Blood, 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 blood. It's just called blood, blood, blood. I love that, actually. Blood for the blood god, chat. Blood for the blood god. No more knockback. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm going to reload this. This sucks. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Homing bullets. Homing bullets with bouncy ball. Rest well, King. Nah, dude, I'm not dying. You think I'm gonna use Acid Trail? Maybe a little bit. No, I'm not using Acid Trail. You'll kill me instantly. Glowing Lance is cool. The damage is neat, but like, that's way too much. Made way too much bullshit in there. Got a quadruple spell in there. That's good. This is nice. We need more recharge, I think. Explosion of poison. Do damage pluses stack? Do you guys know if they're stack? I actually don't know. Damage is exponential. Oh boy, do we like that. It's not mana efficient anymore. But it is hilarious. The damage is huge. God wand. We'll get, we'll get stronger too. Over time. I need a no shuffle non shit wand is what I need. We don't have a digging wand yet either. Which is a huge problem. I feel like we're doing well, you know? I feel like this is a pretty good use of a room right now. It's a pretty good wand so far. Just melt through that a little bit. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh god, look at them. Look at them just homing. Now we need is Bouncy. So then Bouncy will make it so they last super long periods of time. That's all we need now. It's insane, frankly. Need attract gold? Nah, attract gold is whatever. I need a broken wand is what I need. Hmm, potion of lava. Very cool. If only I had a digging wand. That's kind of the big thing that I need right now, isn't it? 
Improve wands. Oh my god. Oh god, you improved the shit out of it. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, chat. Wand of insane bullshit go. Oh my god. It's wonderful. You know this, right? Thank you, chat. Thank you for your mercy. You think we're ever gonna get that wand in there? I don't think we can. We can't get that wand. That's upsetting. Wait a minute, what if I do this? I guess it's surrounded by glass, but we can get rid of all of this and then break the glass. You know? Do I have something to break glass? I don't have anything to break glass. Because this won't break glass. Oh, there we go. I broke glass. Now it's that guy's problem. I guess lava doesn't normally break glass. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Okay, hold up. What is this? Fire trail. Holy shit. When we get to the next area, this wand is going to be sick. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit, dude. That is insane, honestly. Alright. Careful. I'm careful. Look how careful I am. I'm so careful, Chen. I'm so careful. Look how careful I am. Oh, your block game children are crying to be let in. I forgot about this. Whitelist. Actually, Jake, is the server good? Let me look. Okay. We don't have the we don't have the the problem. If you could check to make sure that you can break blocks in Murkheim is the big thing. I just don't want siege mode to do the thing. Alright, I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, it's the best. What we need to get is accelerative homing now. Yeah. We need accelerative homing. Oh wait, I'm standing in- I'm standing in infinite mana! Bitrate be damned. Oh, it's beautiful, Chet. Oh, it's be- it's beautiful. Wait, what is this sea of random? Why would you do this? I'm not letting you take my beautiful wand away from me again. A huge body of random liquid is summoned. Ew. Ew. It was Pete. Ew. Meat wand of meatloaf. Ow? This hurt me. That was weird. Alright. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's what hurt me. Shit. Drink the blood! Shit. I need to find a place to drink a bunch of blood, Chet. 
All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to summon a bunch of blood. We're going to start drinking it. We're just going to not stop drinking it. And that's the strat. The strat is... No, I don't want to eat the snow. I want to eat the blood. We're going to drink the... Okay, I'm drinking cold blood, I guess. I'm somehow also drinking the snow. This is fine. It's working. And I'm back up to full health. Blood popsicle. Delicious. Yeah, yummy. Bloodsicle, my favorite. We love a bloodsicle. Lee Kitchen with $5 said 32 oi working rising senior starting to apply for SE1 positions. I've done the one page resume. Would you look at my resume and give me some feedback? Maybe. Um, if you do a one-page resume and a one-page cover letter, you should be styling, honestly. That's one of the biggest problems is people kind of overshare on the resume. And it just ends up not giving them better outcomes in terms of them getting a job. So if you really want me to look it over, I don't have a great way for you to send that to me. And I don't have a huge amount of time, frankly. Like, I just don't. And I don't want you to go into a position where you, you get upset because I didn't read your thing, you know? I think, I think the best thing... You may want to... Oh, shit. One moment. I don't want to die. Not like this! Hold up. Yeah. So I think I think that's one of the biggest things, is I don't want you to get in a position for that. But one page cover letter, one page resume is the big one. And try to keep it concise. Split into separate sections of like, I did, this is my education, this is my, this is my work, this is my side project stuff. And it's really just about getting in the head of a person who would hire you. Why would you hire this person? If you wouldn't hire you, then why are you writing a resume that looks like that, right? You need to find, and be honest with yourself, be like, am I actually going to hire a person that does this for the position that I'm, that this person's trying to apply for? And the answer to that is no, well then, you have a problem. It's time to fix it. Okay, so... I'm going to do some of this. We're going to get all this water in here because we didn't have any left. And then we're going to fill this up with blood. How dare you, chat? I just wanted blood. And you give me Giga Saw Blades everywhere. How dare you? But yeah, I don't want you to run into a position like that, because I, I told somebody else before to contact the mods, and I said, like, go put in a mod ticket for this. And you know what ended up happening? The mods got, like, a hundred tickets. So, that is not sustainable at all, frankly. I can look at one person's, maybe. Not a hundred of them. Like, that's not going to happen. So, yeah. Shoot once, it's fine. No, I don't think I will. I feel like that's a bad idea. Purogen with 1,000 bits said, have you ever played Ark? I love that game. Was wondering if you did. Ark Survival Evolved? You talking about Dinosaur Game? I have not, but I've watched others play it. There, I fired once. You happy? I fired once! That's what you wanted! That's what you wanted, Chet. You wanted that. NatQN underscore with 500 bits said, Yard cheer 500, hello mister. Hello. Software. I found some weird SSH processes in HTOP yesterday, and I found two Chinese guys actively SSH logged into my laptop. Ooh. Turns out it isn't smart to have your five character name for both the username and password with port 22 wide and open. No. Thanks for being here while I nuke my laptop and reinstall Arch, my beloved, and set up my DNS. Three. Why? Why did you do this? This is truly upsetting. Water tunes into mana, by the way. <gasps> oh my living shit. It has begun. Now we have a problem. I want to dig. But I also don't want to be on fire. Idea. Because always above this, there's a little room. And that little room has an hourglass in it. And I want to be there. 
Yeah, the house is on fire? True. I can't believe I have a recharge now. This is the best. I need a digging wand. We have to have a digging wand. That's all I need now. It's all down to the diggy boys. We've got blood. We've got our heal wand. We just need our diggy wand. Give to me the diggy. I'm ready. What the? What is that? Gravity. <laughs> what is that? Dude. What is that? Zero cast delay, 0 0.08 second recharge time? What is that? That is insane. It's a shuffle wand, though. This one's at negative 0.1 cast delay and recharge time of 0.25. And it's not shuffle. I'm gonna leave- I think I'm gonna leave this one behind. I think that- I think the shuffle nature of this one makes it bad. I think they all dig. But that wand is bonkers to just find in the wild. Alright. Let's do it. Oh. Luminous drill? Okay. So, let's get rid of that. And now we'll put on a luminous drill. Get rid of all of our shotgun, bro. Shotgun cool. Personal gravity field. Thank you for that, chat. That is... That's great. It's, it's everything that we wanted. Yeah, but more. Yeah. Circle of water, circle of oil. Necromancy! Okay, hold up. Perfect. Just runs out of mana instantly. Now we just need a mana recharge. I may pick up this necromancy. May pick it up. Faster wands. <sighs> but it's only ones that I currently wear. What's up? What's wrong? All clear block game is fine. Okay. Yeah. That's good. What is this? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, they already patched it. Funny. Funny. One moment. <laughs> so you said they patched it. How did they patch it? Let's go look. No, they didn't patch it. It's still there. On account is still there. They're replacing it with your ID, Scrumpy? Really? So now you're getting banned on all these discords. 
I'm going to delete my post because people won't read. Deleted the post. Yep. Really clever, honestly. I said the attackers from SpyPet caught onto my previous post and filled all of the on-account variables with the ID of a person named Scrumpy. Clever response. I deleted my original post to prevent them from getting mass banned on all discords everywhere. Make sure you didn't ban them. There you go. Yeah. Funny shit. Funny shit. Really smart response. Really smart response. Love that. <laughs> That is a very, very intelligent response to that attack. Incredibly so. Incredibly intelligent response. Yeah. On the side of the mouse, incredibly smart response. So basically what happened, you know how we put out the spy pet uh, detection system? So we put, it, we put out the spy pet de detection thing, right? To show people how to do it. I'm actually going to unpin those now. What they did, the attacker saw that I put that out publicly. And instead of fixing the vulnerability, you know what they did? They replaced the on account ID with this person in chat named Scrumpy. So they were getting mass banned across all of the discords. This person, they targeted them to make sure that they would get banned instead of their own bot accounts. Brilliant, honestly. Really brilliant. Now here's the here's the follow up to that. It gets funnier. We already pulled all of the IDs for all of their bot accounts. We have the full list. It doesn't matter. It's too late. It's too late. You've already lost. <laughs> Go make new accounts, nerds. Oh, shit's hilarious. Oh, and by the way, the personally identifiable information for the attackers that were doing this in the first place has also already been acquired. Uh, there was a really interesting set of vulnerabilities that went into that. I wait for those people to do the write-ups, and it's already been passed on to the people that need to have that in order to follow up on making this go away. So, also deeply funny. Yeah, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. You get problems. That's how that works. So, no. Very funny. Funny move, though. Clever. Clever move. Proud of that. I love seeing that kind of shit in the cat and mouse game. It's good. Yeah, everybody's like rip scrumpy. Oh god, there's so many minutes in bio already. Hiding reply, block. Hiding reply, block. There we go. So much nudes in bio. Super smart, dude. Really, really smart. Honestly, a really, really smart move. Really, really smart move. God damn. Doot, 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 doot. I love that shit, dude. I honestly love that shit. Gets recognized by Fave Streamer. Wait, what? 
Gets recognized by fave streamer. It's because streamer accidentally made me get banned in tons of servers, Lamel. Why did they target you? Why specifically you? It's such a weird one, right? Did they choose did you choose somebody at random? That's funny shit. Yeah, why you? I think it's hilarious. You'll definitely get unbanned, though, from people. You get owned a little bit. I knew this person before they made this site. I made a helper site to get their bots banned. Oh, okay, that's why. So they immediately found out who you were and then went after you. Yeah, no, I think that's, I think that's honestly crazy, though. It's wild to see that kind of play out in real time. That means that the attacker is... Not just a dipshit, right? Like, usually you see this kind of stuff. Oh, man, thank you for those gifted subs. Usually you see the attacker, and the attacker's kind of a dipshit, right? They're like, oh, I'm doing DDoS or whatever. These guys are actually smart. They're clever. Clever is more fun, right? That's that's what I like. It's, it's way more fun. Clever is way more fun for me. Because, like, I don't know, man. I've been in offensive security a long time, and it's no fun when the attacker is boring. It's more fun when the attacker is clever. There's, like... If you can have a clever response and a clever tit for tat, it's cool. It's not even a nasty one. But like to be real with you, they they leak too much data already. There's there's nothing they can really do to win at this point. So it's like it's more just like back and forth having some having some, you know, pot shots at each other. You're talking like an anime character, You're talking about how they want a good fight. Yeah, that's exactly how it feels. You have to understand, dude, like I'm an offensive security specialist. I worked for the Department of Energy before this. I hacked power plants for the federal government. I got three black badges from DEF CON. Like I, this is what I do, man. I've been over 2 million players in my time when I worked at Blizzard. I love this shit. I love this shit. And I don't get to do that as an indie dev, frankly. I just don't. We never get to do this kind of stuff. So I get to do this on these things. And they're just, it's vitamins, dude. And knowing full well. Like, it's easy to dox me. It's easy to, easy to go after me, that kind of shit, because I'm a streamer. Like, this is, it's kind of whatever at that point. So, like, this just ends up being fun for me, you know? Some redeem to Steam Key? That goes to the mods. Mods handle it. They have a whole list of Steam Keys for me. Making a MMO, you'll get more people banned? I mean, technically, yes. I already have that. It's our block game server. Yeah. But no, I love this shit, dude. I love the hell out of it. I honestly love it, because it's fun. It's fun and, and, I don't know, dude. It's vitamins. Bonus. Oh, you're releasing that? Yeah, so here's the here's the entire Spy Pit accounts here. Um, I'm going to go release that onto there because, yeah, I've, I've seen this before. I'm going to hit this. Yeah, I'm going to put this on there. I'm going to say we already... Yeah. All of the bot accounts are already collected here. Enjoy! Because this is a GitHub list of them. <laughs> it's too late. It is too late. It is too late. All of the data has already been collected. It is too late. How many? It's quite a lot, actually. We had we had dates for them, and you could see them all go through before. It's um, yeah. It's just it's they're basically just doing this to sell the data for money, right? And it, it's either to advertisers or whoever else. It's sort of whatever, right? But this just makes me laugh. It's always just going to make me laugh. Why well, can't they make new accounts? They can, but basically what we've done is we've added a shitload of friction. We've shown that they exist. We've shown the whole world that they're there. We banned a whole bunch of these bots from these different accounts. It's it's causing problems for them. Enough problems that they decided to make a clever move back and get somebody named Scrumpy banned, which was quite funny. I do think that's hilarious. Oh, it's really funny. Everyone's like, Scrumpy. I'm banned in Scrumpy. It's funny shit. This person says, Discord, you need to fix this shit now. No, there's nothing to fix. All this is done on automated scrapers on public posts. So, like, it's, it's public data, right? It's just gross. It's just gross behavior. Ooh. Toxic community it is. 100%. Toxic community is, like, a really annoying, insidious thing in this game. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. 
That shit's fun, dude. You have no idea how fun that shit is. That shit is so much fun for me. So much fun for me. And it's it's funny too, because like people have messaged me and they're like, I doxed you, and I was like, cool, I knew where I lived first. Right? Like it doesn't it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. I own a company. I own a corporation. I own a house. It's not hard to find it, right? So, like, with that in mind, there's... Buh. Buh. Literally irrelevant at that point. I already know my IP. What now? Yeah, just, if somebody... If, dude, if somebody gets your IP, just reprovision the IP. Like, literally just disconnect your modem for five minutes, start over again. Who cares? It doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. Temporary advantage. I think the really big thing with that kind of stuff is... It's scary if you are scared of it, and there's no reason for it. Somebody doxed me to send a telegram gnome guy to my house. Like, yeah, they took my DNS. Yeah, your DNS has been stolen. You know, you also don't stream under an alias. I don't. I stream under my actual name. I, I do it all publicly. I have an account that's like out there. It's all this kind of shit. But I think the biggest thing is I keep in touch with my local police force in case I get swatted so they know who I am. I make sure that I'm set up in, a, in an area that is safe so everybody can see what my hands are. They know exactly where I am at all times. So they know exactly who I am, where I am at all times. All my stuff in my bank is set up so that no transfers can go through unless I'm physically there in the building. And the reason why I do that is because somebody could just make AI of my voice. I put a bunch of fail safes in for this stuff. Always cast? It's Acid Trail. Oh my shit. Oh god. I hate you. I hate you so much. You could have done anything else. You could have done anything else, man. Worst goblins. Worst goblins. Worst goblins. I'm putting you in the mod pit. That's where you're going. You're going to live in the mod pit for the rest of the day. Outrageous behavior. Plus God with $9.99 said you're one of my favorite people to watch. Dude, thank you for the content. You're welcome. I'm so excited for this shit, dude. God, I love this shit. Do 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 do. Hey, by the way. By the way, do you want to know something funny? Do you want to know something really funny? I've got something for you. Check this out. I'm going to show you something. Oh, look. We have a tool. Some clever people have built a tool to find the bots that are in those servers now. Even though they changed that API endpoint. The cat and mouse game goes forward. I know it says server not found. You have to read. Do you see how it says ID? Replace it. Yes. That's how that works. I'm going to release this right now. This is funny shit, dude. God, this is so good. I love this. Okay. Give me a moment to do this. How does it work? I'll show you. Give me a minute. Uh, where is Wayback Machine? I need to pull my own post from Wayback Machine so that I can get my old steps because I had to delete it. Please tell me you scraped. You bitch! Didn't scrape. That's fine. So they're in some metadata. Okay. Get rid of that. Pull this up.
The cat and mouse game is actually going. It's the best. Oh god, I love this so much, dude. It's my favorite. Holding it up. Copying the server ID. Hey, it is. It's actually still pulling the data. This is the post going out. Want to kill the spy pet bot on your favorite Discord server? They let their account IDs leak from their official API. Then they changed that to trick everyone into banning Scrumpy. Now we have a tool to get the bot IDs anyway. I give the steps to do this. The tools will continue until morale improves. Yes. It's time. It's time to release the next tool. Yet again. Elmo Fire. It is time. Into the internet. Into the internet. Cat's home. There we go. God, I love this shit. Oh. oh yeah, you're already blasting them all out? Good, Jake. If a bombs are saying server not found, the bots on that server? There's no bots on the server, correct. Let it burn. Let it burn, Chad. There is nothing funnier to me than letting it burn. There we go. I'm gonna pin this to the channel. Oh, actually, mods, can you can you pin that, please? It's got the bug where I can't pin it. The Twitch problem. Ooh, it feels good. You know, you know why it feels good, honestly? Because not only is it deeply hilarious, but it's doing good at the same time. What do you mean check your server? What's wrong with the server? What? The mods will handle it. I don't have to check my server. What are you talking about? What? What do you want? What? I'm like you. It's going to get... No, I'm going to be real with you guys. There's 15,000 of you. You're going to rate limit the server. It's going to die. Calm yourselves.
Yeah, it's rate limiting. It's normal. <sighs> it's good. It's a good day. I'm gonna go delete all the nudes in bio on this, because it's gonna have a bunch. I love this shit, dude. Someone wrote goblins in bio? Oh, there is actually a link in bio. Hi, the reply block it. There we go. Did he get domed? No. God, I feel good about this. That shit is so much fun for me, dude. I could do that shit all day, and I will. Very funny. Let's see what this is. One sec. Boop. Doop. Doop. What, you have an OnlyFans? Click it. Click it, you won't. You feeling lucky? You gonna click it? Ah, oh, come on. It's clearly really what it says it is. I mean, it's right there in my link tree. How, how could it be anything else? How could it be anything other than what it says it is on the internet? No one would lie on the internet, would they? They wouldn't do that, would they, Chad? Would they? They'd never lie, would they? You get what you deserve. That's right. You get that. You get what you deserve. Enjoy that. Lying is illegal. True. 1,500 people click that a week, by the way. Just about. It's between 1,000 and 2,000 people every week. Click that link. It is the funniest shit on the planet to me. Rickrolling people, unironically, in 2024. Especially when they're thirsting for feet pics. Which makes it even funnier to me. Improve wands! Well, that... I guess... I guess it improved it. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Thanks, chat. That's wonderful. Thank you, the rating party, too. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I opened a treasure chest and there was a fire inside, and I'm on fire now. Cool. You know, if you're on fire already, it doesn't matter. Fires don't make you immune to fire. Firestone best. Try talking to the fire. Instead, I'm just going to run through it and be immune. Have you seen the user survey that they put in user settings that I and I file under Helldivers? No, I have not seen that. Let me go look at this. I'm going to go open up the other machine for that. Um, Steam. Where is it? Steam apps. Common. Hell divers. Where's me hell divers? Where is it? It's oh, it's an app data for that machine? Okay. App data local hell divers. Is it local? No, it's not even local. Where's it in an arrow? What is the folder for it? It's app data what? Yeah, good job, Scrumpy. Kick some ass. I am super happy to amplify this signal for you. You guys are kicking awesome ass. I don't know if it's going to be roaming. Oh, it's roaming. Arrowhead. Helldivers 2. You said user settings config file? Do 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 do.
Where is this in? You said user survey? I found a user settings, but not a user survey. Under saves? Okay, let me look. No, there's just user settings. And user settings old. Yeah, it's just user settings and user settings old under the saves. It's kind of weird. There's no folder called user settings. I don't have that one. Arrowhead held ever to user settings.conf. Yeah, user settings.config. I'm not seeing anything weird in here. Unless it's like in a weird spot. I just get like audio device and... Search for survey underscore URL. See, this is like critical information that I would expect to have. It's a... It's a YouTube video for survey URL. What is this? It's actually a Rickroll. That's amazing, dude. That's so good. It's actually Rickroll. No shit. That's so goddamn funny. Look at this. They put it right under survey URL and user settings config in here under Arrowhead. That's so funny, dude. That's so goddamn funny. Good job. Good job. That's hilarious shit. Couldn't be an ohm? Yes, I don't know. Wrong button. Well. Taru with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, with your well. background in social engineering and love for the goofy Fallout wasteland, what social experiment would you implement into a vault of your own design? Ooh. I would feed all of them only beans. But they'd be genetically modified beans. So those beans would give you all the nutrition that you require. But they still made you fart. I'd make fart vault. I would make fart vault. Yeah. Only beans, dude. I want to see what happens to society when it's fart vault. I want to see. I would also make it so that the methane scrubbers in Fart Vault would work, but they would not filter the smell. Yeah. That's how that would work. So they wouldn't die of the gas. We don't want them to die, chat. That'd be horrible. Why would we make why would we let them die? Fart Vault. I'd create Fart Vault. Yeah, auto oh, stinky vault. True. Sartre and Penguin with 500 bits said, Have you heard of the game Raw Metal? It launched on Steam last month. It's a stealth rogue light that transitions into a brawler for encounters. What is this? Hmm. Do 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 do. Let me look at this. We got rid of 161 bots from the server. I will later, Taffy. That's quite funny, though. But yeah, no, because I already closed everything. We got rid of 161 of the bots from our own parent server, so everything is gone. Dunzo. We got ads now. We're going to do this. Yep. Rax 0 l with 500 bits said, Hi, Thor. Hope you're oh. having an amazing day. I got a Hell Divers question that may be anti-democracy, but I still got to ask. Sure, what's up? Do you know what the taxes look like on Super Earth? What does healthcare look like? How many organs do I have to give up to pay this month's rent? Oh, whatever Super Earth needs is the answer to that, citizen. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. You'll, you'll find out via mail when they tell you what to vote on. Your Prime sub isn't working? It should be functioning. There may be a bug with Twitch. Try to reload if your Prime isn't working. Yeah. <laughs> Pop-Tart VT with 500 bits said the arrow knows where it is at all times. <laughs> it knows this because it knows where it isn't. By subtracting where it is from where it isn't, or where it isn't from where it is. Whichever is greater, it obtains a difference, or deviation. The arrow guidance subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands to drive the arrow from a position where it is to a position where it isn't, and arriving at a position where it wasn't, it now is. Have you watched this video about SpyPet? Nope, I have not.
Oh, that was the Discool thing? Yeah. We're fighting the good fight right now, it's quite Wax funny. Raven with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, not trying to be weird, but you mentioned the washer you were maybe buying for the ferret stuff. I wanted to yes. recommend possibly checking if you can remove the inner bucket. Outside of the inner agitator tub can cake with grease, excess soap in some regular washers, especially if animals are involved. It's super helpful to clean it, rarely, to avoid being stinky, in my experience. May not be applicable for industrial ones, but worth saying. Also, don't forget to check for radon UWU. We already have radon detector stuff, so that's not really a problem. And um, outside of that, I don't know if removing that agitator is a good idea. I'm not sure. I'll look into that, though. Yeah, I'll look into it. Also, people are posting videos saying that they're deeply upset that SpyPet was not spying on them because it means that they're not valuable enough, which I think is funny. Yeah, radon detectors. So here in Washington State, we have radon. Radon is a radioactive gas. It decays into lead very quickly, usually in a couple of days. We actually have a radon pump in this house, and in the other house, I have to put in some radon detectors to find out what it is. Yeah. Yep. Ugh. Love this shit, dude. Wait, why? Because you don't want to breathe in a bunch of radioactive gas? So, fun fact about radon is that it causes lung cancer in rates, I think, comparable or exceeding that of cigarettes. At last survey for that. It's a pretty big deal. Yeah, there's no benefit of using radon. Radon is a naturally produced gas that is caused by the off-gassing of uranium in the soil in very small amounts. It's everywhere. It's everywhere here. We have a shitload of it. The United States has a shitload of radiation. Yeah, it's just bad. Yep. Why well, you have radon in your house? Everyone does. Here, let me give you a map. Radon map, United States. You can actually do a map for your own area as well. This is like a pretty normal thing. Just so you can see how much radon is in the areas. And the Midwest is dramatically worse than ours. But this is a radon map showing you how bad it is in different areas. I am around here. So, I'm in the yellow zone, thankfully, which is not bad, but my specific area is actually more of an orange zone, which is why I had to put in a thing. Yeah, this is not good. The United States has a serious problem with this. Yeah. Really big problem with it. And it's, it's just kind of how it is. We just put up radon pumps and shit. And what they do is they put a pump underneath the foundation of your house, and then out of your house, and it just pumps all the gas from under your house out. That's it. Why is this a thing? It's naturally occurring. This is... You do breathe radioactive farts all day. That's true. They turn into lead inside of your lungs. That's great. Link that, please? Sure. Here. Kind of whatever. You can just look this up for any area you want to, man. Look it up. Look up radon map United States or radon map whatever country you're in. You'll find it for yourself. This, this is something you have to know when you buy a house. This is... You learn this. Yeah. P proper basement ventilation is usually sufficient. Yes. I have a radon mitigation system, and we do proper ventilation down here. Easy. Easy peasy. Horrifying, but easy. Mmm. Mmm, we love a wand. We love a terrifying wand. Ah, shit! I blew up a thing. I exploderated, gent. I love this wand already. Ah, Jesus. I wish I could drink blood to heal again, Chet. <clears throat> you took that from me. I'm sad about it. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Berserkium. Yeah. I love it.
What happens if you make Berserkium hot? Anything? Looks like nothing. I've never actually tried to do that. Also, this this overlay makes me want to vomit, which is great. Need to make it hot, I think. <clears throat> Nice. Falcon Punch with $5 said I'm going back to school for software engineering, specifically looking into IA. Is this a waste? No, I don't think that's a waste. I do not think that's a waste at all. Going back to college to learn anything is not a waste. And if you want to learn that subject, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever, legitimately. A lot of people will try and say like, oh, this is a waste or that's a waste or that kind of stuff. Investing in yourself is never a waste. Learning things is always important. Always. Yeah, education is not a waste. How does the kick the spine site work? Same way that the old thing worked. Gives you the idea just like the old thing did. Funny. Yeah, always invest in yourself. Never feel bad about that. Ever. Oh, that's a shitload of gold. It's like 50 gold. I don't have very much gold. I don't have a lot of cash, but... I need to go to the next level because I'm running out of HP. And this whole environment is filled with Berserkia. That dude's super dead. Did you clip me talking about the fart Echo vault? Echo the developer with 500 bits said I am making a game engine in Java. Do you think mm. it x worth it to switch to C++ as I would need to learn a new programming language? Depends. It could help in the long term, I'm just not sure. It, it really, really depends, right? So if you're making something in Java like that, is there a reason that you're making it in Java specifically? Are you doing it just because you think it's cool? Are you doing it because it's more performant? Are you doing it because you want to make games in there that work with other people so they can make their own stuff for Java, right? Like, for instance, Minecraft works best in Java. It's great. And other people can build bonding frameworks for it in Java, which is a highly accessible language. Java is gross and horrifying, but it's fine. It doesn't actually matter. Because it's really useful in that context. Wand. Ooh. Why? Why, chat? Why do you hate me, chat? We could have had everything. We could have had it all. Literal goblins, everyone. Nope. Just gonna, just gonna go in here. You know, we're just gonna. Rub our face on this burning wood real fast. Take a dip in this boiling oil, you know? Gotta let me in. Let me in! Let me in! I wish to burn it. I wish to burn it. Yeah, they're voting on the Twitch integration in game. If you look in the bottom left corner, there'll be a vote there, and chat is trying to vote on basically what's the funnest way to kill me in the game. It's literally what they're doing. It's what they like to do. I've had a lot of really good runs, and they just keep killing me. Fantastic. 257 gold is not enough gold. 277 gold is getting a little bit farther. Oh, that's a lot of... Alright. You see him just nope out. Should have noped. Should have noped, dude. Alright, I think we're good now. Oh, that dude's got a wand. 
I don't know what that wand does, but it could do anything. It could be a lightning wand. It could be anything. Alright, we got him. What is it? <laughs> it's a fart wand. My man's had a fart wand. It's a really impressive fart wand, honestly. Oh. Yeah, get out of here. I didn't want you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, they kick some kick the spy service keeps going down. It goes down because there are just so many people. Ooh. There's just so many people, that's why. Trying to hit it at the same time. Although I did find it deeply hilarious. Alright. What are our powers going to be? Ugh. Oh? Toxic immunity. And now I can just shoot this. We can just use that at any time. Alternatively. Alternatively. Castellet. What if we do this? This one is better. Mm, let me see. I love that about that one. Insane, to be clear. Keeping that one in there. Long distance cast is awesome as shit. Yeah, it's too slow. This one is amazing, but not amazing enough. Be gone. I think we just keep using this. I think I unironically just keep using that. And this one stays like this, like... Yeah. I think it's the way to do it, man. What if I do... this? <laughs> That's amazing. I love this freaking game, dude. I love this game. Like, why? 
Why is it so insane? It's honestly just bonkers. The game is just absurd, man. Absolutely the best. Sea of Alcohol. Delayed Spellcast. Oh? Dear God. Dear God! Dear God the gold! You random epic mad lads. Giving me the gold, finally. No! A single piece of gold got away. Very sad. Alright, we're just gonna do this one for now. I think that's fine. Yeah, this will be fine. And we'll do... And just really blast this out, because I'm immune to toxic damage now. Thank you, chat. Thank you for your... Finally. Nice maneuver of not murdering me. I'm going to use this to dig. I love to dig. I love to dig. Click his guard is down, release the death. How dare you? Alright, there we go. Oof. See, now look at this. Don't have to care. I wonder if I eat it, if it'll be a problem. Still poisons me. <laughs> uh, well, that's bad. Immune to fire and... Bullshit. Yeah, it's good. It's good. This will actually eat wood like nothing else, too. What happens when you make slime hot? Anything? Did that just... Did that just eat my fire rock? Slimer's immune to fire? I didn't know it would eat the fire rock. That's new. I love that. Alright. I've learned something. My new Noita run has happened. I did not know that slime would eat my fire rock. That is absurd. Well, I'm not immune to fire anymore, unfortunately. It's very funny. It's very, very funny. One sec. I'm gonna send this over to the mods. Oi, mods. Oi, mods, that one's mine. You don't get it. Yeah, mods are too slow. I don't think I've ever seen it go out like at an angle like that. That's really weird. Very odd looking. Oh. What is this? Is this new? I don't think I've ever seen Hook Bolt before. New spell? Grabbing it. Yeah, I've never seen that spell before. Might pick this up. Yeah, we need some speed. We're running out of gold now, but it's fine. Dig. Dig for more. Worm Raid. Shit. I didn't realize there was a bomb next to me. Eat it. Drinking your blood. Drinking your blood so I can see forever. 
It's a power move. It's a power move and you are afraid of me. Still drinking your blood. Still increasing my powerful vision. Warm regards, nerd. I'm literally drinking the blood of my enemies right now. Nice. Alright, we're good. We're good. I drank all the blood. I kinda need another potion. Holy shit! Okay, that's a spooky one. That's... Cool mimic, I guess. Very neat. There's a whole river of blood now. It's a lot of blood. There's just a lot of blood here. A lot of blood, a lot of worms, you know? I mean, I'm as much of a fan of worms as the other guy, you know, like, as the next guy, but this is... This is kind of a lot. I guess this one never runs out of mana. Not really, anyway. What is that? I don't think I've ever seen that either. It's like a ghost? I don't know what the hell that was, but all right. Man, the guns are going to be pissed. It's not even going to be my fault, though. Holy shit. Bouncy spells? Like, even more bouncy? Okay. My god, dude. My god, there's so many of them. I feel like Stavari's probably already very angry. You know what I mean? He's probably super mad. But I'm having an epic worm battle right now, so... That was a lot more horrifying than I anticipated. Almost noited myself there. <laughs> Sir, come back. Come back. You have a delicious worm heart inside of you and I need it. Sick. Alright. That's one worm heart. Now we're. Jesus Christ. Where's the other one? I guess there was lava inside of that? From the lantern fly. Where is the other one? We need more worm. 
Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. You know. Kind of couldn't go any other way, frankly. Parts are guaranteed. Yeah, but there's another worm nearby. So I feel like I should at least give the good old college try and look for it. I think he's fighting the worm. Oh, shit. There's two worms. Inside you, there are two worms. Go to the doctor. Number one. Okay, that is a cool spell. I like that. Number two. Faster. Faster. Faster! Okay, too fast. I don't really have a choice here. Um. Shit. I got stuck. Oh my god, I got juggled. This sucks. Stavar, you big bitch! I just want to go past! Shit. No, I'm not getting the loot chest. I want to move. Oh my god, the game. Stuck on every- Stuck on every goddamn pixel in my possible way. I swear to god, dude. I literally got stuck on everything. I hate Stavari early game. I hate Stavari early game, but at least I got two progress. I got two new things. Yeah, your guys' chest literally knocked into me and stopped me from progressing. <laughs> you summoned a chest right on top of me, it was great. I was like, all right. Fantastic. Evil oh, underscore wait, before with 500 bits said, Thor, have you ever thought of making a voiced autobiography book? You really have the voice for it. Maybe. Make my memoirs voiced. And I'll talk like this the whole time. Speak. Talk like... Oh. Like I'm actually running out of breath the entire time. I'm just going to do that. Chat just wants to help. Mm, I don't think chat does. Do you know how I know chat doesn't want to help? Because chat is currently summoning Savari. And I just started this run. Chat is full of hate. Hate and vitriol. That's what chat is full of. As you can see. Hate. Chat is full of hate. Full of hate. I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Chet. Full of hate? Can't fool me. Wait, where is Stavari? Where the hell is he? Where did you summon him? Can't you just run away? No, he chases you down to eat your lunch. Stavari just kills you, dude. Unless you have a good wand to kill him. But I didn't at either of the locations where we had to deal with him. Oh, hi. It's Bezos. The Uber Wise with 500 bits said, Hey, Thor, love your content. I work in InfoSec, but my true passion is video games. I want Ooh. to build my dream game, yes yes, I know don't start with that one first, but I don't have any smaller game ideas. It seems like a huge mountain, and I'm wondering if there is a good way to slice it into manageable goals, and what are the most important elements for me to bring to the table to make this achievable. Thank you. So let's see. Work in InfoSec, my true passion is in video games. I want to build my dream game. I'm going to start with this one first, but I don't have any smaller game ideas. It seems like a huge mountain. Well, to be real with you, don't start with your dream game first. I know I know, a lot of people really want to make a big game, you know, big, massive game first. You need to make something tiny. Don't fight the final boss at level one. Go make something small. Do that. Make something small. Yeah. Small things like that are a super easy target. Make something small. So, wondering if it's a good idea to slice it into manageable goals, and what are the most important elements for me to bring to the table to make this achievable? Instead of making your big game first, make a small game that contains the inf like the kind of mechanics that you want to see in your big game. Make a very tiny thing that will allow you to learn enough to make that big game more manageable in the future. That's a great way to do it, right? It's a really fantastic, easy way to do it. Don't fight Stavari right after you do that. Yeah, I gotta get some wands first. I do. 
Yeah, later is much easier, but chat keeps summoning him, which is the worst. Yeah. Do I like olives? I love olives. 100%. Let's see. I'm going to say this once, I'm going to say this only once. If you guys are trying to dox the people who created spy.pet in our Discord, I will ban you. It's your only warning. That is not what that shit is for. We already have the information that we need to pass along to the parties that need it. That is not a big deal. You need to not be doing that. You are not clever by doing this. You are not intelligent by doing this. You're opening yourself and the rest of the community up to risk, which is why I ban you for that. And the Mons will ban you for that. Do not do that shit. No. No. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Do not do that. Yep. Shitty thing to do. Don't do it. Yep. Only time that needs to be done is for law enforcement purposes. Not for... Trade with your friends on the internet. Not for bonus points on a Discord. Law enforcement purposes when there's a crime. That's all. No, it's just people, it's it's younger people being dumbasses. That's what it is. And uh, we've already told people not be idiots. The mods are already timing people out. They're already ending that shit. What happened? Oh, just... Oh, I want that. Oh, man. Hold up. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Causing memes on the internet. That's what's going on. Basically, I was trying to stop people from doing witch hunts on our Discord. Because that's what that leads into. Especially if you get bad information. You don't have get good data. Or if you don't know what you're doing. It causes a huge amount of problems for everybody involved. Including yourself. So don't do that. Not smart. Not clever. I just pulled in what happened. Oh my god, I'm not doing this. It's going to be a, it's gonna be an infinite train. Of wait, what happened? Wait, what happened? No. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'm not talking about it anymore. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, dude. We're not doing that. What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing ever happened. Nothing in the history of time has ever occurred. That's what happened. Nothing. Teleportanium potion. Don't like an en enemy? Make him go away. I don't think that worked out for that dude. It's kind of horrifying, though. I actually love this spell, but it doesn't go very far. There's a greater version of this spell, which is sick. Before the gold gets away. Do 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 do. Do 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 Dig 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 I like how there's two options. One of them is potentially deadly. The other one might actually make the map more helpful, and chat chooses the potentially deadly one. Sea of lava versus remove liquids. Thanks, chat. You are definitely in my best interest today. You are fantastic. Always looking out for me. I'm going to use it to kill that acid guy. It worked. Oh god, but it lit me on fire. Thanks, chat.
Always looking out for me. Good old Chet. Chet helped. Uh, uh, Crocronk with 500 bits said hi Thor, college student here. Thanks to you I began to learn a bit IT security and I just got my confirmation for the job. Much love from Germany. Thank you very much. That's awesome as shit, dude. I'm actually, that's really exciting. You got confirmation for the job? Hell yes. Hell yes. Another employed goblin. Victory is ours. What happened? I'm never telling you. Another employed goblin. Very good. Oh my, oh my shit. Ow. It's too much gold. It's too much gold for me to say no to it. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, there we go. Let me in. Okay, we have to aim this perfectly. Perfect. What is this? Oh, bomb wand. Perfect. I had just run out of bombs and digging potential, and now I can dig again. I still have the worst possible wands, though. My wands are very bad. Jesus. What the... What the hell is going... What is this shit? Alright. 700 gold in the first map is pretty good, to be honest. I think it's pretty alright. Hmm. Aha! Firestone. We love Firestone. Wait, was that a wand down there? Is that a wand? No, it's not a wand. Alright. That dude has more blood in his body than he has body. Insane, frankly. Wax? That's kind of weird, right? They're little candles, but they don't light on fire. Yeah, weird. Really weird, actually. Oh, this shit again. Okay. Okay. Not Noida. That's Chad's fault. Noida had nothing to do with that one. We had a shit start on that one anyway. Mr. Jacku with 500 bits said, Hey, so I heard that if I purchase the Heartbound OST, I can also use it on streams. Is that true? Yes. And if yes, how should I credit the OST in my stream? If anybody asks you about the music, just tell where it came from. That's fine. It actually says directly on the OST. If you go to buy the OST for Heartbound. Let me go pull this up. Yep. There you go. Go to the OST. It says directly on it. As long as you're not directly re-uploading the music with no other content, you are free to use the songs in this OST in any videos or streams, whether you're monetized or not. And we have 100 songs in this. So, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's why chat was trying to kill me. Because you guys have been channel point scamping on it. That's what you've been doing. I see. I see. I see. Gambling with my actual life. Rude, really. 
I'd be so upset if it wasn't so predictable, chat. That's right. What is that? What is- th oh, Jesus. Hold up. Did this start me with polymorphine potion? Son of a bitch. I have to wait for the fire to run out. Thank you. Wait for this. Gotta wait for this. Screw it. Alright, so this wand. Sparkly bounce. Wow, that is a long cooldown. That cooldown sucks. But it's kind of amazing. Alright. Alright. I like this more. Magic Arrow is actually pretty awesome as a spell. I've always really liked this. The crit chance on it is pretty huge, because it's 5% bonus chance to crit. And if you can get it turned into a machine gun, it, it is disgusting. We're just going to wait, because we got a bunch of gold. Just going to wait. Just going to wait. There we go. We're good. There we go. Two hundred thirty-two gold. This place is fire central this time, man. A vote to save Thor. Is a vote for everyone, chat. That's right. One moment. Alright. Everything is on fire in this place. Just everything burning constantly. This is ridiculous, frankly. H Grues 10 with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500 Hey Thor. Is Hello. it normal to dislike praise for accomplishments because it's what I was supposed to do to begin with? As an example, I don't like getting thanked for cleaning the garage because it's just part of my job that I'm already being paid to do. People can still thank you for that. It like I thank the person at the fast food restaurant, right? If if they give me food, I'll say thank you. That's a thing fine like fine thing for that. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? So like people are just doing that because it's a polite thing to do and it means that they respect you and they respect the job that you've done. That's what that is. You can have a pet peeve for it, but to be real with you, they're not meaning harm for that. They're doing it because they're respecting you for the job that you do, no matter how menial or expected you think that job may be. Jesus Christ, dude. That wand did not actually send that anywhere, which was awful. Well, this is not good. Uh, okay. So anyway. I don't know what you voted on. What did you vote? Yeah, so it's it's not a it's not a threat thing. It's not like a negative thing. It's a it's a positive thing. Really positive thing, actually. Man, that is long. Alright. That's not good. Oh? Okay. That's a good one, actually. All of these are good. The projectile one is huge.
Fungal creatures is huge, too. I'm gonna go with Repulsion Field. Yeah, Repulsion Field's just so good. Because it also makes your stuff shoot farther, too. Because it pushes away enemy projectiles, and it also pushes away your projectiles. Which is just good. Now let's put an ugly spell on the end of that. Yeah. Yeah. So now what we do is we shoot an enemy, and then he turns into a lightsaber and kills things. <laughs> okay. Maybe this will work? The other thing we can do is this. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, I think this is the right way to do it. Um, actually, what if we do this? No? So it bounces and it shoots the laser? That's kind of cool, I guess. You know? Spark Bounce and Bubble? Yeah. Spark Bounce and Bubble might be neat. Hmm. Spark Bounce on Spark Bounce. Now we're getting it. Well, let's get some chaos shit in here. You know? Let's get some... Let's get some weird chaos shit. What if we just do this? Alright. Alright. Why did you... What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I gotta use the bathroom real fast. One sec. I have returned. Also, one of you posted wizards in bio. I looked, and unfortunately, you did not have any wizards at Arby's in bio. 
I'm reporting you to the internet police now. How dare you. How dare you. How dare you. I want my wizards in bio, dude. What do we do this? It digs. It shoots... Sadly, you know, that's kind of shit, but it does it. Yeah, yeah. This is such a good menagerie wand that I don't even feel bad using it at this point. Like, it's fun. It's fun and weird. I think I'm just going to do this. We're going to go with this for right now. We don't really have another good wand. Here's the problem. Yeah. Spark bolt with trigger is really good, though. Blender bust it? Get heavy spread? I mean, heavy spread's cool and all, but... We're gonna run out of mana. It's gonna run out of mana. Heavy spread sitting around is kinda nice. I guess we could do that for now. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do that for now. My orbs. Orbs in bio. Nike Cat with 500 bits said if you could go back in time to when you were just starting coding, what do you think your younger self would think? Say about where you are now. He'd say, that's bullshit, you're a liar. And that's kind of how that would work, frankly. Young me did not believe, actually, young me believed for a short time that I was a golden god. Then I realized really quickly, wait, no, I'm a complete and total dumbass, right? I'm the largest of dumbasses. And then after that, then I realized, wait a minute, I'm, I'm pretty okay at this, but I'm also still a dumbass. And that's okay. It's fine to be a dumbass. You're always going to be one. Always. You will always be a dumbass. No matter what. But you can learn enough to get by and do cool shit. That might make you, you know, feel good about what you do. Yeah. You actually didn't accidentally voted yes in the prediction? Then you have to keep me alive. That's right. Imposter syndrome can be rough, though. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. Do you want to know how, how to beat imposter syndrome? Do it in one step. You ready for this? It's easy. There is a simple way to beat imposter syndrome. And I've talked about this on stream before. If you want to beat your imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome is a voice at the back of your head that says, don't. You're not good enough for this. Don't do it. And it's doing this to protect you from failure. So instead of agreeing, you say, well, just like you would say to anyone else, you say, well, I don't have enough data to prove that you're correct. So let's make a bet. I'm going to do the thing. And in three months, I'll come back. And if I've gotten better in that three months, then you were wrong. Bet it. Make a bet with your imposter syndrome. You will always win. As long as you spend that three months actually doing the thing, you look back on yourself three months prior, you'll always be better. And then imposter syndrome loses because you have documented evidence that it was wrong. Is this a rerun? You're a rerun. How dare you. I like how my initial starting potion is polymorphine potion, which is something nobody should ever have. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get rid of that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that. You're pre-recorded. You're pre-recorded, VOD. How dare you. Don't do transmutation. Guys, it's acid. It turns the walls into acid. Don't do that. You've done this. It always turns the walls into acid. Bloody Kieran with the $50 to the moderators. Thank you very much. You bastards. Okay, we survived. We survived. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you for supporting the mods like that. You kick ass. And yeah, all that goes to the mods. You're right as hell. 
I love Repulsion Field. Pole 8 with 500 bits said I've never done this before, so hopefully I did this correctly. You did. I'm creating a game as a hobby, and I'm currently in the design phase. I'm okay. having fun designing, but man sometimes it can be a slog. Yes. How can I keep up the motivation? I don't know what just happened there, but I don't like that. Did you see that shit? They just like fell into it and then exploded. I don't know what that- I don't know. Anyway, yeah, no, sometimes it can be a slog, man. You have to understand that if you're first starting out, you're likely focusing on the victory. It's like focusing on finishing. Finishing is the goal, right? All of it's about finishing, but it's not. It's about solving puzzles along the way and getting better at doing this stuff. So if you change your focus from finishing the project as quickly as possible and everything else is in the way, and you start focusing on the puzzles along the way and getting better at doing this stuff, well, then you get all of your mojo back because you're like, oh shit, this is actually awesome. I can just spend my time doing this and I'm constantly learning every day and that feels great. It's a really, really much better way to feel about this stuff. Legitimately so. I could leave right now. I don't think I want to. We're going to use our aura power to dig. 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 Dig, 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 dig. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's a lot of gold. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. Why would a wizard need gold? How dare you? How dare Pip up you? with 501 bits said hi. I started hi. playing block game now for two weeks and have gotten really into mining and am enjoying it tons. Good. You noted earlier that people are x-raying to find chests. Yes. There is a mod called Zaro's minimap mod that shows entities and it is showing minecarts, not chests, as their own entity on the map. Is this mod disallowed on the server? I'd really rather not. Like, we can't police that stuff, legitimately. It's super annoying to police that stuff. But, I'd rather people not use that stuff. Frankly. Because, like, it's not going to make the experience better for anybody else. And, for you, it's not really going to make the experience better either. Having those types of mods does suck. There's nothing we can really do about it. But it's kind of what it is. Wait, better stats. So anyway, I started. It's a good. It's a good time actually. Thank you for the wand, chat. Oh look, it's Bezos, the old god of ads. Sarsi underscore plays with 500 bits. Said two songs for you: Hall of Fame by the Script and the Scatman Ski Bar Bop Bar Dot Bop <laughs> Scat by Scatman John. Scatman's they have the a similar lyrics to the message that you try to send. Also, all hell divers to Martel. We must take Martel tonight, or we will lose the Menkant line. Uh, I actually, I don't feel compelled in, in Helldivers right now. I don't like the new progression system. I think it feels bad on the global map. I agree, though. I do like Helldivers. I just don't like this new system. Reinhold TV with 500 bits said, Do you think a strict type language like Pascal would have served the industry better because it would have prevented a lot of the exploits we see today? Hmm. No. No. Because there's different types of exploits that go along with that. Legitimately. There's always different types of exploits. Every language has them. It's not any different. You look at my actual, actually not a gnome trailer. Mm, sounds like a gnome. Sounds like it's a gnome. Luke with five dollars <laughs> said, "Can you maybe make a five to ten minute tutorial on GML code someday?" Sure. I mean, that's kind of my whole stream, though. If you want to ask me specific things about GML, I can always answer those questions. I've been using the language for years, so anything you want. The ninja fat man with five hundred bits said, "Get one of those magnetically closing screens that you drape from the ceiling." I could do that. That's not a bad idea. That's a really good idea. 
Yeah, to get rid of meatball. Polshu with 500 bits said hello Twitch Queen and Goblin King Thor, no, first no. of his name. No. With as much as you talk about mental health here, I thought you would be interested in this. I work for a mental health charity called Choose Mental Health. We provide scholarships to kids and their families in need of anything from therapy up to 18 meters in patient treatment. We kicked off our spring event a week ago and haven't had much traction. Would you all the goblins be interested in fundraising? Let me check it out. If this turns out to be a gnome, I'll be impressed. MindQuest Live Spring Celebration. Choose mental health. I'll look at this. Yeah, I'll look at this. I want to look into the into the charity first. I'm pretty cagey about which charities we choose because I need to look into each one of them. Also, the AT&M was clearly 18 million, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's 18 million for sure. Yeah. So like to be real with you, it's um I I'd like to I'd like to look into it first. I want to see all the things that you guys are doing, all the ones that I've chosen so far in terms of charities or that. And we do have a regular kind of charity thing that runs in the stream. There's the whole thing. Whole thing. There we go. It's very funny. It's very funny. One moment. There we go. Also, thank you for the twenty dollars to the moderators. God damn, dude. That is ridiculously nice of you. Thank you very, very much. Seriously. Thank you very, very much. This one now runs out of mana instantly, but also kills everything on the screen instantly. It's doing really well, I think. Oh god. I'm not doing well though, because I'm on fire. I need to be immune to fire. Immune to fire is probably like the best thing you can be in this game. I wish. I wish I could crouch, you know? If only I had knees, chat. And then I could fill my potion bottle with water. Unfortunately. Ooh. Ooh. Slowly digging through this. Oh god, I'm like stuck. Alright, so this is actually bad now. There's a whole bunch of those little gross goblin creatures. I don't like them. Kill them, chat. Kill the small goblin creatures. I'm sure you'll do that for me, won't you? Oh, you filled chat with spiders. Unfortunate. Potato folk? I guess they're kind of potato-like. I think they're very small goblins. Yeah. Yeah, little gross goblin creatures. Definitely goblins. Chat is full of spiders now. It's true. It's unfortunate, really. Blood mist. Okay. Shit. Yoink. Nice. Alright, so the air is super humid in here.
This is good at digging. Kind of. Doesn't dig through that. Okay, this digs here. There we go. I wish these had homing. And I wish this had more mana regen. You are absolute goblins. I'm looking at you. I can see it. I can see it. You're just turning the stream off for one minute. That's what you're doing. It's all you're doing, chat. That's all you're doing. We help? No, you don't. I'm gonna put blood mist there. Oh, boy. <laughs> of course it turns into that. Okay, see? That's what would have happened to me. Instead, it happened to them. Yeah. I'm scamming you. You're getting scammed. You deserve it. Lethal Lou 182 with 500 bits said, Hey dude, I've got this game I really want to make but I'm procrastinating when trying to learn in-game dev. Specifically C++, what should I do? So why are you specifically trying to learn C++, right? If you're trying to learn game dev, are you trying to learn to make video games or are you trying to learn to use C++? C++ is a tool, like a hammer or a saw. You don't generally say, I want to learn hammer. You generally say, I want to build something. And the best way to build that thing is going to be a hammer or a saw, right? So choose the project you want first, choose the kind of game you want to make, then choose the engine, then choose the language for that engine. And to be real with you, if you choose C++ first, you're likely going to run into these types of problems. You don't know where to start, you don't know where to go, don't know what kind of games you can make or what engine you can use. So, choose the game first. Always choose the game first. Holy shit! Where are you? Where are you? Oh, cat wizard. I'm onto you. I'm onto your bullshit. Where are you, cat wizard? Holy shit. You see that? The long wand. The long laser. The long lightsaber. Got him. Got him. It's got to keep getting him with a long lightsaber, dude. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, you don't. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd that little cat wizard go? Got him. Oh, God, he's bleeding teleportation potion everywhere. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Goddamn cat wizard. Teleportating him for blood. Actually ridiculous. Soil pouch. What's it full of? Soil. Cool dirt. Oh god, those are frogs. Jeez, freaking Christ. Goddamn frogs. Chat, you win that. You win that round. You get the gold. It's yours.
I wish I could get out of this now. Alright. I need wands. I just need more wands. That's what I need. Right there. You see that? That's what I need. I need that. Broken wand. Broken wand. Best. Spaced out Carla with 500 bits said are there any upcoming games coming out that you are super excited for either because they bring something new to the games industry, push boundaries or because they are going to be fun to play. Ashes of Creation and Pax Day. Those are the two biggest ones for me. Hands down. Those are the two largest games that I'm most interested in. Ashes of Creation and Pax Day. Those are the ones I'm, I'm super excited for. Manor Lords also, but Pax Day and, and Ashes of Creation are the two largest ones for me. Absolutely. Phenomenal. Yeah. D-E-I. Pax D-E-I. Social Sandbox MMOs. I'm really excited for it. Yeah, AOC is awesome as shit, dude. Devs have proved themselves super hard in that game so far. So I'm pretty excited. They're doing a really, really good job. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can do this. Alright. I kind of like this better. Kind of sick. Dig that. Oh, I want to get rid of Luminous Drill with Timer. It's kind of sick. Like that. Like that. Don't really care about that right now. Don't really care about that right now. Like that. Nope. Yes. Yes. Nope. those. I'm going to keep black hole. Okay, that one is kind of bleh. Put that one in there. Grab another heavy spread off of this. We don't really want Luminous Drill Timer. It's not, like, that good. Triple Scatter, Triple Scatter. This wand is not better than my current one. All projectiles eat up the ground for an amount of time. What now? And you just threw him? No, I didn't. Now these are all free. Instantly angers the gods. Literally no shits given. Throw that one away. Throw that on there for a moment. Get rid of it. Yep. You get him far enough away from the source, and it's free. Soul Frame looks cool. I'm actually really excited for Soul Frame. The problem... The problem that I have is I'm a little bit worried about the Warframe user base. Because... Soul Frame... The moment that people get into Soul Frame, I'm worried that they'll just stop playing Warframe. Legitimately. Like, I think that is a likely outcome, if that makes sense. I think it's a pretty likely outcome, is that people just stop playing Warframe when Soul Frame comes out. God, that was annoying. Absolutely not. Mm, if they if they fill the same space, I'd be interested to see if they're not filling the same space, but they might. God, those are annoying. I've been pulling Warframe a long time. Yeah, no, I super agree. 
But I'm a little bit worried about that. And I think it'd be kind of silly to not be worried about it. You know what I mean? It seems like one of those things where, like, it, it just makes sense to be like, okay, I wonder if people are still going to play Warframe after this. Because if Silverframe turns out to be a more interesting game, then maybe people, just people switch over to that, you know? That's always been the kind of, like, mini fear that I have. It's not really, like, a big fear. It's just one of those. No one could beat Big Mama Lotus? What if they have a bigger Mama Lotus, dude? Wow. That, uh, got reflected and then did that. So that was cool. So fun thing about this is now that I have this shield, it slightly pushes these away in a way where I can just fight him. So I can basically just do this shit forever now. And it doesn't matter because I have Repulsion Field. Repulsion Field against the Vari is awesome. So, you know? That reflected backwards. It barely did any damage, but he died. Worth. No! Got it. No more wand tinkering. No thanks. Um... Oh? Oh? Slime blood is kind of sick. Because that basically makes you immune to fire. Slime blood is kind Oh, did Heimdall get one? Let me look. Wait, why did you get banned for that? That's a bit weird. That shouldn't have banned you. Oh, I see why. No, Heimdall shouldn't have banned him. Ban's removed. I see why. Sixth. Yeah. Friendly fire. Heimdall killed somebody friendly. I'm getting slime blood. Slime blood is awesome. I'm gonna melt Stavari's corpse. All right. Slimebot doesn't get fire immunity, that is correct. However, when you take damage, you get covered in slime, which removes fire. And now you don't move slow in slime. It's great. It's really good. It's working. It hurts. Oh god, the, the pain. It also gives me more projectile resistance, which is huge because I have reduced projectile resistance. Is this one just a torch? It's amazing. That poor ghost, dude. He got the shittiest wand imaginable. There's a much better wand right here, dude. You got the wrong one. I mean, look at it, you know? Now all I need is vampire. Oh, falling. Vampire and levitation, honestly. Oh, you bastard. The physics pulled it through my... my shield, my repulsor. One sec, I'm checking something.
Concentrated mana potion. Let's get rid of dirt and take that. I think we're already good to go, actually. Yeah, we're just going to keep going. I hate that level, to be honest with you. Hey, Stavari. How's it going? Rude ass. Hold up. Do I have something better for you? Damn it, the UI is in my way. The freaking, like, would you like to buy this wand UI was in my way. We don't even need the diggy part anymore. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Do all these ones get better too? Hmm. Hmm. What does this give? This gives minus cast delay. Yeah. It's electric curse, isn't it? Is that an electric curse? What does the broken wand do? You'll see. You will see. Mana recharge speed. Let me go see what the perks are first. Okay. Here's what we can do. We can get this one. Look at the recharge time on it. Now watch. We'll get that wand, throw these away, put these in here, put this on the end. It's already good, but it's not super good. Now it has one extra slot. This will do anything we want it to do. Forever. It has unlimited mana. No matter what we do with this thing, it's going to be broken as shit. Till chat breaks it. True. Now I'm a disco wizard. Look at my beautiful disco magic, chat. Look at me. Disco wizard. Now look at it. And it's not even, it's not even waiting. Just look at it. I get close to you, instant death. I dig. I dig, chat. I dig. 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 Look at this. Look at this stupid sand. Just get rid of it. Get rid of all this stupid sand. Let's put something more impactful in here, too. Let's see if we can get a better, better spell in there. I mean, we could get that one. What spell can we put in this? Don't, don't weaken the wand. Don't, guys, we have a good run. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm begging you. Summon the friendly Josts. Vote two. Vote two. Summon the Josts, Chet. Don't, do, don't weaken the wands. We finally have, you've given me only shit runs all day. <laughs> don't do this to me. We finally have a cool wand again. God. I watched you do that, too. I watched some of you like, yes, we will destroy his run again. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for undoing this deep crime that was almost performed. Yeah, this wand is sick. I wish it would have added more slots. One slot was the worst it could be, but this is fun. Thank you for the Jose. Um, I kind of want to dig through this. We're just going to dig out. Yes. 
Maybe we won't dig up. I'm gonna have to dig through this over here. Time to dig. This is a Minecraft stream now, Chet. This is it. We Minecraft now. Using black hole would require me to use one, some of my black hole charges. Oh, we're angered now? Like you weren't angered before? Really? Were the gods not mad? Is there another Stavari here? Okay. God's mad. Like, okay. God fears the power. Okay, so now that we have the broken wand, and we're in Hisi base. Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. We just have to get... We have to get through Hisi base. Which is gonna take a minute. We gotta go all the way over to the right side and then down. There is a special thing there that we need. If we can survive it, which I might not. I don't really know yet. Because there's too much goddamn fire. And lightning and other bullshit. Easy base is spooky as hell. Melee wizard! Why are there black holes? What is happening? What is that? What is that? What is that? Okay. Dude, this is getting some wild shit right now. Alright. It did its job. A little too well, but it did it. I'm just gonna go diagonally through the entire map. That's fine. Holy shit, dude. Please don't tell me this was the anvil. That would be awful. Okay, anvil is usually all the way on the side. Ads. Laugh this is a rough run, dude. With 500 bits said yard cheer, 100 yard cheer, 100 yard cheer, 100 yard cheer, 100 yard cheer, 100. I made a hard decision to drop $4,000 on the demo. I had to cancel my plans to move, but I think it was worth it. I can't wait to save up double for the full game. The demo is free, you goblin. The demo is free. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Oh. One of Shay's chickens, little chicks, escaped the enclosure. Guillotine underscore Clement with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 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 hey. Me and my team participated in the last Ludum Dare. We had nice. a blast. Awesome. Do you sometimes try, stream some of the jam games, and give advices about them? Yes. Love the streams and the shorts. Keep it up. Anytime. Yeah, no, I do. That's, um, we don't stream that their jam games. We actually stream our own. So I do a game jam twice a year. It is the Pirates Offer Game Jam. The next one, I think, is the 14th one ever. We do them twice a year. Yeah, so it's fun. It's super fun. Looks like meat's back at the menu. I like this. Kahu Software with 500 bits said, Are you aware of the true identity of the HC in Neuter? They are G not Nelves. HTTPS colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash hisi. Mm hmm. 
What are you saying? What is Spy Pit Bot? Oh, it's a thing that's going on on Discord right now. The underscore gaming Probably underscore pop now. underscore with 500 bits said I mm -hmm. want to get into computer crimes. What classes should mm -hmm. I take outside of law enforcement classes? Janso with 777 bits said hi oh, for I've tried to get cow or one half of it from farmer but in you, Poland, all of them have passports and can only be harvested by special institutions, <laughs> and I can only buy from shops. Also I'm the only dev in company that I'm working for and for the last five months I have ban on writing code I can only write documents for the project. What? I'm looking for new job anywhere do I look for it. I have eight years of experience as back-end developer currently working in Go. Have great day. Cheers. Wait, seriously? You were hired as a programmer but you can only write documentation. That doesn't make any sense. That's really weird. That's a really, really weird thing, yeah. You want to get into computer crimes. What classes should I take outside of law enforcement classes? Um, so for the gaming cop, if you want to get into offensive security stuff, if you're looking into any of that kind of stuff, you, you'll want to go down the route for offensive security. There's a section in our Discord specifically for hackers. Just choose the hacker's role in the channels and roles. Go down to the resources section for that and go and pull up all of the resources that are pulled up. It is a huge amount of information. Also, I suggest going to things like DEF CON, hack, local hacker meetups, all of that kind of stuff as well, because it's a really fun thing to do and you meet a lot of really cool things, right? You meet a lot of really cool people. But to be real with you, if you're getting into digital forensics, there's a shitload of digital forensics there. Yeah, when they say they want to get into computer crimes, they mean digital forensics, which is fine. Unless you mean actual computer crime. In which I have no options for you. <laughs> I have no options for you at that point. Ooh. You'll never take me alive. Holy shit, that's a lot of dudes. Okay. Okay. I'm not getting any of that gold. Goddamn heasy base, dude. Goddamn heasy base, dude. Can we heal? We don't have an option. You guys killed my beautiful heal build earlier. With acid. We just have to dig. sucks. Where's this goddamn anvil? I want to show you this cool mechanic, but we have to find the anvil. And I don't know where the anvil is. It's usually along the right side. Holy shit. Where are they all coming from? Dear God. They're everywhere, chat. They're everywhere. Anvil. Anvil. Not Advil. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the next level, which is gonna heal me back up the full, and then we're gonna dig back upwards and see if we can find the anvil.
<sighs> well, these suck. Uh, but. Huh. 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 Hmm. Now that's a shotgun one. The bitrate? Where we're going, you don't need bitrate. God, I love it. Look at that. So good. No! It shoots this so fast that I can fly with it. I'm Iron Man. Yeah, I'm actually Iron Man. That's amazing. But also, this wand cannot handle the mana cost. The sheer mana cost of this. All right, let's see. Drill, cast delay, adds cast delay back. This removes cast delay. We already have negative. Health plus, thank you. That is very nice of you. We have all of these, which are insane. So that'll get us right back up, which is awesome. We've enraged God. As is tradition. God is angry, chat. Oh look, it's a gold funnel. You shoot things and blood and gold come out. Mmm, blender. Look at the garbage disposal. Isn't it good? It's a pretty good garbage disposal, I think.
Browprofi with 500 bits said hey Thor I would like to hear your opinion on RPG Maker MV. RPG Maker is great. It's phenomenal, actually. It, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I don't know about specifically the MV version, but I will tell you that in general, RPG Maker is... It kind of gets a weird bad rap for being like a newbie tool or some shit like that, but it's actually great. Like amazing, amazing good. And it's made some incredible games, like One Shot. Yeah, I don't know about the MV... Like, the problem with... The one problem with RPG Maker... Oh god. Is that... They have so many versions that you don't even know which versions are good. That's the biggest problem with it. It makes it really difficult to know. Where's the mod when you need him? The mods are in chat all the time. What do you need, bud? Just ask for it. Mods are paying attention to chat. You taking a poll? What do you need? Yeah, but G Maker is amazing though. It doesn't suck. It really doesn't suck. Sonko Magnus with 500 bits said doing everything on the floor is one of the core tenets of hobo maxing. They might take a table from you, but they can't take the floor away. Picking up stuff is lame. Heartbound has few pickups because of this. Thor used his experience as a pickup artist to design the game. Thor is not forklift certified, because it is the antithesis of hobo maxing, it is a machine designed to pick stuff up. Machinery makes him uneasy, even as an entomologist, he can never be relaxed around caterpillars. <laughs> There's too many. There's too many all at once, god damn it. What's the matter with you? God damn it. Oh. Ah, oh, I seem to have suffocated all those poor lads. And they're just dropping all of their delicious gold down this. Oh. Healing Ghost Friends! I love Healing Ghost Friends. Thank you, Healing Ghost Friends. Thank you, chat. Makes a projectile fly through enemies, but harmful to the caster. Not cool? Oh shit, oh shit. Machine gun to my left. That's gonna pop. Nice. Alright, we're kind of clearing this mess now. Garbage. I need to find... There has to be the anvil in here somewhere. It's always, like, farthest to the right. Always. And I don't know where it is. Is it just not here? Do we just not have an anvil this time? I don't think I've ever seen Heasy Base be this massive, too. And there it is. Alright. God damn it, stop slipping. I'm waiting for the oil to fall off of my body. everywhere. Oh god, get the oil off of me. There's oil everywhere. Ah. Let's get all this stupid oil off. It's so oily. 
Why? Why? Okay, finally. Let's put out all this mess. Enough of that shit. And now we take this wand and we throw it. And it turns into a sick wand. The broken wand can be repaired on the anvil. Thus creating... Whatever the hell that is. I don't know how I feel about it. That sounds awful. We don't want any of that. But that looks good, so I'll hold on to it. Is it... It's a shuffle wand. It. It made a piece of shit. That's fine. Sometimes it makes a giga wand. Sometimes it's amazing. Is the, um... Is the dragon on a level above me? Or is it on the next level? Next level? Alright. Oh my shit. Dig. Dig. Even more, chat. Oh. Well, that's... Somebody... Somebody made a mess in here. I don't know who it was. It could be... It could be anyone. This could be anyone. Man, who broke the worm crystal? Who did that? Who broke the worm crystal? Used to doodle with 500 bits said your thoughts on KBBQ, and maybe your favorite places in Washington, Lacey and Tacoma have some good ones. I love Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue is the best, dude. It's freaking delicious. And there's... There's... It's really hard for me to find good Korean barbecue here so far. I have not found a really good Korean barbecue place yet. And it's, it's not for lack of trying. I like Korean barbecue a lot. And if I can find a good one, I'll do it. But to be real with you, almost all the Korean barbecue that I've found so far is not very good. So what I end up doing is I end up making my own at home. Which is fine. But also kind of sad. It's time to dig. Yes. Dig. Oh. The wand hungers. It hungers. Good. Oh my god, the wand. Alright, what do we got here? Avoiding Arc and Magic Arrow. I don't think I've used Avoiding Arc. So now I've used Avoiding Arc. Yeah. Thank you, chat, for allowing a good run. For once. Today has been a mess of runs. But you allowed a good run. And that's nice of you. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Chat is merciful for this run. You say for now, which is always true, but it's been nice. It's been nice, you know. Time to ruin it? Um, what if, what if, what if you didn't let me, you know, die? What if you just, what if we just became immortal, Chad? What if you let the hubris take over? Because the hubris isn't there yet. Can you do that? Hmm? What if you did that, Chad? Just allowed a little bit of hubris as a treat. You know? What if you allowed that? Just a little, just a tad of hubris. Small. Small amount of hubris, you know? Look how far that orb went. It's frankly a little ridiculous how far that just went. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Go. The game stopped rendering it. It didn't even end in a circle.
Those don't hurt me, do they? Oh, okay. Well, I guess. I guess I'm a big amoeba thing now. This was actually the one puzzle that I solved in the game, by the way. Null shot. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, shit. Why is that following me? God, I'm poisoned for a long time, aren't I? There we go. Yeah, I didn't realize this would follow. It's kind of weird, right? Oh, it was boomerang, that's why. Okay. Yeah, I solved the puzzle with that uh those statues, and I felt great about it. It was over it, we did it on stream too. Super fun. Really enjoyable. We've played this game before, Dragon. You killed me instantly last time. Not today. I shave the egg today. We shave it. Of course you put your wand all the way in the wall, didn't you? You big son of a bitch. What's in here? What's that one? Plasma beam orbit. Dragon wand. What is the dragon wand? Uh, cool. Cool. Kind of cool. Cool, cool. I'd have to give up a cool one, though, and I kind of want an accelerating shot, because then we can turn this into a bouncy ball, which would be hilarious. The wand is alright. You have to remember what we have right now, right? If we can upgrade this thing a little bit more, maybe put a recharge on it? That'd be huge. Remote cast plus matter eater? Matter eater is amazing. Four, four slots against 11 loses instantly? Maybe. Maybe. The difference is mana recharge speed is the problem here. I can make that wanted said. I'm, I'm thinking about whether or not I want to get rid of accelerating shot or not. I think I'm going to get rid of accelerating shot. Yeah, we're going to get rid of accelerating shot and then keep this. I'm going to turn it into something gross. If I survive that long. Yeah, Null Shot makes black holes last longer, that is true. It's really, really good for that, but I already have, like, the the infinite black hole insanity. Ooh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, chat. It's rude.
What am I supposed to do with that, man? Jesus. Least worse, one of them was gravity for enemies, which pulls bullets into them. How is me creating lava when I shoot a better option? What's the matter with you? <laughs> uh, that's very funny. Least the worst option. I do doing 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 tricks over there, man. All right. Oh, it's like Super Stavari. Get super dead, dude. Jesus. Electricity. Or no more shuffle. Immunity to electricity. Done. Easy. Not even close. No. Stop turning into weird dust. Oh my god, look at his stupid body. Stop it. Stop it. No wand. No. Oh boy. Okay. We could have infinite chainsaws now. We're just gonna take that off for a second. I'm gonna drop all this stuff. We don't want any of this. We don't care about that. We don't care about this. We don't care about that. We'll take matter eater and put it up there. We don't care about plasma beam orbit. I've used that before. Uh, it does not matter. None of this. None of it matters. We're gonna keep. Get rid of plasma beam orbit. Uh, I want. Damn it. That's the one I want. We're going to have Null Shot on here. So that'll just be in there, right? And then we want to do... This. We're going to put a chainsaw on the front, chainsaw on the back. Look how many freaking chainsaws this has. Come on. Come on, what is that? What do we got in terms of problems here? Castella. Ads. Thunder God Aneru with $2 said, have you heard of the data transmission breakthrough? Yes, I have. Data transmission breakthrough is freaking rad. They were able to transport 301 terabits per second over current existing fiber, which is freaking insane, frankly. It's absolutely outrageous. Yeah. Website and Discord bot are both done. Aha! Behold! Look at that. We got the tool. The fuel in the streamer misidentifies your current mega CEO. No, no. You just don't understand. Bezos is very excited for ads. Because if you say ads, or money, or yacht, or tax avoidance, he is summoned into the internet. It's true. Vigatlod with 500 bits said, Ya yeah, hey Thor, I'm a musician from Germany and play in a band called Old Ruins that is inspired by Diablo. I know Ooh. your father worked on the Diablos and that you both are metalheads. Yeah. It would mean much to me if you both listened to it on your own and gave your opinions on it. And hopefully Meatball didn't get shaved last night. Thanks for the awesome time. That's awesome as hell, dude. That's freaking rad. I definitely want to check that out. God damn.
What is this? There we go. Yeah, somebody sent me weird messages. All right, so something has been finished. You ready for this? So you've never been dealing with the spy.pet thing all day. If you don't know what spy.pet is, spy.pet is a, basically it's a bot that has been sitting in a whole bunch of different discords, harvesting publicly said messages, and then selling that as data. And we found out a way to detect it today. A group did, got in contact with me, and I raised the alarm to show exactly how this worked. So we put out the way to detect it using the attacker's own API to do so. They changed their API to always submit back an answer of a member of that team to get that person mass banned across the internet from Discord. Really clever move by the attacker, right? So now the guys on our side have a better way to detect them and a website for it. All you have to do is put in your Discord server ID here and it'll give you the bot that's actually in your Discord if there is one there. Hilarious. <laughs> nice and fancy. Yep. That shit will be gone. Easy. Love cat and mouse game. Love cat and mouse. So good job to all the dudes working on this. Kick some ass, dude. But our server in, we already have. We've already deleted the bot from ours. Yeah, it's, it's a set of bots that are doing this to harvest a bunch of data and then uh, sell that data. Yep. And the URL is kickthespy.pet, which is quite funny. It's quite funny. Yeah, they circumvented it. There's no bot on yours? That's okay. That's good. Who's buying this information? We don't know. We just know that they're trying to sell it. That's the whole point. It says undefined. That means that your server is not there. You're good to go. As far as I know. So we go on ours. If you look at this, it'll say, or if, if you put in our server ID, it'll show you your bot is, and then show the bot. And then what you can do, the way that it's set up is after it shows you the bot of what it is, um, which in this case, it was it is an actual bot. So the bot got on here. And when it shows the bot of what it is, you can do that. And then you can click on this and it actually gives you the ban command automatically. And you can just drop it into Discord and it'll ban that user. So it's as clean as possible to help you get these things off your servers. If your bot says undefined, that means that your server does not have this. Also, um, for the people working on this, because you can hear me, uh, also a description of how to get the server ID. Most don't know. Yeah, most don't know how. So that'll be a whole thing. Easy peasy for that. Yeah, we already got it banned. It's it's a super dumb thing that was out there and it's been doing this, but it's basically just been harvesting data. We know that there's more that exists like this, but if we can fight it, we're going to fight it. And that's great to do. I'm letting them know that this page needs to have some more description for you guys to have this. Yeah, the Bitcraft server has it. Yep. Errorbot not found is good. Yes, that is correct. No, turn this off. Yeah, no, it's really good, actually. So we have a bit of a problem. We need to put chainsaw into this. Maybe get rid of one of these chainsaws? Why are you summoning Stavari? We already killed him. Damn it, chat. Is he back in that room? Oh, he's not even there. Alright. Chat's like, what if we fought the boss again? No. No. Okay, let's think about this. 
No, you gotta put the proper server ID in there. I let them know. Enter invite link or server ID. Okay. Nice, you added support for that. Very good. I wonder if we could do it this way. Okay, that seems correct. Now we can do this. That's good. How is that slowing it down? That adds cast delay. Minus. What the hell? Multicast throughout the chainsaw, is that what it is? Okay. The want the mana is so bad. Think chainsaw multicast then bubble? Yeah, but the mana, dude. The mana's the issue here. This is like nowhere near the strength of what the other wand was. That was the problem. So like I'm thinking about the mana cost, and like we have this huge issue now. Cause like this costs one mana, right? This over here costs zero. <clears throat> if we go and build this out like this, look at the difference. Like Second one doesn't have nearly as much mana regen. We got 567 of this. <clears throat> it's not even about it being a two spells wand. It's the mana recharge speed, which is 567. Homing's mad expensive. It is, but we want it. You know, we can take that off, and now it's sort of a meme. The Diggy Boy. Hmm. Everyone becomes berserk. All right. I think everyone's shooting down there. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how I want to build this. I think this one would be good, but we need a recharge. And we also need a mana. Which is like, you need that always anyway. I think it's always the case anyway. For right now, we'll just use it as this. And we'll keep a bunch of chainsaws in here. Because chainsaws are sick. I guess anointing, pretty good. Did Savari get summoned in a wall? That's rather hilarious, actually. Where's my other wand? I need to go find my other one. My dicky boy! I love my dick boy wand. He's a pet Steve. Come on, Steve. Get close. Nice! Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve, what's it like there in, in the fishbowl with all of this? What's that like in there? Is it good for you? Is it good? Pretty good, right? Pet Steve removed. 
Fetch Steve removed. I need more power. More power requires more magic. More magic requires digging. Jesus. Oh? Short range homing. That might be a better choice. We don't need all these chainsaws. We have so many chainsaws. Because short range homing... is less mana. Yeah, it's less mana. Let's go try this. Mana regen on this one, though? Is it good? It's just 370. It's still too much mana. It's still too much mana cost. I guess it gets more. Short homing is better, though. Legitimately. Legitimately, short homing is better. Put a triple in there. Put the quadruple there. Alright. Off we go. Did Heimdall just kill somebody? <clears throat> Hold up, I'm going to check to see if Heimdall kills somebody. Nope. I don't think so. Did it level up? Did Heimdall ban somebody it shouldn't have banned? That's the big question. Hey Mods, can you check to see who got banned? 790 mana recharge speed. Wait a minute. But the recharge time is enormous. It's horrible. It's a horrible one. It's full of sadness. Yeah. I don't actually know what you guys voted on. <laughs> I have no idea what you voted on. What did you vote on? I don't oh you voted on healing ghosts. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the healing ghost chat. Oh? Into the vault, I dare say. Alright. Jesus. Hell yeah. Give me fire immunity and I'm gone. Blocked it. I'm immune to electricity, you nerd. Yes. Yes. No, the hubris is not beginning. I could die at any moment. It's actually really terrifying in here. Oh, oh god. The only reason why I'm surviving is because you guys gave me ghosts. The Josts. This is probably good for my bones, right? What is that? Teleportadium potion? I don't think I want that. I'm gonna soak up some water real fast. Down you go. Yeah, my bones crave electricity. That is true, actually. Oh, that was acid from the sky. What's that big old lump of gold doing? All right. Let's 
This place is terrifying, dude. It's actually terrifying. It's actually terrifying. Holy shit. I don't even know what that does. I think we should go to the, uh... I think we should go to the pyramid after I get this perk. If I survive. I think it's pyramid time. Shielding ghost! Oh, you are the best. He can't shield me. There we go. Unstable Teleportadium. Let's see what's over here. Ah! Some alchemists fancy that the work from beginning to end is a mere idle entertainment, but those who make it so will reap what they have sown. Nothing. We know that next to the divine blessing and the discovery of the proper foundation, nothing is so important as unwearied industry and perseverance in this first operation. It is no wonder, then, that so many students of this art are reduced to beggary. They are not afraid, or they are afraid of work, and look upon our art as mere sport for their leisure moments. For no labor is more tedious than that which the preparatory part of our enterprise demands. Orb. The secrets of the spiral have been unlocked here. What this? I don't have enough room in my inventory. I feel like there should be a boss here or some shit, right? Is this supposed to be a boss? I mean, he started boss music, so like... I guess there's not a boss here? Okay. A little bit weird. I think you just killed the boss? There wasn't even a boss, dude. How could I have killed the boss? There was nothing there. Inspect the lair? I want to go get my last perk, though. There's a big red spider thing? They would have dropped loot. There's no loot. Yeah, there's no loot in here. The layer up here is really spooky. It like really freaks me out actually. Oh hey, a heart. We love hearts. A new wand. Accelerating shot is pretty cool. I dig that. Homing again. We can get rid of this because I don't need a million chainsaws. There we go. Chainsaws are awesome, but I already have four in my inventory. Wait, how does that die? I've never fought one of those. How do you kill that? Can you kill that? Is that even killable? Okay.
Holy shit. Those really don't want to die. Oh, oh my god. It's chasing me. Oh, it's not good. That doesn't die. Ow. It doesn't die, it doesn't die, it doesn't die. Shit. Okay. Uh, shit. How do we kill that shit? It's not a projectile. It's hitting it with this. You know? Cool book. Wait a minute. Can I create infinite book? I can't. Wonderful. Projectile damage heals it? That sounds horrible. I'm going fast. Yeah, that's unstable teleportadium. We don't like that. Alright, I'm gonna go get my final perk. Then we're gonna dig upwards. Yeah, yeah, the gods are very angry, I understand, thanks. Cool god. Cool god. You know? Cool god. <laughs> These are awful. This is all bad. What was this one? Deadly heal. I don't think I've ever seen this one. You skipped on fire immunity? There was fire immunity in there? I didn't even see it. It's because this stupid sand is everywhere. Did I actually skip on fire immunity? Oh, it was oil blood. God damn it. Never mind. F. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Yeehaw! Iron Man! Iron Man Wizard! Iron Man Wizard! Fine with me. Okay. Let's put short armor on it. Odd. What is happening, Iron Man Wizard? I fly because I have a chainsaw. Oddly enough, I think I can actually swap this out for this, and it's technically more mana efficient. And now digs better. I don't know. They're about the same. Yeah, they're about the same. Hmm. Bubble popping sounds are nice. They're pretty good. Okay, so... This is irrelevant. This one kind of sucks. 
I'm just throw it away. Off we go. Until I get enough gold to reroll again. Oh yeah, I have to use spiral. You're right. That's kind of a cool spell. I dig that. Neat. I don't think I've ever used that before. And I've got four new progress right now. And I think that's one of them. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, Spiral Shot is new for me. I've never actually seen that. Weird. Yeah, super weird. It's crazy combo material. I would need the thing that makes it so that it lasts forever, though. That's the biggest problem. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's fine. Does Spiral actually take whatever what uh, spell it is and then spin that? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you mean? It's like they do this. It did not. Nobody voted? Options. Streaming. Disconnect. Reconnect. Vote is now fixed. Yeah, it looks like it, it's not a modifier, so it didn't do anything with black hole. Yeah, a little bit weird. Unless you can pull... Unless you can do black hole and pull an enemy into it with Spiral Shot. That'd be kind of sick, right? Holy shit. Fancy little lad that you are. Alright, bye. <clears throat> okay, one sec. There we go. Cypher FTW with 500 bits said free shipping on all rocket forged PCs using the following code from Thor Long Lemon CBT Penis Ship. No, no. It's not true, and I took damage because of it because it's too funny. Oh shit. That is the spooky town right there. That right there is insanely scary. Those plasma beams are horrifying. Eli underscore car zeros with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer, cheer 100 hey Thor, I'm hey. looking for some advice here. Currently I'm about to start my last year of a BFA animation degree, and I okay. have my current artistic focus on character design and art. Cool. I have absolutely no clue where to go with said degree and art career wise. Okay. I want to go into games, and I've been taking game dev and design classes, but they so far haven't really clicked with me super well. It sounds like you actually don't know what you want to do, which is fine. I, I think one of the biggest things that you can do, especially when you're when you're just starting out on stuff, try everything. Try a little bit of everything. And you'll find really quickly, like, if you enjoy certain things, you're like, nothing's really clicked for me, keep trying things. Keep doing different stuff. And eventually you will find something that matches with you and you feel very good about it, you know? And I think that's important. That's really important to understand. What is this? Doot -doot -doot -doot. It looks like it looks like the bot is rate limited. It's quite funny. It do it its best. It's doing its best. Also, thank you for those 10 gifted subs, dude. Thank you very much. The uh the kick the spy dot pet is, is really limited. Discord rate limited them for using invite codes to check servers. That was the problem. 
I've already found and informed eight Discord servers. You kick ass. There we go. Perfect. There we go. All right, we're good. We're good. It's fixing things. Fixing stuff and things. Also, I have a deep fear of this plasma beam. Ooh. I like... I like this. This is good. This is good, chat. It's good. Holy shit! What was that? I need to know. I need to know what that was. I need to know. I can't not know what that was. Zapped it. Good. Dude, I gotta know what that was. I have to know what that was. I have to know. I've never seen that before. Whatever that was, that magic was like insane, to be honest with you. It's magic I need. Got 99 HP. And a lot of gold. Where did it go? It was here, in this room. It was a wand. There's a wand up there. Shit. I like being on fire. Uh. Infestation and lightning thrower. That's insane. Does infestation hurt you? I feel like infestation hurts you, chat. I've never used it before, so it's mine now. Hey look, five new progress. We've done it. I've learned about a new spell. I've learned about a new spell. That was an insane-ass spell. That is an honestly insane-ass spell. I loved that. What a great way to die in this game, dude. What a great way to die. Phenomenal. Let's see. Do 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 do. All right, there we go. Shandroman the with five hundred bits said thank you for sharing the spy pet scraper. I just yeah, banned dude. it from the Ruby Discord and let AJ's crew know over at the Y files along with a couple of others. Good. Much appreciated. Hey, I actually I watch the Y files all the time. Did you know that? I actually love the Y Files content. A lot. Like, there's a couple of us in the Discord that just binge everything that he makes. All the time. The Y Files are awesome as shit. 
Oh, oh, it's beginning. I can already feel the magic, Chet. I can already feel it. Are you creating more terrifying bullshit now? Is that what you're doing? It is. Sea of Random. I don't know what this is going to do, but neither do you, so let's find out. Oh, God. What? I thought that was acid. I guess not. It was a sea of flammable gas, you know? Sea of farts. Well done, chat. Nikki VR with 500 bits said, Yo, Thor, I've seen a bunch of your YouTube shorts, and it's always some of the most refreshing content. Yeah. Happy to finally catch one of your streams. The vibes here are super chill and enjoyable. I'm Hope really you're glad. having a stellar stream and a great day. Take care. Less than I three am. beg one. And you're awesome. You're awesome as hell. Speaking of, I need to actually check something. I don't think the uh, YouTube short is set up for the day. What do I do with the egg? Hmm. Eat it? You can't. You can't eat it. I don't want to throw it, because it's got a dude inside, and I don't want to, I don't want to get the dude. Gunpowder pouch. Gross. Yeah, explode. I don't know if you can warm it up. It'd be cool if you could put it next to, like, one of those, the warming stones, like a fire stone. And then it would hatch in your inventory into something better. Throw it in the fire? No. Nice. Let's make levitating lava. That's a good idea, right? I'm going to throw it in the lava, yeah. It made a dead guy. Yeah, it made a dead guy. So the egg is full of a dead guy, Chen. I'm glad we figured this out. It's very good. Yeah. Yeah, threw it in lava. Just so we could find out what was inside. It was full of a dead guy. Yeah, lava was the only way to get him out, chat. Now he's at rest, because he was dead. You know, trapped inside of the egg. Yeehaw, physics. Boom! Hmm. Oh, hey. A slimy egg. Let's go see what's in this one, Jet. I mean, we already we already hatched the last egg. Let's go see what's in this egg. We have to throw in the lava to hatch it, right? I mean, lava is warm. It'll hatch the egg. Oh, what's this? Nice. I'm gonna hatch the egg. It was full of another dead guy. It's weird. It's weird that they shove dead guys into eggs in this game, chat. Mr. Underscore Atomic 04 with 500 bits said, I have seen you a lot on YouTube shorts. You always either have amazing advice or make me laugh with weird facts, your ferrets and other funny stuff. I just wanted to thank you for being someone I can watch when I'm feeling down. I'm glad, Thank dude. you. I'm really glad. You're awesome as hell. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Woo. Shit, 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 shit. Why doesn't he just die in blood? Sp 
spicy meatball. I know you use water. But I, as you can see, I don't have any water in my inventory. I know that's, that may be difficult to see. I have pheromone, which is kind of gross, honestly. So I'm just going to throw it away. It's gone now. I don't even want the bottle. It's been tainted. Tainted. Oh, no! Why did that roll so far? God damn it. Alright, fine. Have it. I'm gonna go pick up all the gold. Little gold bits. You know, the gold may not have been worth it. What's up? Nothing much. What are you up to? We're trying to live in Noita. Dial underscore Corthwe with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 500 Hey 4 have you found out what Shay's favorite exoskeletal organism is and what is your favorite animal from the Cretaceous period? No. Also have you stopped along the along the dark desert highway and heard the nightman say relax we are programmed to receive? No. Also how is your search for your front window so you can stop having the wind in your hair? No. That's how it's going. It's going no. How dare you. How dare you. Every day you ask me this question. And every day, I forget to ask Shay about it because I go home and I go to bed. <laughs> Fat Young Jesus 416 with 1000 bits said being with an LV integration company for four years as director. Thought I had huh? a long future there. The company is going up in flames and everyone's leaving. That I'm sucks. planning on heading out to start my own business. Any tips for a first time business owner? Yeah, biggest tip that I have for you is talk to a lawyer. Set it up right. So many people try to set up a business and they just kind of do it slapdash and they don't know what they're doing. Talk to a lawyer. Do it correctly. Don't screw that up. It is super, super important. People think like, oh, I can do it on my own. No, don't do that. Can I just kick this off? I don't think that's how barrels work, chat. You know what I mean? Wand improved. Hey! Alcohol. Drunk wizard! It's time to be a drunk wizard, Jen. Nice. Yeehaw, what is this? Polymorphine! Into the pit. Into the pit. Into the pit. Where's your beer can staff? Don't worry about it. I am the wisest wizard. It's gonna take a minute, alright? It was a long night. Alright, let's see. Just don't stay up with the boys drinking potions, alright? You'll have to deal with the same problem. Wizard. <laughs> uh. 8-bit bunny underscore VR with 500 bits said silly idea. Make the lift game you talked on earlier take effect on Bezos during ad time. P. P. Oh, it's Colin P. The lift game you talked about? I guess we could do that. Maybe we could make something like that. It'd be kind of fun. I love weird shit like that. I do want to... I want to make the lift game specifically for the ant stream. How did he die? I blew myself up using a spell. As is Noida, you know? It's, it's kind of just how Noida the spark works, hog with frankly. 500 bits said you're a cool dude and this music is fire. You'll never prove Thanks. it. Thanks. You're a cool dude. And I am on fire. Thank you. Gordon Howell with 10 Canadian dollars said hi Thor, congrats on everything this year. I'm new to your content, but I'm curious how you found your passion, what advice would you give to someone struggling to find theirs? Honestly, Cheers you just have to try Minnesota. everything. It, it's... <laughs> I forgot I made that change. I forget it every time. 
It says Greater Minnesota every time. It's so freaking funny. Uh, to be real with you, you kind of learn that passion over time. You learn the things that you like over time. And it is largely a discovery of you, right? You you may think that you're like kind of in control of your whole life and you know exactly who you are and all this kind of shit. Like, I know who I am. But you don't. Nobody does. And you learn that through practice and understanding of yourself. So what you should do is just kind of sit down, give yourself the chance to learn about you. And as you go forward and try different things and kind of introspect on how did I feel about that? Did I enjoy doing that activity? Did I feel bad about it? What did I like? What didn't I like? Maybe I can find a better way to do things going forward. You introspect, man. And you get better and better at doing it. 100%. You're on an adventure inside of a two pounds of fat in a bone golem mech with meat armor. You're a weird collection of chemicals and bullshit. So, figure out how you work. Takes time. Sea of oil. There was all... I mean, look at all the oil already, Chad. Look at it all. Here, I'll stand here so you can make a nice, pretty thing. You ready for that? I'm gonna do it right here. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Look what you did. Look what you did. You ruined the whole environment. There you go. You ruined it all. Look at it. Yeah. We did it for you? Mm, I don't know if you did it for me. I think you did it in spite of me a little bit. Just a small amount. Oh, that was dirty. Actually. Need more. Need more water. Alright, I'm at 384 gold. I'm probably going to get to 400 and then move. Move to the next level. I need to start getting perks. Oh wait, we got collapsed mines? There might be really good wands in here. There's a broken wand! What are we going to drop for that? Okay. Broken wand. We need a... So... <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Yes. Victory. Victory. What happened here? Don't worry about it. TN Tyson with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, you've inspired me to finally start to learn some programming at 43. I'm starting with the Python website you suggest. I'd love to get into cybersecurity and get away from being a prison officer is Hack the Box the best starting point. Much love. So you want to get into being a prison officer. Or you get away from being a prison officer. So you're a prison officer right now. That's a wild job. That's going to be really goddamn, like, stressful as shit, man. That's a crazy stressful job. Legitimately. And that's cool as hell that you, you are already doing something like that. Shit. I have 9 HP. It's time to leave. Yeah, it's cool as hell that you have that. Like, that's a, that's a wild-ass job, frankly. And if you want to get away from it because you don't like it, I can understand why you wouldn't. It'd be stressful as hell. Let's see. Hack the box is a good starting point for offensive security. That being said, a better starting point if you want to go that route is going to be IT. Learning IT concepts and having a job like an IT help desk job is going to be way more beneficial than doing Hack the Box. You can do Hack the Box as well, but to be real with you, it is all it is all about getting an IT job in the beginning. Legitimately. Yeah. Legitimately, it's all about that. Triag Me is more beginner friendly than Hack the Box. It can be. It really can be. Thank you for the $20. Actually, sorry, the $1 in the moderators. That's incredibly nice of you. $20 was an hour ago. But yeah. So legitimately, I think that's that's kind of the way to go. That's a really fantastic thing. Really, really fantastic thing. If you want to move in that direction. So I would start in IT. I would go and look up IT help desk positions. I would look up everything that you can do in that direction. Like everything you can. Don't weaken wands. Weakening wands just makes uh, the run end. It's always too broken. It's always bad. Bunch of goblins. No shuffle wand. Perfect. Cast delay on that is high. What if we do this? 
Ah! Ow. Nice. Oh, dude. 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 Most spells are now unlimited. It does not do it for Black Hole. To be clear. It does not work for Black Hole. But it does do that for Bomb. Which is kind of huge. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Bomb out of this, put it in there, and then swap this back. And we'll put this back in here. Um... We're dying to our own bombs then? Maybe. We just might. Wait, isn't... Does bomb not do that too? Hmm. I don't think bomb... I guess bomb doesn't do that. Bomb totally should. Yeah, that's weird. Because I have unlimited spells. Oh, it turned unlimited afterwards. Okay. I was going to say, that's a little bit weird. Does it do it for Black Hole or no? Black Hole it won't either, will it? No. Okay, not Black Hole. I'm not going to test it. Not yet. Ridiculous, honestly. Hmm. So this adds a second and 67. Yeah, 1.67 to that. Well, I think that might be the only way to do this right now. I bet we can get a bomb wand. I bet we can do that. Like just an infinite bombs wand? You know what I mean? Wow. Screw this old water potion. I get a new water potion. See, on this level it's gonna be really good because we can use it for mining. You know, like, mining with bombs is great on this. Because it doesn't destroy the gold, it just destroys everything else. You know? Really useful. We just grab all the gold. Become rich. Powerful beyond measure. This is another one that will allow me to, like, hold bombs in my hand? What? What just happened there? Okay. Oh, oh, all right. Bet the gods are going to be mad too, aren't they? They're going to blame me for this shit. Sick. Now we just need to be able to drink blood. That's what we need right now. We've got everything else that we need. We've got some good wands going on. I need to be able to vampirism. We need some vampirism. To have just an infinitely good run. Because we have unlimited spells.
What happens after 100% full stomach? You can get to 200% and then you explode. It's not a joke either. You actually do explode. It's pretty funny. It's a it's a hilarious way to die. Yeah, you you get to 200% and die. So much gold. Every pixel is one gold, by the way. Yes. Let's see the explosion. No, Lamont I'm not going to die on this run. Like, look four. how good it is. Could you give me some tips for change logs and the method you use to create them? I feel like I can't find a consistent way to write them and keep track of them during my programming. Yes, one of the things that I find with change logs, anytime you do this, is write them as you're writing the code. So many people wait to the end and they forget everything that they're working on, which is just deeply bad. Don't do that. Write that shit as you do it. Write all of your changes as you finish the change. Into the change logs. Yes. Super un- like, super common that people screw that up, man. And don't feel bad about, like, doing bad change logs at first. Like, we all learn. It's a- it's a process of learning this shit, so. Oh, what is that? Invisibilium. Can't see me. I'm too sneaky. How do you know? Yeah, now what? What will you do now? You gross thing. Wow! He tentacle slapped the bomb! That was freaking epic, actually. Hi, Bezos. These guys create with 500 bits, said as someone who's getting into IT. Cybersecurity is a combination of learning Python and backend dev with boot.dev and else with hack the box, a good combination. Yeah. Or do you have other recommendations? To be real with you, if you're getting an IT and cybersecurity, that's kind of a helpful thing to have. That's helpful to know, frankly, but that's not going to be the end all be all. You're going to be doing all kinds of different shit. You'd be doing all kinds of different shit. So, like, yeah, I, I would definitely start looking into that area and learn this stuff. Hmm. Try to solve something real fast. My phone is vibrating. One moment. Yeah, so like, to be real with you, learn those things, definitely. I find that Python is really, really good for some things. It's great for automation. It's really quick and dirty. It's easy to prototype shit in. That's awesome. But if you're dealing with, you know, doing stuff in Hack the Box, that's cool too. There's so many different resources and so many different avenues for this because when you're in offensive security, you specialize in shit, right? You kind of choose a subclass. Like mine is physical access control systems, Wi-Fi related vulnerabilities, web related vulnerabilities, and social engineering. Those are the things that I like to do. They're the ones I feel most comfortable in. You learn lots of different areas for this, right? So with that in mind, in the Discord, go up to channels and roles, choose hacking, go down to the hacking section and choose resources. And there's a shitload of resources in there. In fact, I want to add some social engineering ones soon because it's quite fun. It's a lot of good stuff. Programming outlet is industrial controls programming. What is that for? What are you using that specifically? Because we're talking about offensive security shit. So I'm wondering what you're, what you're learning that for. Are the resources free? Yes, absolutely. That's the whole point. And so is the Discord. I don't like putting walls in front of teaching you guys stuff. You were a gem to IT, Thor? Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Yeah. Do subscribers get lesser ads? They don't get any ads. We wait. So, like, if there are ads playing for you, I pause the stream during the ads. I don't like you having to miss content because you didn't pay me something. That's stupid. So, we wait. And the ad revenue supports me anyway, so that would be dumb, right? Oh. Blood potion. It's a potion full of blood. Flamoxium potion. Oh shit. Let's make him flamoxium. Ah! Ah! Thanks, chat. That's, uh. That sure was something. 
That indeed did happen. Is that acid? It's all acid over there, isn't it? Uh, I can't get that gold. <laughs> Too greedy. That is disgusting, frankly. Oh, you were fighting the other guy. You were fighting the other guy. Now I have to stand here for 13 seconds. It's a freaking blind. What is that? Jesus. Buh. <laughs> it's like a sparkler, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, it got him, right? Worth. Ridiculous spell. Where are you going? Eat it. Is he shielding, though? Are you a shield bot? What are you? Shit. Not good, not good, not good. Every time I have to say, what is that, in Noida, you know it's bad. It's never a good thing. It's never like, what's that? Oh, it's a cuddly teddy bear that fills you with gold. Like, no, it's... It's some new horrible bullshit. Some new gigantic, horrible, insane bullshit. Oh, shit. Alright. Eat it. I think I got him. Oh, come on, man. Tiny potato creature. Got him. Sick. Alright. We have to go to the next level. I'm hurting. Did you eat the pink fungus? No. I'm eating it. I'm eating it. I'm becoming deeply powerful. More fungus. Let's switch some material with another material. Who knows what it will be, chat? It could be anything. It could even be more fungus. Oh, that's a lot of fungus, actually. What? Where'd my fungus go? The word blood. That is not good. That is not good. Is blood flamoxium now? Well, we'll see if I survive. Chainsaw. Oh, 
Another chainsaw. Energy orb. Hmm. Chainsaw. Bro. How many of these are there? Dear God. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. I didn't want this yet anyway. Alright, I want to buy whatever it is. I'm out. Ow! God damn it. Holy shit, the long-range tentacle. This is not good, 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 this is not good. Oh my god, there's more of them. Why are there so many of these? Ah! Yeah, okay. Yeah, just... Wh whatever. You're dead now. I'm just going to dig. We're just going to dig all the way down to the next level. We're just doing it all the way down. All the way down. We're playing Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac's fun. Really enjoy that game. Oh, thank God. Oh, what a ridiculous ass day. The chainsaw actually slows it down unironically. It's very funny. Digging bolt. That might be really useful. We're gonna wait. You goblins. I will give to you nothing. I will give to you nothing, Chet. Want to see something cool? Why does it not let me do it? Oh, because I have to drop this first. Okay, it was almost really cool. Because I have unlimited bombs. It lets me do this. How did I just anger the gods? Gamer move, dude. True gamer move. Get owned. Okay. Got him. Got him. Steve would like a word? Well, Steve is dead. And I have unlimited bombs. Done. Wait, what is this? Giga black hole. I thought that was just a black hole. What is giga black hole? And why does it have unlimited? I made a mistake. Does that hurt me if I'm in it? Yes, okay. That's fine. Still like this the most. I do like this giga black hole though. You know? Like, look at it. It just consumes. It just completely, like, look at it.
Can you have it at the end of his will? I mean, yeah, it's unlimited now, so. I could do, like, a chain spell and then do it. That'd be kind of sick. You know? I think that actually works. Oh. Ah! <laughs> it pulled me in. It's fine. That does a shitload of damage, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This right here. Okay. So. Thanks, chat. Thanks for that. Thanks for that sea of random. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create something bullshit. We're going to create something completely insane. Ah! The black hole pulled in the other thing. What the shit? Why did it shoot me? No. I shot it and it hit me. My own bullet hit me. Why? Why did that happen? I don't understand why that happened. But that was cool. Shuffle wand doesn't do anything. It wasn't a shuffle wand. It actually shot me. Like the bullet shot me. I watched it do it. That's a cool combo though. I dig that shit. These guys create with 500 bits said as someone who's getting into IT, cybersecurity, is a combination no, of learning Python and backend dev with boot dev and else with hack the box a good combination. Yeah, so we, we answered this. Or do you I, have I think, other recommendations? I think the biggest thing is if you want to get an IT, shoot for an IT help desk job and shoot on getting certifications, specifically the certifications of NetPlus and, and SecPlus. And I believe people were talking about A plus before too, but I don't know. How good that is myself. A lot of people were talking about it as well. But to be real with you, it's it's shoot for IT help desk. That's going to give you all the information that you need, all the way, all the basis that you need to do really, really well in that space. Frankly, don't summon Stavari. Don't summon Stavari. I'll take the portal. I'll take the portal, chat. It's going to take me somewhere horrible, but it's fine. Yeah, most people won't even look at your resume if you don't have A plus. That makes sense. You guys summon Stavari, really. At this, at this stage of the game, you summon Stavari. You, this is, I can't even break his shield. I'm gonna leave him over there. Oh look, he's following me. Bye, Stavari. Chat your goblins. You know that? Actual goblins. Actual goblins. Bill Garrow with two dollars said thank you for helping me want to create again. Dude, I'm really glad you're making stuff. That's one of the coolest things, man. The community banding together and just wanting to make things. That is going to make the internet a better place at the end of the day. Legitimately. It really is. Oh yeah. It's good. It's good. Gold. All right. I need the brick of infinite gold. That's what I need. Which is this. So I can do this. There we go. And now this is our new spell is throwing things. Our new spell is hitting enemies with a big brick. I missed. I have to resort to shooting magic. Unfortunate. Brick wizard. Yeah, magic spell brick, dude. And you thought it was a piece of paper. No. No, it's a stone tablet. And it blocks magic, by the way. So you see this? Watch this. Oh, I missed. I missed. I'm great at drop. I did it. I'm, <laughs> I'm fantastic at blocking magic with it. Don't worry about it, chat. That guy bleeding lava everywhere, that was intended. Ow. 
All right, we got our brick back. It's fine. It's fine. This is good. This is completely intended and good. All right. All right. Hello, Lava Man. Got him! Yeah! Instant death! Why is there another one? God damn it. How many of these damn things are there? Hitting a dude with a brick of infinite gold is my favorite. Actually, my favorite spell. Daniel Fenner with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I'm a single game streamer who feels trapped. You seem very analytic focused. How do you go about game selection for variety or any other thoughts? Cheers, love the content. Single game streamer who feels trapped. Well, that's the reason why. You should start streaming more stuff. Choose one day a week to try other things. And, oh, temporary immortality. I'm a dolphin, chat. I've never been down here. This can only end well. I'm invulnerable, so I can't drown. What's down here? A new orb! Wait, we got this one. I remember this one. This is the one that we dug into and I didn't know where it was. I didn't know how we got to it. But now I'm stuck here. Shit. Secret tunnel. Yeah, I don't think I have enough time to get back out. I don't think I have enough time to get out. There's no deeper. Wait, I might have enough time to get out. It might be good, it might be good. We might be fine. There's no- there's no deeper. That's the deepest you can go. There's no deeper. We're running out of time. What do you mean go right? What's right? Like over here? I think you're lying to me. There's nothing there! You lied to me! You lied to me. You lied to me. It's a trick. It's a dirty trick. Yeah, this is the bridge. I've been here before. This one I knew about. Okay. Now, something I knew about this boss. I've done it before. Ah, oh, shit. They don't let you do that anymore? It used to work. You used to be able to throw the tablet at it. It would just die. God damn it. Ah! Ah! Not today. Not today. You get nothing. You get nothing. I've stolen your orb. Stolen your orb. Please don't respond. Alright, we're good. Yeah, it ate my brick. It ate my brick. I'm sad about it. You gotta kick the tablet now? Oh, that's annoying. No. Well, I'm not doing good now. Shit. Yeah, this is not a good run anymore. Because I have zero perks. And I'm covered in sadness. And you've summoned a worm. Thanks, chat. Actually, maybe we can use that worm. Worm, can you stop that for a moment? Just come over here. I need you. I need you over here, Worm. Wormdiful. Yes. 
maybe we can survive this. Yeah, so I didn't know that's how you got to that... That one naturally. I was dug for it. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, very wonderful. Yes. Yeah, but so... Anyway, let me let me answer this dude's question because I just screwed that up. So yeah, you should feel confident in trying new games. Your numbers will sink at first, but do not be discouraged. Try new stuff at least once a week. You don't want to be bound to one form of content because to be real with you if you are a if you only play one game ever on stream and that's all that you do it is going to lead to you having an audience that only likes watching that stream and some of those people will just leave when you're not playing it and that's not a good thing frankly re-answering tts tts goes from twitch and youtube over onto our discord and it shows up here instead of the answers tts channel if your TTS message is not answered by the end of the day, then it goes into the debt tracker, and I pay that out to charity, which you can see here. We post all the receipts for paying it out to charity. Right now, the debt is negative 5,219 because I overpaid. <laughs> it's quite funny. It's really, really funny, actually. Yeah. It's actually hilarious. Boop. Yeah, one stream stuff, if you want to break out of that, if you're feeling trapped, try new things. It's okay to do that. There's nothing wrong with it. One moment. Yeah, only 546 DMs. It's cool. I collect them. You said go to A plus cert from service desk? No, net plus and sec plus. Yeah, net plus and sec plus from service desk is huge, dude. Yeah. Currently planning to go into cloud and got a foundational associate writer. We're talking about going from IT into security, into offensive security. That's when you need a plus, net plus, sec plus. Net plus is going to help you anyway, and sec plus is always a bonus, but those things are generally required for government work, is the big reason why. Woo! I didn't know it did that much damage. Holy shit, dude. It's like 130 damage hit. It's got nuked. Nuked from, yeah, nuked from space. Holy shit. JK Palace with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I'm new here and I'm really enjoying your content and wanted to support you with my sub and some bits. Thanks. That being said, I learned while watching the stream tonight that you are actually self-taught, which is super inspiring. Yep. I want to ask you if there are any helpful tools, courses, programs out there that you recommend to learn software development, programming. I apologize, you probably have been asked this numerous times already. No, it's fine. The whole point is that I answer the questions many, many times because a lot of people want to know the answer, right? So like, Code Crafters is really, really good. Um, God, there's... Actually, I have a whole ton of resources. Go into the Discord, choose the programmer role, and then go down to the channel specifically for for that, right? For programming. There's a resources section in there with a shitload of resources for you. And the grand majority of which is free. There is an affiliate link item in there from CodeCrafters, so do keep that in mind. The rest of it, fully free. And CodeCrafters also has a non-affiliate section that is not, does not cost anything, that is awesome. All right. The spell moves so fast that the matter eater doesn't even work. It's kind of amazing. Off we go, chat. We're digging up to the surface. Yeah, we'll do it this way. There we go. We'll just shoot this off in the distance. That's fine, right? Nothing can go wrong. Free code camp. I haven't used free code camp. Is that any good? Legitimately. I've never used it. I liked it. Super good. Okay. Free code camp then. Yeah, the outside world. Have you never been here? They added something to the outside world, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna go to the top of the pyramid. I'm gonna get that orb. Damn, this looks like Terraria. Really? Really? You remember how in Terraria, how every single pixel was an individual material that interacted with every other pixel in the entire game? You remember that? 
Because I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Death underscore 36 with 500 bits said, I think you misunderstood me, not the old game. They remade Age of Mythology, retold coming to Steam in 2024. No shit. I did misunderstand you. I didn't know they were doing that. That's awesome as hell. I didn't know that at all. That's freaking rad, actually. Yeah, this is heavily modified Nintendogs. You're right. Mushroom. Mushroom. Age of Mythology is really cool, yeah. Rioff Meow with 500 bits said just wanted to say thank you for all you do. From advice to humor to even just being a steady presence to listen to. My new model debut for my stream is coming up soon, and listening to you has been a calming vibe in a sea of anxiety. Thanks Thor, keep being awesome Yarchir 500. One sec, thank you very much. There we go. Handling some things. Oh, we got Bezos. We're gonna wait. Dude, thank you. That's really, really nice of you, honestly. I'm really glad. Seriously. Michael Leno with $4.99 said trigger spells are Spiders. amazing cause if you have something that adds cast delay. Agreed. Putting Agreed. it in a trigger negates all added and subtracted cast delay. It's insane, honestly. Reds underscore 01 with 500 bits said at Parade Software I got DDoSed back in the day before by a friend. My ASP could not do anything about it and didn't want to change our IP. This was back in the days of 0 0.2 MB S internet. Oh. I figured out where he lived and called his parents threatened to call the police if it didn't stop. It stopped two minutes later KEKW. <laughs> That's really funny actually. Wow it's Mick with $5 said hey, I'm an aspiring filmmaker. However, I always lose passion on a project and rarely finish a film. Any advice? Thanks in advance. So you're an aspiring filmmaker. However, I always lose passion on a project and rarely finish a film. Any advice? Well, why do you rarely finish a film? Is it because those films actually suck? Do you think that you don't like them? Do you think that they're not that good? Do you think that you got into a position where that film is going to be something really cool, you get into the middle of it, and you just don't like the direction it's going? Do you not like the idea of finishing it because you don't think that people are going to like it. That's a big one. All of these kind of things can sort of be balanced out really easily. It's okay to end a project if it's something you don't feel good about. I do it all the time. It's actually totally fine. It's okay to not release a project because you just don't think it's your best work. That's fine as well. The problem arises when you get to the point where you're like, this is really cool, but I don't want to show anyone because what if nobody likes it? don't want to do that. You want to show it to people. You want to. And on top of it, you also don't want to get in the middle of something and just lose passion randomly. Because if that's happening to you, it is likely that you enjoy the finish of that project, but you don't enjoy the process of that project. So you need to learn to enjoy that process. I love the process. And the reason why is because I get to solve things. The learning happens in the middle. The learning happens doesn't from... It doesn't happen from finishing the project. It happens from doing the project. So... Try to change your perspective on that a little bit. Enjoy the process of doing that, becoming a better filmmaker. And also, don't call yourself an aspiring filmmaker. If you've made a film, you are a filmmaker. That's what you are. You may be a novice at it, but not aspiring. Give yourself the title that you deserve. Also, Modern Pulse Scambates, what is up, dude? Thank you for the raid. If you guys know Kit Boga, whoa, you'll understand Modern Pulse Scambates' content. It's very similar. He scambates, which means he... Ruin Scammer's Day. What is this weird-ass terrain there, generation? What is this? What is this? Donut Desert, dude? Hey, he scam baits. He baits scammers. Dude's awesome. Donut Desert, dude. Oh, look. It is the pyramid. It is a bent pyramid this time. Donut Desert. Raven54 with 500 bits said, Hey Ovaltine man, I am watching your stream until I get the 200,000 hearts to get a free Steam key to Champions of Breakfast. 
Mm. I am now at 94k and god dang him learning so much stuff that I don't know. That's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad you're having a good time. Honestly. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, dear God. That sounds like some magic happening over there. What is this? Is that polymorphine? What is that? It's unstable. Oh, it's polymorphine. God damn it. A group of ferrets is called a business. Yeah, that's what we're going to call the, the, um, the building. There's a building for the ferret rescue, and we're going to call it the conglomerate. Which I think would be very funny. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, explode it. Alright. Alright. You sponsored by Kick the Spine? No? What? This is the new thing. This is new. As of this patch. The Watchtower. What is it? Is that diamonds? What happens if you kick one of these? Yeah, correct. Love kicking scorpion. Love kicking scorpion. Yeah, get kicked. Yeah. Get kicked to death. Yeah. Alright. What's going on in here? What? What the shit? It's full of lava. Can you eat them? You can't eat them. I guess we have to drain the lava, yeah? Or maybe it's a trap of some kind. Yeah, we gotta we gotta find a way to drain it. But I don't have any spells for this. Because this is brickwork. Brickwork is tough to break. What? Well, I guess brickwork does break to a bomb. I didn't think it did. Huh. No, don't give me the answer. This is new. Huh. It's got little bits up here. Dude, I kicked so hard. Wizard never slipped. It's like skips leg day, dude. Oh. Oh shit. Thanks for that chat. I'm on fire now. I'm like badly on fire. And I can't put myself out, apparently, because there's lava literally everywhere. Shit. Why? Is that a mud potion? God damn mud potion. Why is it gonna be mud? Chad, I don't think you were helping. I don't think it was helping. It was a mud wizard, yeah. Okay, so it broke the top layer off. We'll go back over the right side and do it again. Might want to get that checked out? Nah. It's fine. 
It's fine. Mud... Mud is natural. It's normal. Don't worry about it. There's got to be something in the core, doesn't there? I mean, there's got to be something in there. Something in there. As an image. Make a sea of water underneath the flowing, floating island. It's the floating island. And it showed an, a sea with fish in it. Yeah, the Sky Island in the beginning. Lake with fish. Hmm. Fishing time. <laughs> uh, let's go play around with it. My points. I saw that you had points in there. Yes, is there something you needed? I had to go fishing, Chet. It was important. It was important. Chicken away with 500 bits said I'm a game design uni student and brand new game developer. How do you find jobs in the market, and actually get them, and also how to find tutorials on more complicated mechanics that usually get looked over by most people? Uh, one moment. Please, please, stop being covered in stuff. Oh my god, I'm standing in water. Fine. Is that enough? Jesus. When you say actually get the jobs in the in industry, you just need to keep looking. Like, the industry is highly competitive right now. Disgustingly so. It is very, very difficult to get a position right now. Very, very difficult. Loot. A chest appears. <laughs> it's up there. Why? Why is it all the way up there? Why is it up... <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, it's just highly competitive, man. It is. Yeah, and when you say complicated mechanics that usually get looked over by others... Find tutorials and more complicated me mechanics that usually looked over. That's that's so vague. That could be anything, right? So, like, there's all kinds of things that seem complicated at first, but then it's very easy. Like, for instance, I love making lighting systems and physics stuff. That may be really complicated for you. Maybe a really complicated system. But I learned how to make that not from tutorials, but from going and trying things until they felt good and looked good and were performant. It is about practicing your craft and trying weird stuff and getting better at it. There's no tutorial for everything, you know what I mean? And on top of it, like, to be real, tutorials are useful if you have a purpose for them. If you are just doing tutorials so that one day you will be ready to make things, you will never make things. What you should really do is start a project, get stuck, then after you get stuck, oh my god, after you get stuck, check the documentation to see if you can get unstuck, and if you can't get unstuck from the documentation, then get unstuck using a tutorial. And then continue your project. And don't keep doing the tutorial when you're finished with that. Is there a game engine you recommend? No, there is no best engine. So, the best thing you can do, go to develop.games, the website that I made. There's no ads on it, no bullshit. And just go to the picking a genre section. When you go to that section, it'll show you... A thing called a game design document. Go do that game design document. Make one. Make a game design document. You make that, you're going to be in a much better position of figuring out what you want to do. You don't make that, well, you don't get to make a game. Because <laughs> that's the that's the first step. The God Wand is here, chat. Chat, the God Wand is here. Look at it. Look at it. It's a shuffle wand right now, but we'll fix that. We can fix it. We can fix him, chat. The God Wand.
How to fix shuffle? Make it no longer shuffle. Make it so that the shuffle doesn't matter. Make it so it only has one spell on it. And the rest are modifiers. That's how you fix that. You don't put moss in it. Jake, why are you so obsessed with moss suddenly? What happened? Jake has moss brand, dude. Jake has actual moss brand. It's true. Camcorder with 500 bits said, Sue, what happened to the worm? I missed the worm heart. Dude, the worm has been gone for like five months. Maybe even longer. The worm's been gone a long time. I'm... Yeah, Cam, the worm has been gone for ages. A potion raid. Oh, that was so good last time, wasn't it? We have the god wanted. You want to ruin it with the potion raid? Chat truly hates me today. Truly. Truly hates me today. We need to get into a wide open area, don't we? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Ah! Alright. Wait, is that... Okay, it's toxic sludge. It's not acid. I was a little concerned for a moment. Oh, it's a Flamoxium potion. I thought it was gold. This seems safe. Yeah, it's safe, right? Isn't that safe? What do you guys think? See if it'll blow up. There we go. Safe. Some of these potions actually survived. We've got this. Brock 3N producer with 500 bits said we need a, what happened, emote. No. No what happened, emote. I swear to God. You guys are goblins enough. Nice. Nice. Bones Air Cavalry with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500 hello Thor, have you seen the new Discord TOS? Yes. What are your thoughts, and do you think that Discord accounts that opted out of the arbitration clause are safe from being disabled by Discord? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea, but to be honest with you, I'd be really, really surprised if Discord's maneuver on that is even enforceable in most areas of the world. Like, I'm waiting to see how a lawyer weighs in on it, frankly. Jesus, okay. Yeah, the arbitration thing is very strange. I'm waiting to see how a lawyer weighs in, because it's... It's so hard to be like, yeah, everybody uses our service, can't sue us. In a class action, like, okay. See what happens, you know? I don't think it'll go far enough. But it might go kind of far. Give me a lot of gold, 